I'm not so surprised that January 2022 has finally released, but I missed the New Year's Eve fireworks today, and now, it's New Year's Day, plus, I am drinking lemon juice, but before I have to discuss about it, I've watched the news that morning, and they said that it's cancelled and ruined all because of Karen doing this. I don't dislike that Karen, but she should have not have done that. The good thing is, I don't have to visit to the Bjorn City Central to see the fireworks because of the major construction, with a lot of bomb rampages going on. If I did, then I would have have to sprint away as far as I can, the Bjorn City Central might have shut down because of the construction. Uh oh, looks like I've ran out of lemon juice, I guess I can go back to the house, and then refill it up. I'm sorry if I'm not back, I was just refilling up the lemon juice right onto the cup, but anyways, where am I anyways? Okay, so to start off with, she recently got arrested, and she's in prison for a longer period, just like Miss Martin, and note that I don't dislike Miss Martin too. But I don't think that she could do it anyway, so. Looks like the cup is empty, I could put it right onto the kitchen counter. I will have some ideas today. Anyways, I could do something that is the worst, like here's an example, I could give Boris the bride so many torment stuff, so that way, he can get suffered into torment acts. Got it. I found a great idea. It looks like I'm going to give Boris the Brad a lot of torment acts, if he got so much torment acts, then he could get suffered, so that way, Boris could end up getting stuck after he got into a lot of torment things, so without further to do, let's go upstairs to Boris's bedroom, and gave him a huge torment axe. Alright Boris, you won't get away with this after you ground me and give me timeouts along with Doris the woman child. Boris, where the heck are you right now? You're just hiding somewhere so I can find you, but I figured that out, you're in your room Boris. There is my bedroom, but on the other door, probably the other door that nears my room is Boris's bedroom, I will go and check. I'm pretty sure that Boris is in his bedroom, but, let's hear Boris's voice. HMMM, I'm starting to think that my laptop is full, so I can use the internet to explore something. Gosh. I've got to find a way to give Boris a lot of torment acts, I can't open or knock the door slowly, because Boris might gonna hear the sounds. The best part is to when Boris accidentally left the door open, I can get to his room quickly, and then hide before Boris went to his room. That's the good plan that I can do, so, let's just wait until- Huh? What was that sound? It was from the outside of the bedroom doors. Oh my god no! Boris is about to open the door, I have to run away. Oh my god, that was close, if Boris caught me trying to go into his room, then he might gonna kick me out of his room, so, I have to be quiet until then. Time for me to go downstairs to the kitchen to grab a cup to pour some lemon juice, because lemon juice is my favorite drink. The good news is that Boris just got out of his room, but he left his door, which is a great thing, so, now that I'm in Boris's bedroom, let's see what could I do today, but I remembered having a great plan. I could give Boris a lot of torment acts when he gets back to his bedroom, so, I just got these weapons to give Boris so many torment acts. Sounds like a great deal, now, how about, I could hide somewhere, before Boris came back to his room, I will hide right there, and Boris, you won't find me, because I am hiding somewhere in your room, so please, don't ever find me. It seems that I'm hiding right behind the chair, lucky for me. Boris won't notice me if I hide right behind the chair. I think Boris is about to be back, I gotta stay quiet. Oh my gosh, Boris is in his room now, using his laptop to find something different, but this time, it was new. 
I have no idea about what Boris was doing, but however, if Boris is not looking at me hiding this chair while he was using his laptop, I could give him a lot of torment X, since I still have these weapons to give him torment. Oops, looks like I accidentally talk, I don't know what Boris is going to do to me, but oh well, I failed, and I screwed up. Huh? Who was the one speak while I'm using my laptop? <laughs> looks like I'm done for. Time to give Boris a lot of torment things. Goris. Just what are you doing here in my room for? Huh? Did you just sneak into my room before I get to my bedroom? Okay, you know what, Boris? Time for me to throw the chair at you. And guess what, Boris? I'm going to use my weapons to give you a lot of torment X, so that way, you could get suffered into torment. Have fun getting into a lot of torments, Boris. What's wrong? Boris? Are you suffered all because I was giving you torment stuff? Well that's what you get for always giving me and Corey's timeouts each time. After that, what am I going to do to you? Oh wait, I will give you a lot of torment X, so, get prepared to get into a lot of torments. No Goris, don't you dare, don't give me these torment stuff, I cannot handle this, it's all your fault. Too bad Boris, you're not gonna get away with this, so, get ready to receive a lot of torment stuff. Oh my god Goris, stop giving me a lot of torment acts. You are making me suffer even more, so stop it right now, or else I will tell Doris about this, and she is so going to be mad. No way Boris, I will still give you some more torment stuff, so like I said, just deal with it, and you have to handle it, so yeah, no one should not trust you. Take this Boris, that's what you get, you should not ever ground me or give me timeouts, and stop giving Corey's timeouts you fool who never learns. Plus, you should not ever think, so, I hope you learn about it. Ouch ouch Goris, this is very cruel of you to do this to me, why in the world would you give me a lot of torments, this is very cruel of you to do. Shut your mouth Boris, no one even cares, you should at least just stop it or even. Goris Goris Goris. Just what in the world is this? Wait wait, what in the world did- Gorus, what are you doing here in me and Boris's room? Also, what just happened to Boris recently? You see, Doris, I have to give Boris a lot of torment X with my weapons just to make him suffer into a lot of torments, and that's how I made him become very worse. So, Doris, please don't get mad at me all because I gave Boris a lot of torment stuff. So please, don't ever get furious over it. Like I said, I'm begging you, okay? G R R R R R R R. Goros Goros Goros, this is not okay. This is very cruel of you to do. You made Boris become very worse. I mean, very worse than I thought. Seriously, just seriously, I have to send Boris to the hospital to get Boris recovered and better. What in the world were you thinking? And now, it will take days or weeks for Boris to get better and recovered. And Goris, you are gonna pay the huge price for doing this to Boris. But but Doris, you are making up excuses, so yeah, I'm just gonna like. Run run run. Hey hey, you better get back over here, you are not gonna sprint away from me. Boris, you need to get back here, so I can ground you or give you any timeouts. Gosh darn it. Looks like I'm grounded by Doris for up to two weeks just for giving Boris a lot of torment stuff with my weapons. This is unfair, not fair, screw Doris. And Doris, I will have no choice but to take a huge payback on you, so be prepared Doris. Oops, I just forgot that I'm grounded for two weeks all because I give Boris so many torment acts. I did not even realize that, XD. Hey there Boris. I just wanted to say that I felt really bad for you because of Goris giving you a lot of torment X. But do not worry, you will stay in the hospital for two weeks, until you are feeling alright. Anyways, I hope you are safe. It's okay, Doris. 
see you in two weeks, I will miss you in about two weeks, so goodbye Doris. You too, Boris, goodbye, I will see you in two weeks, so be safe, Boris. Why do I have to clean up myself? But cleaning is okay for me to do. Alrighty, looks like my hand is full clean, time to turn off the wash sink thing. All done, I'm done using the bathroom, I could let somebody go in. Alright, finally. Doris the brat is done using the sink, now I get to go inside the bathroom, but this time, there's got to be a great plan for me to do, so, I need to look around in a real quick before I can have a planning to do. Uh, no, not these things that I wasn't even do, no, not these one, uh, nope, I wouldn't even use these, so let's see, where is it? Found it. But before I need to go. Let me have a plan idea, actually, nope. I can't find these ones, these ones looks useless anyways, I'm guessing there's no things for me to use. Ugh. Where is all of the things that I need? This is making me waste my own timeline, is there something in the printer room? I have to check. Wrong room. This room doesn't have any planning ideas. Ugh, it seems that I can't even find any plans. Oh well, I guess I will go upstairs to my room, and think about what can I do about having a great plan. This room is absolute useless in my own thoughts. Hopefully, I can easily have great plans to do if the tasks are here for me to complete. This is the worst, I bet no one thinks that I got a better plan, when I do have one, because they are so dumb and worthless to think, I'm the actually one who is a great idea to come up with. This is my horrible day for me, I don't think I should. Huh? Is that Boris's room door has left open? If it is, then why did Boris, or even Doris, has left the door open? That seems very suspicious. All of the time, I don't know where did Boris or Doris go, probably they went to the clothing shop to buy some clothes themselves, or I forgot, about that, I can go right inside in Boris's and Doris's bedroom, and check to see if there is anything in there, hopefully, there are some of the things that I can use. I gotta close this door because Boris won't notice that I went to his room without his permission. Glad that I won't have to worry about Boris or Doris the brats, they are gonna act like a useless people. Anyways, I'm now in Boris's and Doris's bedroom, let's see what could I do. Cause I found out that there are things that Boris and Doris has left their stuff. Let's check inside the bag to see if Boris or Doris still have one, hopefully, I can still do something. Bingo! I finally found it, let's review it. Cool, I found these stuff from the bag, time to look at these things. Bingo, I've caught these useless stuff, this time, I will figure out. What I am going to do is to light and burn Boris and Doris's useless stuff on the campfire, because I'm not gonna deal with these stuff that was left. But first, all I need is to grab all of the junk stuff, and put it right onto the pocket. And second, I will put these logs right onto the ground. Then I will throw the lighter right onto the log perfect target. This is the perfect idea I have come up with. So, I will go outside, and then do the instructions that I've mentioned. By the way Boris and Doris, you both aren't thinking that I've really did that anyway, because there are no evidence. Alrighty, I'm at outside at the front backyard trying to make sure that no one can caught me for making this useless fire. And I bet that everybody at this local street won't ever listen to my advice or recommendation. 
cause they might gonna fall into a trap or something. Oh, not the campfire thing again. Please remove that campfire. I don't like the flames of fire. It's really bad. Hey you Allison Gavin the dummy. No one even cares. Also you are actually right. Flames of fire is really bad and not. Glad that you left and move forward. Anyways, it's time to put the stuff that I've found on fire, and let it burn, and flame. So, here we go with these useless stuff. And for the last one, the last prop that I was trying to put in. There we go. Every stuff that I've found is now burned. Hopefully, Boris and Doris won't find out that I did that anyway. About that, I should get a rid of flames of fire with water, or I can just go and stay away from the flames of fire. Oh my god no, look what I have done. I made the flames of fire spread, oh no. I gotta remove them quickly before it happens. Let's just get a rid of flames. Hose, do it. Okay, I just get a rid of the flames of fire with a hose. The good news is that my house did not get even burned or collapsed. But, wait, what in the world is this? Oh my god no! Look what I have done to the house. After I remove the flames of fire with a hose, the house or our fence just got into these worst ones. But, I'm so going to be in big trouble if Boris or Doris just find out that I messed up the half of the house on outside. So up, uh, I gotta get to work by trying to get rid of these tons of spots that no one does not like. Uh oh. Boris and Doris are back. I'm screwed even more. The heck? How come half of the house and the fence got into these parts that no one even likes? I don't even know what happened, but... Oh shoot! Doris the useless woman child just almost caught me this time. I'm not so sure about what in the world just happened. Quaze, what did you do to half of the house and the fence? Did you ever do something like that? I need an answer. Alright Doris, you caught me. I was looking something around the house, but there's nothing for me to use. Luckily, I find these stuff, and then go outside. Once I get to outside of our house, I use the logs to light them on fire, and I put these junk stuff that I've found on the bag of your room on fire, and then it causes to flame even more. Then, after I go and stay away from the fire, the flames of fire just begin to spread, and it catches half of our home, but almost got burned or collapsed, but I removed them with a hose. So that's the whole truth. So please don't get mad over things that I did. Do not worry, I can still at least. Wow. Just, well Corys. You really messed up right now. You know what? I have no choice but to give you a time out for that, but instead of sending you to your room, you will have to clean up these spots that you did. So this means that you have to take time to do this. But Doris, I wasn't even trying to damage the whole house without any. Ugh, why do I have to do this all by myself? This will take me a longer hours, or even forever to get rid of these spots that I've made. I must have made the fire begin to spread. Ugh, you gotta remove these spots that I've made. And please, useless spots, I want you to be gone after I'm done trying to clean it up, or scrub it harder and harder. Remove it, remove it, remove it. Ugh, these spots won't ever listen to my recommendation. You know what? Alright, that does it. I'm so tired of this after I was trying to remove the parts of spots that I've made. I'm gonna kick it so hard that these spots won't ever listen. Take this you fool. Take that you useless spots. This is what you get. Ah, uh, what the heck? How come the house is nearly damaged and flipped? Um, is there something wrong with the house that I can just... Uh oh, looks like I have done it again and again. I don't know what Doris or Boris is going to do this to me. Corys, you better get inside the house that was crashed right now. 
You seriously need to have a lot of explanation details about what were you doing to this house. Shoot, Doris just found out about me doing this to the house. Uh oh, looks like I'm in serious trouble anyways, I'll have to face it. Ugh. Why would I ever do these dishes? This is wasting my time. You know what? Let me put all of the dishes right onto the dishwasher dryer, so that way, the dishes will work. Alright, I just pick up all of the dish plates, including cups that was already washed and cleaned. It's time to put it right onto the dishwasher dryer. Time to open the dishwasher dryer door. I gotta put these dishes right inside the dishwasher dryer. It would be great if these dishes are about to be dry so fast. Excellent. I could close the dishwasher dryer door, and turn on the rinse and hold thing. Finally, looks like I'm done doing the dishes. Ugh, this took me a while to finish this task that I was supposed to do. Time to get back to my room. And Corey's. I'm already done. So do not worry, Goris is helping you, so I will be here in a minute. right now. So where are you right now? Ouch. Corey's wasn't in this room. I think he was in his room, so I will go and check. Do not worry Corey's. I just made it after I finished washing the dishes and put the dishes that are already washed right inside the dishwasher dryer. Wait what? Did you just said that there's a dishwasher dryer in the kitchen? Oh yes. We have never made thoughts about that. We both totally forgot about the nice and great dryer. Yeah. We do have one at the kitchen. So, what about that? Could we just go back to the kitchen and wait until the dishwasher dryer is done drying the dishes? Actually, we both could use my laptop and look up to see if there's dishwasher dryer videos that are released. So we could do that before we go back to the kitchen. Yeah. Sure, that's a great plan for us to figure out. I can bring your laptop to us, so we can look up any dishwasher dryer videos. Wow Goris, thanks for helping me, we could work together, though. Alright Corys, I will bring this to us. Let's see how was the dishwasher dryer video. I hope it's better for us to listen. That is correct. The sound of dishwasher dryer was completely alright. I'm so glad that these dishes are looked cleaned and dry. I think it's time to put these dishes back to the drawers. But instead, I could do something that could easily break something. And, close the dishwasher dryer door before the bomb runs out of time. Alright guys, I will be back when the bomb have run out of time, okay? Alright, it looks like it's done. Time to check the dishwasher dryer inside. That plan just worked. And it's all good. Anyways everybody who are watching this video. What do you think of it? I will be back soon. So see you later guys. Anyways Corys. Now that we are done watching these dishwasher dryer videos. Let's go back to the kitchen and see if the dishwasher dryer is done. Good choice. I'm wishing that the dishwasher dryer needs to be done in a quick. So Goris, we're done putting back these dishes right onto the drawers. Now, what are we going to do with this dishwasher dryer? I think we both just watched the dishwasher videos and remembered about that. We could overload the dishwasher dryer. But we must have three things to add. Okay, but what is the exact three things that we need to add? Can you tell me how to do it? Number one, we could pour some liquid water, but we can't drink liquid. So we only pour it, not drinking it. Okay, I really understand that. But, what else is number two? For the number two, we also add some lighters right inside the dishwasher dryer. This could be alright. And for the last one, which is number three. 
we close the dishwasher dryer door, and once we did that, we turn on the dishwasher dryer counter, and turn the thing right or left. That's an original idea, Goris. But how does it work? Anything else that the dishwasher dryer can overload? Actually, it can overload if we speed up so fast that the dishwasher dryer can easily explode into pieces. I've saw some people did that, so that's how it works. Okay. I have never heard about that weird idea, but could we stay away from the dishwasher dryer? Because it might gonna explode in any minutes or hours. Yes. We don't want to get exploded by the dishwasher dryer. Right? Anyways, we'll start turning right or left. So please, I think we're done this time. Maybe we could go to the living room and watch TV or we could go to our room or anything else? I was thinking. Yes, how about we should watch television and watch the dishwasher dryer videos, but this time we are going to see different ones. How about that? Goris? Sounds like a good plan, Coris. I have never thought about that. Um, what was that sound? Is that a timer bomb sound that is from the inside of dishwasher dryer, after we add steps? After we start overloading the dishwasher dryer, it will start to explode in any minutes. Oh my god! The dishwasher dryer is about to explode. So uh, we need to make a run for it. Hurry Corys, we don't want to waste our own time. Are you there? I think the explosion has stopped. I'm here, Corys. I'm not so sure about what was happened, but this is how it works. So we may have to look and see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The dishwasher dryer is ruined. Did we just do the steps about how to overload the dishwasher dryer? We do the steps and try our best to overload it, but then it was exploded. Shoot. I think we're gonna pay the price. So uh, we gotta go before Boris just found out. Yep, we don't want to get grounded or get into timeout again. Here here Corys, we would go upstairs to our rooms, and hopefully, Boris won't ever. I'm going to open the dishwasher dryer door and... Uh oh! It's Boris! I think we both are caught. Ugh, we should have not ever do these steps towards the dishwasher dryer. Yeah, and honestly... The dishwasher dryer might gonna cost like over $550. That's too expensive, and we don't have enough of cash to repair a new one. Alright, Boris. We will have to explain all of this to you. Please, we were explaining about the dishwasher dryer. This is not what it looks like. Please, trust us, we will give you full details about it. Yeah. You need to understand. We both just wanted to overload the dishwasher dryer by doing these steps, but it just failed. And it causes to get exploded in any seconds or minutes. And the first part of kitchen is full of mess, and the parts are way too much, and we don't clean these things up. Please Boris, we all admit that we were trying to overload the dishwasher dryer, but it failed. What the heck? What the heck? Oh 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 oh. Karis and Goris, you both have blow up the dishwasher dryer. Look what you both have done. This is not even alright. This dishwasher dryer is almost cost like $600. Actually, but we don't have much money. Like what on earth is wrong with you guys? You both seriously need to take tons of responsibility. That was it. You both are grounded 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 until we put a new dishwasher dryer, which will take a while for us to repair the new one. But Boris, we are trying to overload the- Okay, why in the world did Boris put us right into the basement, and locked the basement door? Why in the world did- Oh my god that Boris. He really needs to get us out of the basement, the basement is so scary that we can't see the lights, ever. Uh Boris, I mean, Corys. Please don't let Boris become very mad at you, if you do, then we are busted again and again. No need to ask, Goris. 
I will tell Boris to unlock this door right this instant. Because the basement is too scary. Well, here we go again this time. I'm not gonna waste my time. Boris the Brat. You better open this door right this instant. You are making us feel stressed out. So please, open the door already you fool. Open the door right now Boris. How many times do I have to tell you? Let us out. Now now now. Please, unlock the door right away. Ugh. Why does Cory's won't listen to me? Oh well. I guess I should just... Up. Uh, I have no idea. Today, in Beyond City, there are places that doesn't have any happening, and what's going on? However, people in their houses are alright. Uh, what is going on here in the Anderson's house? Let's see what was going on. No way Boris. I am going to go to your room, and steal your useless laptop right now. Now stop chasing me already. Hey, what did I tell you? You better not, because you are messing around a house like that. Get back here already and clean the whole living room already. Oh my god Cordis, I can't handle it because of you. Don't you dare steal my laptop and take it away. Never. I'm going to do it anyway because you are so annoying Boris the Brat. Get back here Cordis. Alright Boris. I just took your laptop. Now, you are not using your laptop forever, because I am taking it away from you. I think the only way to take Boris's laptop away, is to sprint to the backyard of my house, then go to the garage, and see which tools that I would destroy. There you are. Just what are you doing here in my room, huh? Trying to take away my laptop. Oh heck no. Not now Boris. And you know why am I going to take away your useless laptop that you used? Oh so you wanted to take away, or steal my laptop? Alright then, have it your way Boris. I'm going to take my laptop, and then I will ground you and punish you for that. Nope. Not gonna happen. Give me a break Cordis. You are upside down there, and I really need to get up there. Take this Boris. Now, I am standing right onto your bed. How about? Get off of my bed already. Standing right onto the bed can easily make the bed break sometimes. Alright then. I'm going to get off, since standing right onto the bed is a bad idea. The good thing is that I steal your laptop Boris. Well, how about? I could do something really stupid to your bedroom. No 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 Cordis, you better not do it, or else I am going to be more. Take this Boris. Your bedroom is now messed up, and completely ruined. Let's see how do you like it or not. I could run and sprint to the garage. Ha 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 x d d d d d d d d d Hey, you better get back here already. I do not have enough time to deal with you. You cannot chase me again. Ha 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 lo 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 x d d d d d d d. How many times do I have to tell you? Give my laptop back to me already. All right. I need to pick up any type of tools that can help me to smash Boris's useless laptop. Perfect. Just what I need. I don't know what was Chorus up to. I think I should. Oh my god Chorus. What are you doing? You just smashed my laptop with a hammer. Take that Boris. That's what you get. Now, I hope you like the laptop getting smashed by me. So, what do you think? Uh, Boris? Why are you so mad? Please, just be honest. I just smash your laptop for fun. Don't get mad, okay? And I do not want you to. Are you serious right now? I cannot believe that you went to the garage, and then just picked up a hammer, and then you just smashed my laptop too hard. Thanks to you Cordis. I have no place to use a laptop because the laptop costs like over about $400. Like how am I supposed to pay that much? That's too impossible. Screw you Cordis. 
I have no internet connection because you completely smashed my laptop with a hammer. Plus, I have to call my boss from my workplace and tell him about what was going on. I have to tell him that you smashed my laptop with a hammer by going to the garage. And my boss is going to be more angry about the situation. As a punishment, you will be grounded until my new laptop is here, which will be sometimes a while, or it will take some time to get my new laptop. Forget about it Boris. Your new laptop won't last long to get delivered to our home. Just be quiet already or else I will set your room on fire. Listen, you don't ever try to set my room on fire, because you could end up paying the price for that. So please, get inside in our house, and go to your room already. I really despise you so much. I can't stand you anymore Boris. You are more worse than I thought. I wish that you will broke up with Doris. I am sick and tired of Chorus being such a bossy and a psycho who tries to make me more mad and stressed. Besides, Chorus just smashed my laptop today, and this means that I am no longer using my laptop because of Chorus. I really need to call my boss about the situation that Chorus did. My boss is going to be mad about this. <laughs> Hi there Boris. How are you doing? I have a question, are you going to our workplace today? Sadly, no. The reason why, because my laptop is smashed, and it was Chorus who smashed my laptop with a hammer. So, Chorus was the one who smashed it, and made you have no internet connections because of Cobb smashed your laptop? Yes, it's true. I am so mad at Chorus that I have to ground him until I get a chance to buy a new laptop for myself which will take some time to get a new laptop. Oh my god. That Karis? I'm glad that you ground him. Anyways, call me if you got a new laptop. Okay, goodbye, and I will call you back if I get a chance. I'm guessing, no laptop for me to use until I will buy a new laptop for myself. Now, let me go back inside to my house, and wait until Doris gets home. Oh my god. Stupid Boris. I never liked Boris just for grounding me. Ugh. No ways for me to figure out. And I am very mad because of all of the truth and stuff that I have done. What am I thinking already? I got grounded again. Maybe I could just use my laptop to find any type of ideas. Ugh. Any ideas that are basically have shown? I could make up any ideas. It's been like a while since I'm using my laptop, trying to find ideas on the internet. But it looks like I finally made up an idea I was supposed to do. I could start smashing and destroying everything that Boris does. Cause I think Boris does something he really likes. But first, let me go check in his room. I think Boris left his room. the heck? Boris just cleaned his room by replacing everything in there? Wow! I have never expected Boris cleaning his room since I made a mess, but whatever anyways, I already know that Boris's laptop got recently smashed by me because I am sick and tired of Boris grounding me. Screw Boris, though, let me check his drawer, and see if there's something inside in the drawer. I think I saw some of the items that Boris just keep. Let's pick up something. I think I got Boris's useless phone. Let's bring this to where the bed was here. Take this. There we go. Boris's phone is now broken. I guess I could just use my phone, and check to see if there's any new notifications on my... Wait, what the heck is this? My phone? My phone is broken and smashed too? Man, I lost my phone because someone just sneaked into my room, then just opened my drawer and found my phone, and then he or she just completely destroyed it. I'm so glad that I just destroyed, and smashed Boris's phone. Now he won't ever use it again cause he might gonna get me in trouble again and... 
Hey, 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 what did I just heard from? I heard that it was Chorus who was standing right next to my bedroom door. I gotta find- Oh my god, no. I gotta run away this time. Get over here already, Chorus. You really need to explain the details about why. What the heck? There's a dead end? Oh no. Looks like I am busted big time. There you are, Chorus. Now, would you please explain about my phone? But what do you mean your phone? Your phone was completely smashed into pieces. Yeah, you're right. I was talking about my phone getting smashed by any type of tool. Uh-oh. I think I just sneaked into your bedroom. Then, I found your phone right inside in your drawer. And lastly, I smashed it with a hammer. The good thing is that I did the right thing to do. That's what you get for grounding me all because I smashed your laptop recently. Do you know what will be next? Next time if you do it one more time, then I will seriously have to punish you even more. Shut up, and go set yourself on fire. Oops. I should have not ever say that to you Boris. Okay? I won't say it again to you. Alright. That's it Chorus, you seriously have said it to me today, and guess, what? You, you, will, get, serious. No way Boris. No way, I'm getting out of here, and you are not gonna. Hey, hey, hey Chorus, get back here right now, I won't ever deal with all of this nonsense, I am seriously going to chase after you, and you are in serious trouble. No way Boris. You are not gonna chase me whatsoever. Now please, leave me alone and I can destroy and smash everything that you used. No you are not, it will cost about $900 or something. And you better not destroy or smash everything, because everything is too expensive. Who cares anyway? Everything in the house that you used must be smashed or destroyed and that's final. Now please be quiet and let me smash everything. You know what, that is it, I will have to tell Doris about this when she gets home, and she's going to be mad at you Chorus. Go ahead and punish me. I really need to face serious consequences. Alright, Chorus, here are the consequences you will have, the consequences you will get. Just kidding. You are a coward. Ha 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 ha. Chorus, like I said once again, get back here right away. Wait, wait. Did Boris just clean the whole living room by putting everything right to the sides, and more? I think he must have went to the living room to clean up this mess. I think this iPad belongs to Boris, where he gets this iPad when we buy this amazing tablet once he gets a chance to buy it, and pay it with $300. This iPad looks great, and it turns out that this device has filled with lots of apps, storage rooms, settings, connection apps, and much more on this iPad, but who cares? I'm going to smash Boris's favorite iPad, he doesn't need it anyway, cause I'm about to smash it with a hammer. All good. Let's smash Boris's iPad with a hammer. Take that. Boris's iPad is broken, because I accidentally smashed it with a hammer. Chorus, you're caught red-handed this time. You have seriously crossed the line. But Boris, how did you caught me? I thought that you are staying in your bedroom until Doris went home. And Boris, what is that thing behind you? I think there is something in the sofa. But Boris, what are you talking about? Huh? The thing that is right next to that. Whoa, 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 what the heck is this? Oh my god, my iPad? No, it's been smashed again. First, my laptop. Second, my phone. And now, third, my iPad. You have done it again for the third time. Chorus, did you just smash my other device again? Like, did you just smash and completely destroyed my iPad with a hammer? You better tell me now. Well, I have to give up. I guess that, I was the one who smashed your favorite iPad with a hammer. 
That was very cruel of me to do it. Just kidding. Take that. You don't deserve an iPad after you ground me, once again. You don't ever ground me ever again, got that? Okay okay, I think I'm going too far this time. I do not know what am I going to do, but the only one option is... Run away from Boris. Alright that's it, get back here right this instant. Why do I have to deal with every single of Chorus's annoying attitude? Oh god. Boris is chasing after me, and I don't think I can hide anywhere because Boris might gonna find me. The last part that I am going to do is to go to the garage. Then, go inside in Boris's car. And then, I should start driving, that's the perfect plan. But however, Boris is having issues right now because I still keep messing around him too much by simply smashing his devices with a hammer. But let's get to the garage, and then start driving Boris's car. And see what could I do with my house. Alright, let's get started driving. You know why am I driving Boris's car? Because, um, I am going to crash into my house. And try to jump up a little bit, so that way, the house can get wrecked easily. Now, let's start turning around towards my home. And make sure to let the car to go up a little bit. No 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 www.wwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwww
Corey's? What have you done to the entire house? Yeah, you really did that. Okay, okay, Boris and Doris. I think I have crossed the line again. So, I guess I have no choice but to run. Hey, 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 get back over here right now, Corus. You are in serious trouble. I mean it. Uh-oh. Not this again. Ugh. I wonder if there is something new on the internet. Uh, what is this? Is this a new one? It's called, Cut the Internet Connection Off. Oh my gosh. I will watch it, and then let me think about it. Hello there guys. We are going to teach you on how to cut the internet connection off. So, this is the Wi-Fi image that is shown here, but we are going to cut the internet, anyway. However, the internet connection will never turn back on if you cut the connection off with anything that can cut it into pieces. Now, let's review it. Alright. This is very easy for you guys to do. All you need to do, is to cut the Wi-Fi wire off with a scissor. You know what I mean, right? There. This is an easy part for you guys to do. It will automatically get your internet connection cut, and it will no longer to reconnect. Do you guys understand about the steps? If you have any questions about what I've teach you, let me know in the comments. Anyways. Thanks for watching the tutorial about how to cut the internet connection. Also, by the way, this would let the internet connection lose much more, and it will be putted into a cross X mark. Or one second thing, it can also have no internet connection allowed if you cut the Wi-Fi wire off with a scissor. So, goodbye, and see you later about the information between the internet connection and the Wi-Fi wire. Oh my gosh. I just watched the video about how to cut the internet connection off with a scissor? Really? Did I just? This means, I can cut the internet connection off with a scissor. That helps me to get the bottom of this. Yeah 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 yeah. I am so happy that I get a chance to cut the internet connection off with a scissor. Now this means that everybody in the internet cannot use it again. Woohoo. Let's hope that everybody in the internet are going to be annoyed when they have no connection on their internet. Okay, I do not understand about why was Goris so excited? Is he thinking about cutting the internet connection off with a scissor? Hooray! I cannot wait to see everyone going to be mad about this. Haha, <laughs> lo lo lo, xdddd. Alright, that's it. I'm going to Goris's room, and tell him, what was he doing on his laptop? Yeah yeah. I'm so excited about that. No one can stop me now, because I am going to the internet connection place. Whoa whoa whoa. I just heard that someone is banging my bedroom door. Can you please open the door? And please let me know. Ugh. Goris, can you tell me, why are you so excited? I've just heard from you. Can you tell me why? The reason why I am so excited, because I've just watched the video on YouTube. And the video that I've watched is how to cut the internet connection off with a scissor. Oh my gosh. You just watched that? Okay, I'm glad that you watched it, but, we are not going to cut the Wi-Fi wires off with a scissor in our house. Why? Cause we have connection in our home. Well Corys, after I watched the tutorial video, I could go to the internet connection place, and then I can cut the Wi-Fi wires off so easily. Oh yes. You sure can. But, how did you find that idea for? Like I said, I already found the video on YouTube. Did you got that? Yeah yeah, I already got that. So I need to warn you, please don't get in trouble, because Boris is very negative. Whatever. Alright Corys. I'm going. So see you later. See you later as well. But like I said, please do not get in trouble. I wonder what's something on Goris's laptop. But however, Goris just forgot to tell me not to use his laptop without his permission. So, I am too uncertain about it. I could go back to my room, and use my laptop. Uh oh. I gotta close Goris's bedroom door. What was that sound? 
I've heard that there was a running sound that is coming from the kitchen, or even upstairs, but whatever anyways, let's watch television, and see what's something new. I often get a chance to watch television for a while since I was at work. Oh god. Doris is still in the living room, watching television? But, how is that possible? It's no possible, come on. Ugh, I have to face challenges from Doris. Okay, I think there's a chance for me to get out of the house immediately. But first, let's walk to the front door, slowly. And then, open the door, slowly as well. Well, let's do it. Okay, I don't know what was that sound. Maybe it's coming from the front door that someone is trying to open the door just to get out of. Okay, good. I was opening the door just to try to get out of the house and go to the... Hey, 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 Goros, Goros, Goros. Just what are you doing here in front of the front door? Oh my god, no, 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 oh, 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 I gotta run, I gotta run, get me out of here, get me out of here right now, now, now. Goros, why? Why? Why would you ever? Oh my god, G-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-E. Goros, you are going to be in big trouble. I mean it. You are supposed to be in your room while you are still grounded. Oh my god. That was close. I thought I was going to get in trouble, but thankfully, I managed to get out of my horrifying house. Anyways, what am I saying? Okay. Now, the problem was, the internet connection place is going far away from my house. I'm not so sure what to do, but let me think about it. Now, I gotta find the bus sign. The bus sign has the bus driver pull over to the bus station. That's why I have to do it, but first, let me check the map first, and then I am proceed to go to the bus station quick, before the bus leaves in any minute. Okay. I think the internet connection took me about one hour to get there. But, I am not too sure about how, let me get to the bus station quick. I gotta get going, I gotta get going right away. Alright guys. We are moving to a bus station. So please, whatever you do, do not cause any trouble issues while you are inside the bus. Wait for me. Wait for me. Darn it. It looks like the bus driver just left the bus station. Ouch, that really sucks. Man, I should have just get to the bus station before I can use my phone to check the map. Alright. I guess that I need to wait until the bus driver arrived here. I don't want it to waste my time. Wait a second. I think I just got a call from whoever it is. Anyways, let's call somebody. Hi there, Goris. How are you doing? Also, have you made it to the internet connection place? Well, I think no. Because the bus driver just left the bus station, and I was trying to get the bus driver to wait for me, but then he or she just left. Oh god. That made me shocked. I don't even understand. But that's okay. You can still get a chance to visit there. Also, please call me back if you are already got there. Anyways, goodbye, and see you later. See you later too, and I will be there soon. Ugh. I'm so bored, sitting here, and wait until the bus can make me patient. I'm glad the bus has arrived here. Let's go inside the bus. I gotta say this, um, I think there's a chance for me to arrive the internet connection place. I just bought the items on my bag, so I can just, do the tasks. Hello. We have arrived at the internet bus station. Please mind the gap, and please, do not near the bus doors. Oh my gosh. I think I've arrived here. Let's get out of the bus quick. Doors closed. And please mind the gap. Let me check up there, and see if I actually made it. 
Oh yeah. I just actually made it. Yeah yeah. This is one of the best places I wanted to go. Internet connection place. A local building that easily makes everybody's internet working, as long as the connection Wi-Fi are okay. And it's home to the Wi-Fi with connections. I really want to go inside so bad. I want to see these places that can teach me on how to cut the connection internet Wi-Fi wire off with a scissor. Up, which doors that has the enter sign. Maybe I will go inside this door, I think this door has the enter sign. So what, are you going to work? Just hurry, you don't want to get fired, right? Ugh, you gotta get going, because you are almost late, anyways, bye, and I want you to be here. Ugh, my friend is so annoying, why can't he at least just stop wasting his time on some stuff that he's doing, I guess I would wait until he arrives here. Oh my god, no no no, I gotta hide. Ugh, just who is the one who shout while I was completely annoyed, I am not sure that someone is trying to hide somewhere, but whatever, I need to continue doing my stuff. Man. I almost got caught by that stupid staff who owns the internet connection place. God, I think there's a door that took me there, maybe I need to walk slowly, however, it will took me some time to get there. And I have to open the door slowly, cause no one can hear me. Uh, is anybody making up sounds? I don't know who is it, but, we will see. That was close, I bet the staff wouldn't even caught me if I went to the doors that are basically off limits. Hey, you, just what the heck are you doing? You better not go to the doors that are not allowed. Oh my god no 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 please don't you dare catch me, I'm going to this door because I can do whatever I want. Get back over here right away, this door is for staff only, you fool. I bet that you are gonna cut the connection internet off with a scissor. Oh my god. This staff has caught me. I should have just wait until the staff can easily move around. Okay, I just edit the passcode keypad. Hopefully, the staff couldn't get access to open the stupid door. Alright, you want to cut the internet connection off with a scissor? Have it your way. I'm going to chase you no matter what. Wait wait, what? How come the passcode keypad just made it wrong? That's impossible, let me read the passcode number note by looking at it carefully. This passcode keypad should be correct, but, how is even that incorrect passcode? It's too impossible, you know what? Let me try it again. Come on, it's supposed to be correct, not the incorrect passcode. Ugh, is someone in the door already edited the passcode? I am seriously going to be mad at someone. Oh my gosh, lol. That staff guys just went mad because I accidentally edited the passcode keypad. What a fool he is. Oh my god, I need to be quiet, because the staff can hear me in this door. I'm not too sure where to go, but I will go to the right instead. Excuse me? Just open the door already. This door is locked. Please. Passcode keypad. Just get it correct already, not incorrect one. Alright, that does it. I have had enough of the passcode keypad always getting the wrong passcode. I tried it too many times, but it won't work, you know. I'm going to call my friend, and told him to get here quick, and told him that something's wrong with the passcode keypad. Hello? Are you supposed to be here? It's been like 15 minutes, and you're so late. Like what is going on with you? Speak to me. Okay okay. I will be here quick, because I have to deal with a lot of chores that I need to do. Don't worry, I finished all of them, so I need to be here quick. Okay, but please hurry up, and please be here already. I don't want you to waste work hours. My friend is so annoying these days. Alright, 
Let's see if they still have the internet connection cables. They still have one of them since I went to the storage room. Let's open the cable door. Wait a second. Is there a Wi-Fi wire inside the cable? I think I remembered when I watched the video on YouTube, which is called, How to Cut the Internet Connection Off. I found out that it cut the wires off with a scissor. Alright. Let's do this. I will cut the Wi-Fi wires off with a scissor, so that way, the internet connection are no longer having internet connections. This should make the internet connection lose more and more connection, haha. <laughs> Take that. The Wi-Fi wires are cut it off with a scissor. I cannot wait to see everybody having no internet. This is why I am going to do this, hey hey. I need to close the cable door, and make sure that no one in this internet connection building cannot notice me. Alright, let's go to the rooms of the internet connection place, and then, start cutting the Wi-Fi wires off with a scissor that connected to the computers, laptops, and more. Alright. I caught the first Wi-Fi wire. There we go, take that, wire. I cut it with a scissor. Now I have caught another wire. Alright, I've made it to the place that I've just went. Time to put the right passcode keypad. But, I'm not ready yet, because there was a staff that way trying to find a way to edit it, but it's too hard since I was the guy who edited the passcode keypad in the first place. And, I could get caught if they saw me doing something stupid to the Wi-Fi wires like that. So I gotta be careful this time, and if I screwed up, then I would get kicked out. Let's get this over with, to be honest. Wait a second, I know that you did something stupid, that's it, get out of the internet connection place already. Oh no. Looks like I am busted big time. Ugh. I got kicked out, but whatever. Let's just get home quick as fast as possible. Alright. I wonder what's something new on YouTube. Because I'm watch TV on YouTube, trying to find videos that releases today or recently. I hope there's something new. Ah, uh, what just happened to the television connection? I think there's an error. Like, who was the one who cut the internet connection off? I don't know what just happened. I gotta tell my mom about this. My mom seems a little suspicious about the television connection. Ah, uh, mom. Can you please get over here right away? There's something wrong with the television. The television has no connections today. So Diego, can you tell me what happened to the television connection network? Is there something wrong? Well mom, when I was about to watch TV on YouTube, I found out that the television have no connection network. Just look at the television having errors with no connections. Oh my god. I didn't know that the television have no connection. Let me take a look at it. Oh god. No. No. How come the television have no connection? The reason why, because I think someone just went to the doors that are off limits, and the staff is really mad because of this. Could you call the staff, please? Yes. The start is from the internet connection place, where this place has full networks of connection. I got to contact the staff about the situation. Hi there, this is from the internet connection place. So, what can we help you today? Well, we have a problem. Our connection from our house is not working, I think the connection has cupped, so this means that we can use the internet or watch TV anymore. Oh my, that's a problem, and, I just saw someone who went to the doors that are basically off limits, and I caught a guy who wanted to cut the Wi-Fi wire off with a scissor. So, that's what it happened when it started, for all of a sudden, we have to fix the wires quick, before everybody is going to be more furious. Yeah. So, are you going to fix the problem? Yes, me and the staff managers are going to fix the issues. So, thanks for telling me about the problems, I will call you back if it's working. Okay, hurry. I don't want to sit there in the living room, staying quiet all day until the connections is working. So goodbye, and call me back.
Yeah, you too. It will take a lot of hours to fix it. Diego, I think they are ready to fix the problems. Okay. I wish that our house can still get the connections back. Yeah, we should wait until our connections are back. I got to drink some water. I'm so thirsty right now. I'm going to my room and read a book. Um, my connection is not working. Probably because someone in the internet connection place just cut the wifey wires off with a scissor. This means that no connections for me. I might gonna call the staff from the internet connection place because he knows something suspicious. Hopefully, the staff can respond to me and told me that what happened to my connection stuff. Sorry to say this, the staff couldn't even get a chance to respond to you. Anyways, please leave the message. Sorry, error. Are you kidding me right now? This staff cannot respond to me. Ugh, that didn't work well. Let me try it again. I better hope that he can respond to me, and I will let him know about the situation. Hey there, this is from the Internet Connection Network. Can you tell us, what can we help you? Well, suddenly, there is no connection on my phone, or my laptop. I was trying to fix the issue, but it doesn't work. So, could you fix the problem? Sure thing. And someone just sneaked into the doors that are off limits, and then, he just cut the Wi-Fi wires off with a scissor, and made the connections go bye-bye. Ugh. I cannot believe that. Thanks to someone whoever it is, he is going to pay the price for that. I know right? And, I will be back calling you if the connection network is back. Me and the staff members are trying to fix the issue. Anyways, goodbye. You too, and please hurry up. I gotta tell my wife about the situation. Anything good on the television? I better hope that it has good stuff. Error, error, error. The television connection have no connections until further notice. Please contact the staff from the internet connection place to fix the issue. What in the world is this? No internet. But, how, how is even that possible? I was in the living room watching television on YouTube. Well, no connections for the television. Okay, I am not too sure who is the one who cut the internet connection off with a scissor by visiting to the internet connection place. I'm hoping that the staff can fix the issue while I am not since I am too lazy to do that cause it's impossible to get the connections back if the Wi-Fi wires got cut. Hey there, we are from the internet connection place. Also, do you have a connection errors on your television? If you have one, then let me fix the problem. For me, yes, I do have connection error on my television. Could you and your staff members try to replace the Wi-Fi wires with the new one? Yes, me and my staff members are going on our way to fix the problem. So do not worry, the internet connection network will be back on if we already fix the issue. Okay, but please hurry, I can't take it anymore. Anyways, goodbye, and please let me know if the connection networks are back. Alright then. Thank you for listening to me, this is me from the Internet Connection Place, signing off, and goodbye. When will the Connection Network will be back on? It will happen when the staff members are done fixing the problem. Haha. Uh -huh. Every single of the Internet Connection from every place has no connections, which was great. Now, no one can stop me now. I gotta check outside of the window, and see if the connections around everywhere have no Internet Wi-Fi. God, I am so annoyed right now. When will the internet connection network will start working? It's been like a few hours and it did not turn back on. Hi, your television connection network is turned back on. This means that you can get to watch anything on the television. Me and the staff members already fixed the problem. Oh my gosh. Yes, the connection network on television is back. Woohoo. I guess I get the chance to watch TV. But first, I need to watch the news about who cut the connection off. Hey Boris, how is the connection network doing? Well Doris, the connection network on television is back. The staff and the staff managers has fixed the issues, problems, and errors. This means that I get a chance to watch TV. I'm so happy. Anyways, let's watch the television and look up the news. Oh my gosh, after a few hours, 
me and the staff members are already done fixing the errors, issues, and problems. Problem solved. But anyways, what is up, everybody? I'm from the internet connection place, where this place has full internet network protections. So basically, someone in this place just went to the doors that are off limits. Then suddenly, a guy went to the storage room, then he opened a wire door, and he cut the Wi-Fi wires off with a scissor. And the worst part, all of the internet connections from television, computers, laptops, devices, etc., are cut due to the no connections. But after a few hours, me and the staff managers are working together replacing the Wi-Fi wires with a new one, and make sure not to cut the internet connections ever again. And we are all done by locking the wire doors from the storage room, and never let anyone else use it since these rooms are off limits, and it's only for staff managers only. We may have to check the footage to see a guy who has done it big time. As you can see here, this is a guy who just cut off the Wi-Fi wires with a scissor. That is exactly called, cutting the internet connection network off. This is the evidence of the guy doing this. So everybody, thanks for watching the television news, and, make sure to keep your internet connection network safe. What the heck? Gorse just did that? That's it. I'm not going to ground Gorse for this, instead, I will go to the backyard to shovel the snow. Gorus, I want you to get downstairs to the living room right away. You need to have some explain stuff. Um, Boris? Why are you so mad at me for? Is there something wrong that I can just... Can't you at least just look at the television screen? The TV has some news about you. Shoot. Looks like I am busted, again. I just cut the connection off with a scissor. I used a scissor just to cut the Wi-Fi wires off. That is correct. You seriously have done that. As a punishment, you're grounded. Then screw you anyways. I'm out of here. Oh my god, stupid Doris or Boris. They kept on grounding me for stupid reasons. Stupid Boris and Doris. They will regret it once I am so done with them, but this time, for good. Doris the Brat. Please leave me alone already. I am so tired of you and Boris the Brat for always ground me for dumb reasons. Why don't you at least just go fall down the bridge? Seriously, Corys? You just said this to me and Boris? That's it, you asked for it. I'm going to give you punishments. Shut up already, Doris. You are acting like a psycho. Now I'm leaving. Hey hey hey, get back here right this instant. You are more worse than Goris, you need to stop running away from all of the stuff that you have done. Let's hope that Doris the woman child won't see me hiding right behind the chair. Corys, where are you? I can't handle this all because of you. Man, where is Corys anyway? I don't think I see Corys, I think he left the house without my stupid permission. What was Corys thinking anyway? Alright Boris, I mean, Corys. Corys, you are going to be grounded when you got home. Cause I saw you leaving the house without me or Boris's permission. That was close. I'm glad that Doris the Bread did not see me hiding right behind the chair. Come on. Let's get out of the areas right now. It is off limits, cause of Doris, or Boris is negative towards me. All done. I'm so glad that I left my stupid house. My house is horrible with a lot of worst actions I have caused. I'm going to move somewhere else, before I can make plans. 
Finally, I got away from Doris or Boris. Hopefully, they will not track the place that I went. Cause they don't even know where am I. Aren't they look too stupid? I'm pretty sure Doris and Boris aren't even that stupid. But anyways, where am I? Oh right. I know where I am. Let's sit down for a quick. Let me think of an idea of what could I do. Besides, there are many plans that I was supposed to do. I think so. I found a specific idea. Maybe I could destroy and collapse the longest bridge. I think the Vyond city has one of them. So, I could do that. But first, let me look something. Let me see which one should I go? I think the longest bridge is far away from me. I gotta hurry up before I'm getting late. Got it. The longest bridge is far away from me. I guess it's better to get a chance for me to get there. Otherwise, I'm way too late. What are you waiting for? Let's sprint right to the longest bridge, and collapse the entire longest bridge. That way, some of the people can easily fall down for it. I'm going to wait until the bus arrives here. I cannot wait to collapse the longest bridge. Just wait when I get here. When will the stupid bus arrives here at the place of where the longest bridge is right up ahead? This bus driver is driving so slow, and it can't drive faster. This is a waste. And if the stupid bus driver won't drive the bus so fast, then I will do it for myself, and block the bus driver while he can't see the front of the bus window. Alright people, we are now arrive here at the longest bridge that looked up ahead. So, be careful walking to the places that you have never been visited to. Never mind. I'm getting out of here. So bye bye bus. Ha ha. I'm going to collapse the longest bridge. Got it. This is where exactly I was supposed to go. The longest bridge. Let's collapse the longest bridge when I got there. Hopefully, it won't even take that long. That's what I'm going to do. Now. Before we need to go to the longest bridge, I think there is a sign that has the miles away from me. 20 miles away? Ouch, that is making me waste some time. But hopefully, I have to get there, or else I am going to be tired when I was about to go there. I'm ready to run all the way to the longest bridge. Alright Corys. You got this. You must think carefully before you need to collapse the longest bridge. Like, go right down to the bridge that has the shades. And do it what I said. I gotta sprint quickly I gotta sprint quickly. I'm wasting my stupid time cause sprinting too much can easily make me tired. I gotta sprint more faster. Hurry up hurry up. Ugh. This is a lot of running, man. I should have just asked somebody to take me to the longest bridge, but I can't, since no one wasn't trying to get me there. Ouch, what a waste. Oh wait. I've just made it. Oh my gosh, I'm glad that I am not going to deal with it ever again. This means, I am going to go right downstairs to the under longest bridge. It has a shade in it, and where the people can stay the shade. Hold on a second. Where is the stairs that leads me to the shades? There is one there, but where is it? It's supposed to have one. Let's walk all the way until I got there. Gosh darn it. Looks like the longest bridges doesn't have the staircases in there. I guess there is no choice to collapse the bridge. Wait. I changed my mind. The only way to collapse the longest bridge, is, what if I caused the huge big wave at the longest bridge? Maybe that's a great plan for me to do, so, let's get back to my house quick. I think I've must lost because I was too far away from my house. Plus, I am going to be super tired after I have to walk all the way straight to my home. If I'm too tired, then I need to take a huge rest until I'm feeling good, but whatever, I'm walking straight all the way to my home. This is taking me about more than a lot of minutes to be here quick. Plus, there is no bus sign, 
or other signs around the longest bridge since this bridge doesn't have one of them. That sucks. Ouch. That was a lot of walking. I guess I look too tired. I need to lie down for much more. Man, this is not what am I thinking. There we go. Now all I need to do is to wait until I'm feeling all good. One hour later. I'm thinking that I'm doing good. And I am feeling alright. Let's get up. Anyways, time to start causing a huge big wave at the longest bridge. But first, let me turn on my laptop. Oh man, I better get started, because the longest bridge is going to be collapsed by the big huge wave soon. Time for me to go outside to get a nice and a fresh air. I hope the outside has the fresh weather temperature. One hour later. Time to get started. I still have more time to start causing the big huge wave. I will start activating the big huge wave at the longest bridge. Hopefully, the longest bridge can easily get collapsed when the big huge wave arrives here. Alright, all set. I cannot wait to see the big huge wave going after the longest bridge. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see it. It will happen when the big huge wave gets there. Now it's been all set, let me watch the longest bridge video on YouTube to see if the big huge wave goes after the longest bridge. I am going to click on YouTube, and... Corey's. What are you doing? Are you causing trouble again or what? Uh oh, it's Doris. I'm thinking, I'm busted, right? Why on earth are you using on your laptop? Huh. Causing trouble once again? Oh uh, no 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 no, Doris. I wasn't trying to cause trouble. I only use my laptop if I get any notifications on the internet. Trust me, I wasn't. Well, if you are telling the truth, then, I am not going to punish you for that. But whatever you do, don't cause any screwed up things again. Do you got that, Corys? Yes yes, I understood. Please trust me, like I said. Thank you so much. Now, I'm watching you, okay? I, I wasn't even expected that, but okay. I'm glad that I did not get punished by Doris. What a relief, but whatever anyways, let's just watch the longest bridge video on YouTube, and see if the big huge wave did appears it or not. I wonder if it happens. If it happens, then, I, I am so going to be excited. But let's just be quiet and watch it. Hold on a second. It worked. I think I activated the big huge wave at the longest bridge. That is how it works. Oh my, why I've ever have thought about that. This means, the longest bridge is going to fall apart, and goes down to the river sea. Now, I'm not gonna tell Doris or Boris that I caused the big huge wave to go after the longest bridge, cause I could get in big trouble if I said that. Let's just hope that Boris or Doris won't ever caught me doing that. Corys, are you still in your room? And, what are you doing? Could you please go downstairs to the living room? There is something serious about the longest bridge. Oh my god, I need to open the door right now cause Doris knocked the door. Corys, go downstairs. There is something serious about the longest bridge at the Vion City. Why? I'm trying to look something on the internet. Ugh. Why don't you at least just look up on the news already? There is something serious. Alright, alright. I'm coming downstairs to the living room to see the news. Let me go, let me go. Alright, I guess we can go downstairs to see the latest news. I hope it wasn't me who did it. 
So this is what happened after the longest bridge got seriously collapsed when the big huge wave hits the road? Yep, this is where it started, and, I hope the longest bridge can get fixed in a real soon, so that way, everybody can drive themselves in the right way. Ha ha. Take that. The longest bridge deserves to get collapsed by the big huge wave. This is much better than I thought. I cannot wait to see the cars falling down into the- Excuse me? Corey's? You should not ever set this to the longest bridge. Now because of the situation, the longest bridge has to be fixed for a longer month. Yeah, and that was just not okay for you to celebrate the longest bridge to get collapsed by the big huge wave. You should know that the big huge wave is very dangerous. Plus, I have a bit feeling about you causing the big huge wave to go after the longest bridge. Can you tell us if you did it or not? Excuse me, what? What are you talking about? Are you just trying to punish me for it? Well I am not gonna- Tell us the whole truth right now. We don't want to hear every single of your excuses so you can try not to get punished. You know what? Alright. I'm going to tell you, but, I'm not trying to lie to you both. Anyways, where am I saying? I went to go for a walk outside. Then, I went to the bus to let the bus driver drove me to the place of where it's taking me to the longest bridge. And after I got there, I walked straight to the longest bridge to see if the longest bridge has the staircase, but there are no staircases around the longest bridge. So I have to go back all of the way, and when I got home, I have to take some rest, until I'm feeling good. Then, I went to my room, then, used my laptop, and I activated the big huge wave to hit the longest bridge. So that's what happened recently. But please don't see the security footage of our house. I already said that I caused it. Don't waste your stupid times looking at the footage. Oh so you caused all of this? Alright then, you asked for it. We are going to punish you once again for paying the huge price. Okay everybody who is watching this video, please turn down your volume quick, otherwise, it was too late because... Are you out of your mind right now? Oh 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 we will send you to the outside of the backyard. Are you kidding me? Why, though? Because we are sick and tired of you and your behavior. We can't stand with your behavior, that's why. Now go outside the backyard already. We are going to lock the door when you get out. But that's impossible. You can't do this to me like that. Shut up already and go to the outside of the backyard, like I said. Well, this really sucks. I guess I have to. Corey's, please meet me at the outside at our front house. We are going to find specific ideas, rather than doing nothing in our house, we are going somewhere in the Beyond City. Alright Goris, I guess I have to go. I don't want to waste my time using the laptop anyway, because you do have a point. But, I need to watch out, cause Boris and Doris are still in. Okay, I understand. I understand that Boris and Doris have locked your window right at your room, but do you still find the key to unlock it? Sorry, but I can't find it. Boris and Doris must have put the key somewhere, so I will just go right at the back door instead of going to the front door. Okay, sounds like a great idea, but make sure to watch out, because Boris and Doris, or even Kalo, classic Kalo, or Rosie are gonna caught you, right? Yeah yeah, I know. Now, I'm going to meet you at the front door of the outside. So see ya. I'm going to watch out anyway. Ha 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 ha, I'm going to leave this house right away because this house is boring and useless. What the heck? Chris just knocked down his bedroom door so hard. Oh my god. He needs to fix it right now or else our parents might gonna find out about this. Yeah, 
he was responsible for kicking down his bedroom door too hard, imagine if he do that, he is gonna fix it on his own as a punishment, and Karis might gonna get punished if Boris actually find out, so Kailu, we need to tell our parents about this. Ha 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 no one is going to stop me now cause I am about to cause trouble again, lol xd. Now the dishes are all done cleaning, time to put them right onto the... <laughs> Hang on a second, what was Corey's doing? <laughs> ha ha lol lol xd xd. Now, let's get out of here. I don't need to do nothing. I'm going, and I don't want to see you guys ever again. So goodbye. Are you kidding me right now? Quiz, you are going to be in serious trouble. I mean it. You are in serious trouble. G R R R R R R R R R E. HMM, Corey's is still not be here in a quick, I think he is still in the house, or he is still in the backyard, trying to find a route that can take him to go out. Hey Goris. I'm here, I'm right behind the fence. There you are. Now, can you climb the fence to see if you can do that? Sadly, no, because the fence doesn't have any blocks stick together. Darn it. How are you supposed to get here? This is impossible for you, including me. Wait. Goris, I have a great plan. How about, I can jump over the fence. But this time, I need to do it, and aim the target perfectly. Sounds like a great plan. So, please hurry up, you don't want to get in trouble, right? Understand. Anyways, I will jump over the fence. Oh yes. It did work. I did a great job. Thank God that I aimed the target perfectly. Now Goris, I've got a great plan for us. We could go to the downtown of the highway, then, we could stop there at any meters. And once we got there, we are going to, um, Coris, you got a point, but you said that we could stop there at any meters while we are at the downtown of the highway. What could we do possibly because there are cars driving? We could prank on these people by putting a trap right beside the road. And even if the driver didn't see the trap, the driver will fall down into the pit. Um, what are you talking about? I have never heard of someone pranking the drivers by making a trap that could get them fall down into the pit. In order way to set a trap on the highway, we could put the traffic pylon cone right onto the perfect spots, then, we add the sign to move it on the left. Wait! So if we actually do the perfect ideas, then the driver can move to the left if they see the sign, however, we could put the move slow sign as well, didn't you forgot that? You got the point, now do you still have the, the tools like the traffic pylon codes, and even the- Wait! Oh no I don't have it, I think it's still in the garage. Let me bring it for you. Uh oh. I think you have to jump over the fence, then. Go to the garage, and grab the stuff that we need. No thanks Corys, I do not have the strength. <gasps> okay, I don't think Goris is going to make it, because Doris might gonna caught him if he brings something from the garage without her permission. I bring things that we need. So, are we all good to go? Yeah. We are all good to go. So, the downtown of the highway at the Vion City is far away from us, and it will take about 50 miles away. Are you serious, Corys? 50 miles away? Are we supposed to use the bus, so the bus driver can drive us to the downtown of the highway? Um, yes, but we still have enough money to use it. Corus, what are you doing? And Corys, why are you here at the front of our house? Oh my god no, it's Doris. Goris, we need to get out of here and run all the way to the highway to catch up. 
Oh my god you had a chance to get out of this area Oh you are going to be punished when you guys get home Oh H H H H H H H Gosh dang it Shame on you Goris You should have just jumped over the fence And then you could have bring our stuff here Why in the world would you ever go right inside the house Doris might gonna see you bringing something from the garage And she sound very suspicious about what are we doing just, sprint all the way to the highway, we are going to, uh, oh shut up Corys, don't blame on me, it's your own fault for getting caught by our Anderson family, you could have find the key to unlock the window, but no, you decided to, can't you at least just shut up already, you started it, not me because I was in the first plot, now shut up, we are sprinting our way to the downtown, the highway at the Vion city, how about, nope, not until you admit that you started it, not me, because I was in the outside at our front house. Now, why don't you at least just shut your mouth right away? Alright, for the last time Goris, won't you at least just be quiet? You are making me pissed right now. Now, could we at least just shut up, and focus on sprinting all the way? Like, I, said, nah, you're Mackins the two of us wasting our time by talking each other non-stop. So please, listen to me right now you naughty brat with no life, didn't you realize? You know what, that's it. If I heard you talking non-stop, then I'm going to send you to the house arrest to see how do you like it or not. So, just, trust, me, right, now now now. Alright alright Corys, stop this already. You are making us waste our time. Just hurry, we do not have to waste our time fighting each other while we are sprinting. Fine then, Goris, I guess you win. No more fighting each other while we are running to the downtown of the highways at the Vion City. That's what I want to hear. Anyways, let's just get this over with. And keep sprinting until we actually made it. It will only take us in about 30 minutes to get there. Yeah, but the good thing that Doris didn't know where we just went. If Doris find us on the track app, then she's going to get us punished. I know, right? Imagine if Doris actually found out that we are trying to do something worse at the highways, then we are screwed. So, let's keep going. So Corys, are we ready to place the trap? Then, we can add the traffic pylon cones, and put it perfectly. So that's our steps, is that right? Of course, yes. Now, do you still have the bag with you? Because we are going to set a trap right there, and put the traffic pylon cones exactly the same perfect place to put. Alright. I think I got it. So, I will hand this bag to you, so you can just, um, open the bag, because I am way too lazy for myself to do it. Okay never mind, I guess I have to open the bag for myself. And I thought that you are going to open it, but I guess you cannot, since I have bring these things that we need. Okay Corys, I just opened it for you, now you can grab these traffic pylon cones. Then, just place the thing exactly the perfect spot. Do you get that for what I mean? I understand the steps, now now, let me grab the traffic pylon cones from the bag that you bring. Aha! Perfect. I finally grabbed the traffic pylon cones from the bag. Now I get a chance to put it correctly, but, could you please place the trap first, Goris? Uh, Goris? What's wrong? Why are you little shocked? Never mind Corys, I forgot about that, but whatever anyways, I will place the trap first, and then you can place the traffic pylon cones in the perfect spot. Great plan. Now, go right ahead Goris. <laughs> Let's turn on the button to see what happens. And if it did work, then Corys could place the traffic pylon cones. Wait. It worked. Now, I'm going to tell Corys that it's working when I press the button. 
Hey Corys, um, it's working. The trap is placed when I press the button. Wait, really? Is this true that the trap was placed when you pressed the button? Yes, it's right. I clearly pressed the button, then, the trap was placed, well, I did that one, and I did it as two, now, since I am all finished, could you at least just, um, oh my gosh Boris. I'm glad that the traps that you've placed down can easily make me place the traffic pylon cones. Now, after I placed it, could you please just, what do you mean? I already know, and you already know that when you are done placing the traffic pylon cones, I will cover the trap, got it? Glad that you understand the steps, anyways, time for me to put the traffic pylon cones right there. You know, the people are just going to the trap when they saw the sign, and the traffic pylon cones. I think Goris can still make it, though. Seconds later. Oh god. Looks like I've placed all of the traffic cones. That didn't took me long enough to finish it, but I need to call Goris to get here so he can cover the trap he placed. Hey Goris, I'm all done. Now you can cover the trap with something that can make the driver fall down into the pit. Alright alright Goris, I need to hurry up quick. Before it's still too late since the drivers are going to be here in any minute. Hold on a second. I think it's still working. Yeah, but you still cannot walk into it, because the thing might gonna fall down if you actually walk into it. Yeah yeah, I know. Let me walk away from it. Hold on a second. I forgot something. I gotta place the sign right near the traffic pylon cones, before it's too late. There we go. I already placed the sign right near the traffic pylon cones. I accidentally forgot about that, so this means, the drivers can fall when they go to the left lane. Now, I gotta stay away from the road lanes of the highway, and by the way, I gotta ask Corys to stay away from the lanes. Hey Corys, um, I need you to stay away from the lanes, because, a drivers are trying to drive their way, so, please walk with me, we are going to stay away from the lanes, by the way, I placed the sign that can go to the left. Did you see that, Corys? Wow, I didn't even expected that, but okay, thank you Goris, I didn't even know that. But right now, we are staying away from the lanes. We could walk right where it's close. Yeah, let's watch and see if the cars are still in the lane of the highway. And if the driver was driving the cover trap, then the driver is going to fall, so that's how it works. Exactly. They are going to react when they are about to fall down into the pit. Do you think this is one of the best choices we are doing? The first driver is down, finally. I wonder what happened to the driver if a driver fall down into a pit. Yep, yeah, and since you already covered the trap by pressing the button, let's just watch again and see if the another driver arrives. Hopefully, it will happen when the driver, um, I. Yeah, the driver is about to fall down when the driver was about to drive the lane. Let's see what happens when the driver accidentally fall down. Oh yeah. You got the point. The drivers are going crazy while they are falling down into the pit. After you place the trap right into the lane. And by the way, are we at the downtown of the highways? I think we are here right? Let me check the map on my phone to see if we are still in. Actually, we are at the downtown of the highways, so do not worry about that Goris. You don't need to check it. Because the highways is right there. Yeah, you're right. And plus, why is there the fences right there? 
Is it because, um, you don't have to talk about it, though? It's still completely different. Exactly. But anyways, let's see if any driver is going to fall down when the driver almost reached the trap. Are you kidding me right now? I am going to fall down into the pit. Oh god. No. I am going to. Here goes with another car. Oh yes. Another driver has been falling down into the pit. Ha 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 just look at that. Another driver is down again. I wonder what happens when most of the drivers are stuck in the highways. Yeah, and when the cars mostly saw the distance of the drivers getting stuck while some of the drivers are falling down into the pit. I wonder what is going to happen. XD, I cannot wait to see the drivers really annoyed because we are just tricking the drivers. But we will not tell them that we did that. I know right? We are not going to tell the truth, cause it's not our favorite thing to tell. <laughs> Oh yes. Most of the drivers are really annoyed all because of some of them falling down into a pit with their cars. Now it will take a long time to get them out of the pit. Exactly. And I'm not so sure if the emergency car is going to take responsibilities to help the drivers who've gotten to fall down into the pit. But we will see it later on. But hey, what if anyone sees us while we are sitting here, waiting until the emergency car just come here for help? anything else besides them. They are just gonna go and see us, and told us about what happened to the drivers at the highways. You got the point, but if they told us if we caused it or not, then we are not gonna admit that we caused the drivers to fall down into the pit with their cars. Ugh. I gotta call the emergency to get the drivers out of their way to get out. Hello? Is this the emergency? I saw some of the drivers falling down into the pit with their cars, and one of them is stuck. This is not fake, this is very serious, serious? Please get here quick. We are at the downtown of the highways at the Vian City. Most of the drivers at the highways are more annoyed, anyway see ya, and be in a quick. Man, why is this place still happening? This is why this year is trash. <laughs> Yeah? What did I saw? I saw these two people sitting there. I've got something suspicious right here. Let me have a talk with them. Excuse me, both of you. What are you doing here while you are sitting right there in front of the highways? Um, hey there lady, why are you here? I have a bit suspicious that is coming from you both. Now. Could you tell us what happened to the drivers on the highways? Alright, I guess I have to say. So, recently, we have saw those people who are driving their cars are annoyed, because of the trap that someone just made. And it causes some of the drivers to fall down into the pit with their cars. Now, they are stuck in there forever until the emergency came here for help. And after everything has caused, I want to ask you guys, have you caused the drivers to fall down into the pit by tricking them? Goris, don't look at me, just tell her. Okay, here's the truth, ugh. So, we have to say this, we didn't start it. It was actually somebody who placed the trap right onto the lane. Trust us, we don't do that in our lives. Uh, are you okay there? Why are you looked so confused? Is it because? Okay, I guess you guys didn't cause all of this. But we will see if the emergency helpers are going to reveal the evidence. I guess I should go back to where I came, and wait until the emergency car arrives here in any minute. Uh, Corys. Did you see that? The lady just came back to where she went. That was a close call. 
I'm glad that we did the right thing by telling her the real truth. I know right. What can possibly goes wrong? I hope there is nothing happens until... What the heck? The emergency car is almost arrived in any minute? Oh god, what are we gonna do Goris? Everything is stupid as always. Yeah, and they are going to find out. They will find someone who have placed a trap, and caused the drivers to fall down into the pit with their cars. We need to get out of here. Correct. We may have to go home, and hurry as fast as possible, otherwise, Boris, Doris, Kalo, Classic Kalo, or Rosie are going to find out that we left our house department, so hurry up. We don't want to waste our time, and we don't want to get caught by the emergency helpers. So let's just go and run to our home. Corys, Corys, Corys! Wait for me. You almost left me behind. Corys. You are running way too fast. So how about, please slow down for a bit, and wait for me. I almost left myself behind, just listen to me already. Corys, I think we made it back to our house from the downtown of the highways at the Vyon City, and you just got back from where you went, is that correct, or not? Yep, and the worst part. We have to avoid getting caught by Doris, Boris, or even Kalo or Classic Kalo as well. Alright, and you forgot to include Rosie as well, since our Anderson family are gonna caught us. Now, let's just get this over with. I hope we won't get caught by our family. You are right. Let's just check in the kitchen to see if our family is still in the kitchen. And if they are not there yet, then we could go right inside. But let's hurry quick. Let's check inside the house to see if the coast was clear. I wonder if our family is still in the living room. I think the coast was clear. Maybe our family are done eating lunch, while we didn't get a chance to eat for lunch. I guess we should go right inside. Well it's your own fault for making the two of us sprint all the way to the downtown of the highways. Besides, you come up an idea, not me because I was at the... Excuse me? What did I even do? It's your own idea, not me, because you called me to get here at the outside of our front house recently. You are trying to frame over something. There is no time to fight since we are running out of time, are you being stupid or what? <laughs> I guess. You are correct, what am I doing anyways? Ugh, just why are you still looking at me? Come on, we need to get to our rooms quick before our family just... Well, another stupid day, I guess I would. Uh oh, we got caught by Doris, we should have known, but let's run away. What are you doing here? Get back over here already. Okay, what was Chorus or Chorus doing right here? I have a bit feeling that they are going to cause trouble. Oh come on, this stupid door is locked. How are we supposed to get out? No ideas Chorus. This means we both are so busted big time. Uh huh. <gasps> I caught you both already. You both seriously just left our house without me or Boris's permission. Yeah, and could you both tell us about why did you both left our house without our permission? We need you both to speak. Ugh, I guess we both have to give up. So recently, we went to the downtown, where it's filled with lots of highways, then suddenly, when we got there, there was a problem. There was a trap on the lane that someone just placed down, and some drivers was falling down into the pit with their cars, and most of the drivers are very annoyed, and the lady just called the emergency for help. Then, when we saw the emergency car at the distance, we have to go and run for it before they seize us. So that's all of the stuff. Oh god, I think the phone call is from Doris, and I bet she is going to call somebody. Uh, hi? Who is this? Hi. Sorry if I have to call you because I do not know you. Well that's okay, you can still talk. And told me what happened today in the highways. 
when I see the distance of the drivers falling down into the pit, and the number of the drivers are really mad, and they are much annoyed. So when I got there, I stopped, and look. Suddenly, the driver was stuck, so I have to call the emergency for help. And when I am done, I saw two of the guys sitting right there, so I walk straight into them. I asked them if they caused all of this or not, and they said it to me that they did not, so I was completely confused if they actually did it or not. Isn't it obvious because there was two guys named Corys and Goris? I knew that, and what else? When I came back from where I start, the emergency just came here, and helped the drivers to get out of the pit, and give me the evidence of them placing a trap together. So I just send the evidences to you, just look at it on the notifications. Anyways, that's all of the talk, thanks, and goodbye. Yep. And take care, and be safe. Hold on a second. What did I just saw? The heck? Quiz and Gorse has crossed the line big time? Like, have they lost their minds? <laughs> I already saw the evidence from the notification messages on my phone, and I know who it was. Quiz and Gorus. We know what you both had done. Ugh. Not again with another stupid grounding time. Well it's your own fault for causing all of the stuff at the highways, you are lucky that we both didn't even get caught, if I were you. My fault? If it is, then why are you still making a huge fight with me while we sprint all the way to the downtown of the highways recently? You broke, and wasted our time. Excuse me? How did you know that? That doesn't even make sense whatsoever. Now would you at least just get this over with? And we are going to get punished. Oh, so you are trying to deny the fact that you started all of the fightings before I began to do stuff, along with you? Just admit it, you brat. All right, that's it. I have had it with you, Goris. We are working together, but you have to blame me? We are starting a huge fight. How about that? I am not putting up with this anymore. Putting that's up it. with what? I, I can't talk to here. people? I am out of here. Oh, what a last last Oh, come on. Happened. What? Because I have a little conversation with well, somebody. Wow, just. Wonder. Wow, boys and Koi's are fighting each with, other. With Man, like, when will they start? learn? I know, right? I will stop the fighting and ground them for it. How about that? Come on. That's it. Sure thing. I'm going to the backyard to have a fresh air. Oh, come on, please. Plus, you're gonna drive 300 miles to your mother's place? I would rather. Chorus and Chorus, please. Stop with the fighting already. I am so tired of it. Have you lost your minds right now? I can't believe that you both would do all of this, especially blaming yourselves. Like, this is a waste of time. As a punishment, you two are grounded until the last day of March begins. Now go to your different bedrooms right away. Shame on you, Goris. I will hit you with a shovel if you try to blame me. Excuse me, Goris. We do not ever start a mental fight with Goris. Ever. As for you, Goris, go upstairs to your room. Goris is just a fool. Why do I have to go upstairs to my bedroom? Keep going, Goris. You are going to win, no matter what it takes. Keep going. And don't stop until you finish the line. I'm watching you. This bottle of wine is okay for me. Hopefully, I won't get drunk if I drink a little bit. All good. Time to throw it away. Go faster, Goris. Go faster. I know that you are doing great at the race. Let's see the results during the race time. Excellent. Goris is almost there. Now let's see how did Goris finally get to the finish line while getting a trophy as a reward. Are you serious? Goris just crashed our family's car right into the building? But how? How did Goris crash it? Is it because he must have drive way too fast that he can struggle? I really hope that Goris won't get in serious trouble. Goris is just my friend, and he doesn't deserve to get punished for all of the horrible stuff. 
Are you kidding me Goris? You crashed my car into the building while you're racing? You seriously destroyed my expensive car? That's it. Great. Looks like Goris is permanently punished for crashing our family's car right into the building. This will cost a lot of money to afford. Thankfully, I never do that. Ever. I need to clean up the mess that I made. I spill cups of wine on the floor, but first, I need to put the cup of wines right into the recycle bin basket, and I will mop the floor. That's a really hard work, I'll go to my room, and take some break until Goris came back to our home. This sucks, I'm guessing I'm going to go back to your room Goris. I seriously have had enough of you and your unacceptable behavior. Huh? Ah, uh, is that Goris who came back? I gotta tell him about what happened to the race in streets. Leave me alone already or else I will push you off the cliff. And Boris, you want me to do that? Huh? Excuse me? You don't ever talk back to me like that. Get to your room already. I am so sick and tired of you. I don't want to talk to you ever again. You son of a disgrace. Ah, uh, Goris, can you tell me what happened after you got punished? End of discussion. I don't want you to talk to me ever again, because I am done with Boris, especially you. You kept on framing me for no reason. Now I'm going. But Goris, you don't even understand. I was just trying to help you, but you are now cutting ties with me? Yes I am, you are nothing but a disgrace, now leave me alone already. But Goris, I did not frame you for good, it was a misunderstanding. Knock it off Goris, like I said, leave me alone, I'm so done with you. You kidding me right? Goris is cutting ties with me for real? For real? Well, looks like me and Goris' relationships are over. This means that me and Goris are no longer friends anymore. This is keep happening again and again. I am not going to give up. I need to find a way. Let's go to my bedroom, then use a laptop, and see what can I do on the internet. There is something new that I want to look. There's the laptop, let's grab it, and sit on the bed. Let's see what's something new on the internet, I could do something stupid. Haha, ha, no one is going to stop me now because I am searching up. HMMM? I don't know what is the oil explosion? Let me check to see if there's the oil explosion. I hope no one can get injured. That gives me an idea. After I searched up the internet, I found some ways that can cause the oil to get exploded, which was far away than I expected. What am I going to do is to go to the oil industry, then cause a huge oil explosion in the oil industry. Sounds like a great plan, but I need to bring something that I need. Let's go downstairs to the basement, and see which items should I bring. I could bring something that can explode the oil. I think there are items in the cupboard so I can check it. There it is. This is the only item that I need, which is the box matches, the box matches has filled wool matches in it, maybe there's only a hope. Since the house doesn't have gasoline at home, I could go to the store, then steal the gasoline, and then go straight to the oil industry. Perfect plan that I made. Time to go to the backyard of my house, then go to the store to steal the gasoline. Uh, Chorus, what are you doing here, and what are you going to do, huh? Um, um, I was going out to take a walk, so, what are you talking about, huh? Well, yes, but please come back if you are done, but whatever you do, 
don't cause any damage. Well, I thought that you were going to stop me but I'm glad that I get a chance. But please trust me Boris, I won't cause enough damage. Whatever. Anyways, you can go. Alright, thank you so much Boris. I looked very suspicious about Chorus. He might gonna cause damage, but let's hope that he does not. I will go to the shortcuts to go to the store, then I can get a chance to steal the gasoline. There's the shortcut, let's jump right over the fence, so I won't get hurt. There we go, now let's go across the road, while the cars aren't there driving. No need to use the bus, the bus is going too slow than I expected, I should go to the shortcuts instead, just like how I managed to get the shortcut. Wait. I think somebody is calling me, hopefully it's not Boris or Doris. Hey there Corys, I am feeling sorry for what I have done to you, I'm so sorry if I didn't tell you about what happened, it's because Boris punishes me, and I am so furious. Wait, I thought that you already cut ties with me, but you just called me to apologize? Yes, I called you to apologize to you. Anyways, I am deeply sorry for didn't respond to you. It's because I am furious because I crashed the car right into the building. That didn't make me realize that I was going too fast. So, would you trust me if I am already sorry? Well you should have thought twice before I came here to talk to you. But anyways, your apology to me is sincere. And we are now friends. Well, you know where I am, right? Your bedroom? Actually, nope. I am not in my bedroom. I just left the house to go for a walk. Wait what? I thought that you're in your room, but where did you go? I was going for a walk, like I said. And by the way Goris, I'm going to cause the oil explosion in the oil industry. But first, I need to steal the gasoline at the store. I went downstairs to the basement recently, and I picked up a box matches, where the matches can used it for the fire. So wait, you already left the house with the box matches? Okay. But which store do you want to go? I want to go to the same store, but this time, I can steal the gasoline, but run quick before someone sees me. Anyways, thanks for your time, goodbye Goris. You too, and stay safe, okay? No time to waste, let's just go. Hang on a second. Are those gasolines sitting right onto the shelves? Perfect. I've seen those gasolines found in the store before, but I'm going to steal it anyway, because no one doesn't cares. Stealing time. But let's make it quick before someone catches me in any minute. Let's put all of the gasolines right into the bag. After that, I will close the bag. Then leave the store immediately before some employee caught me red-handed. But it depends. I'm doing so good at stealing items from the store. Just like how the stealers stole the products and other supplies from the shop. Now, let's put the last gasoline in the bag and let's get out of here and go to the oil industry. Excuse me, sir. You shouldn't steal any items at the store. It is against the rules, and you could have get caught if you steal something. Oh no, it's the employee staff. Dang it. I need to put it right into the bag quickly, and I need to get out of here right now because I got caught too many times. I have to kick down the door so hard, and try to focus on running as fast as I can. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? This guy just left the store by kicking down the door so hard after he steals every pack of gasolines from the shelves. How dare you do that? Oh you are going to regret it when I call the cops on you gee. I'm calling the cops. I mean it you stealer with no life. I'm reporting you to the police department for stealing a pack of gasolines.
Phew, that was close. I'm glad the employee from the store didn't catch me in any minute. All I did is to steal a pack of gasolines from the shelves, and I left. Um, what is this place? Oh no. It turns out that there's the police department, and I had a feeling that the cops are gonna arrest me in any second, so I gotta get going quick, before the cops chases after me. I don't want to go to jail, getting sent to jail is completely boring for me. All I want to do is to cause the oil explosion at the oil industry. Anyways, let's run. Hold on a second. Is that the police cars? If it is, then I'm going to use my items to use it up. Uh oh. Looks like I'm in trouble. The cops are trying to get me arrested, while I'm still running fast. Ugh, I need to run quick, or else there are some consequences. Oh well, I'm going to open the bag, and pick up the gasoline that I stole. Then pour it right onto the lane, hopefully, these cops can slow down. Gosh dang it, this guy is such a stealer. We need to stop the guy from trying to get away from his awful actions. Let's put the sounds to make the guy stop running. Perfect. Now what am I going to do, is to pour all of the gasoline right onto the line. Just like what I've learned when I come up in any ideas. Hey, you, stealer, stop trying to get away. We got informed from the store, and the employee told us that you stole a pack of gasolines from the shelf. Stop running right now. They want me to stop running? Well I am not, because I'm going to pour the gasoline. Now get prepared. There we go. Let's hope the cops cannot chase after me when they accidentally cross the road with gasoline in it. Time to throw the empty box of gasoline away. I don't need it. Now let's head to the oil industry. I cannot wait to explode the oil. Boss, I think we have lost him. But wait a minute, what is this in the distance? Oh no, I think we are heading towards the lane of where there's a gasoline spill in it. We have to slow it down. Oh my god, no, we don't want our insurance to get lost. We are gonna stop driving quick, before it's too late. Oh great, it's too late, our car insurance is already lost, now we might gonna pay hundreds of dollars to get the new insurance. You kidding me right? I guess we are not getting out of the car until somebody can help us. And screw this guy for pouring all of the gasoline right onto the lane, we are so close to get him. Hello, is somebody here? We need help because our car insurances are lost since our cars just drove right into the gasoline. That was close. Glad that I pour all of the gasoline right onto the lane. I'm going to hide somewhere. I'm not going to get arrested. Let's try not to look, because the cops are gonna see me if they walk here. All good. Let's hope they don't see me hiding right there at the whole time. Where are you right now? You are in serious trouble for stealing a pack of gasolines at the store. Whoever you are, just get up and admit that you steal a pack of gasolines. Ugh, you don't want to stand up and admit it? Well then, have it your way. I'm going back to the police department that I lost track since this guy is getting away. This sucks. I guess there are no ways to arrest this guy. He hides somewhere like he was too scared to tell the truth. was a close call, I'm so lucky that the police officer didn't see me hiding right there. All she does is go back to the police department, and seriously reported me. Now that the police car is gone, I will head to the bus station, and get inside the bus quick before something happens. There it is, the bus station. Gosh. Do I have to head over this place at about any miles that are too long? I guess so. 
Ah, uh, is the bus arrives here. It's been like 30 minutes, and the bus haven't came here yet. Oh great, I guess this is the end of my task. Oh wait. There's the bus, finally. Oh my gosh yes. I'm at the oil industry. Now what am I going to do, is to... I'm going to cause the oil explosion at the oil industry with my gasolines in the bag. The question is, how do we supposed to destroy and explode the oil industry? Perfect solution. After I pour all of the gasolines by spreading them around, I could use my matches to use them, and throw them onto the spilled gasolines. Then, hurry and quickly run before the oil explosion starts. This should how the logic works. Now let's go, I'm all set up. This is where I'm going to cause the oil explosion at the oil industry. Time to open my bag, and grab a pack of gasolines that I stole from the store. You guys already know what I am going to do, right? I'm going to pour all of the meters of gasolines, and try to spread the gasolines on the ground. And once the gasolines are empty, I'm throwing it away, and I will use matches. Alright, time to fire it up. There we go. I pour all of the gasolines right onto the ground, and then I throw the empty gasolines away. Now the last part, I will use matches to light up on fire. But give me a second, I need to grab my matches that I've bring. Let's open a pack of matches. There. Let's use the match thing, and light it up. Oil industry, say goodbye to you, because I'm lighting you up on fire. Oh shoot, I forgot something. I could cause the oil explosion by throwing a timer bomb. Let's hurry quick. I'm all done. Let's get out. I don't want to get injured so badly. Alright, let's see what's something new on TV. I hope there is nothing rubble and go city. Let's turn on the television with the remote, and press OK on the news. We have some breaking news to tell you all. There's the oil explosion started at the oil industry. Uh, what? The oil explosion? I have never heard about any type of explosion, but I'm gonna watch the whole news. Hello there. And good afternoon. Well, the oil industry got exploded, and the whole place is burned on fire and it will take a lot of work to rebuild the oil industry. And the worst of all, the timer bomb just said exploded. Due to all of the oil explosions started, most of the oil are gone and it will cost almost $5,500 for the oil price. And there was a guy with a reed heady shirt who stole a pack of gasolines right under the shelves. An employee just reported a guy who steals it. Let's check the footage. As you can see in the footage, this is the full evidence of a stealer stealing a pack of gasolines. Seriously? Why would Chorus do this? This is absolute stupid of him to do, and I'm gonna pay so much charges all thanks to him. But let's see what happens. Here's the evidence of a guy wearing a red hoodie, causing the oil explosion by pouring all of the gasolines while spreading. Then suddenly, he used a match to set it on fire. And that's all of the footage, if you have any questions, please send me here, and I will know. Oh, one more thing, if you are the parent or a guardian of this guy, then you will pay more than $5,500 for the oil explosion that a guy has caused. This cost of money that a guy just set the oil industry on fire will also cost up to $500 added. And this deadline will be due on May 3, 2022. There are more updates coming soon from the Go City News. Anyways, thank you for watching the whole news, and see you later.
What the heck did I just watch? Chorus just caused the oil explosion at the oil industry. Can't I imagine watching this? I cannot wait to see Chorus's face when he comes back to the house. He is going to regret it when he gets arrested. Time to get back to the house. It's already late, and I've run out of time. Well, looks like I'm busted big time. Didn't you know what you have done to the oil industry? Just look at the TV, and see it for yourself. Okay, but where is the proof that I caused the oil explosion at the oil industry? Maybe I will watch the whole footage on the TV. As you can see in the footage, this is the full evidence of a stealer stealing a pack of gasolines. Wait, is that me causing the oil explosion by pouring all of the meters of gasoline? Suddenly, he used a match to set it on fire. Well, I got caught by the news. I should have known that it was a bad idea to cause the oil explosion at the oil industry. Why? Why chorus? Why on earth would you do that? You really did this on purpose. And it will cost us more than $6,000 for the fine that you've did. This is your fault. I have wasted a lot all because of you causing a lot of hateful acts in Go City every single of time. You need to get serious help, and get some community service. But you're still blaming me, or even Goris for what we both did. It wasn't my fault or Goris's fault. You know what, I can't take this anymore, because, um... <coughs> go downstairs to the basement, and never come out again. But why? Why do you want me to go downstairs? The reason why, I know that you are going to cause trouble every single time. Now go. I'm not gonna waste my time dealing with you. But go! Now! I don't want to deal with you! You kidding me? Chorus just knocked down the front door? Wow, just wow. I'm gonna fix it. It looks like we are having barbecue, you know why? Because it's almost summer, and we are going to prepare having barbecue for our backyard of the house. This is going to be excited. I cannot wait to be done at school. I hope I can earn good grades on my weekly assignment days. Now, let's drink a cup of orange Fanta. Wow, I am super excited when the summer season begins. Man, one month and two weeks left until my last day of the school year ends. Which means that I am going to celebrate summer. So Boris, would you like to help me by going back inside at her house, then open the refrigerator, and grab a pack of patty burgers? We have pack of patty burgers at her home. Good idea Doris. Now don't mind me if I do. I still understand and I already know. Wow, this fresh air outside is completely great. It always sunshine when the sun came here to give out fresh air. I wish I was at the park with breezy air. Thank you so much Boris. I really appreciate you for bringing a pack of patty burgers outside to barbecue the burgers. We are just making it fresh. Exactly, honey. We are just setting it up because we already have ingredients on the table. Now let me bring the ingredients here to make more room for us to place. I wonder what my mom and my dad are cooking. I better hope that it's something really delicious for me to eat. Hey mom and dad. What are you cooking for the barbecue today? Well classic Kilo, me and your dad are cooking the fresh burger. Your dad just bring a pack of patty burgers to cook, and it's 100% fresh. And I also bought ingredients for us to make. This burger will be fresh enough for us to eat. Ingredients like cheese, tomatoes, and lettuce for example. These fresh burgers looks very yummy for me to eat. It's amazing. Oh I cannot wait to eat the fresh burger that you guys made. Yeah, and isn't that great? I think it is great for us to eat the fresh burger. 
God dang it not again and again. Gosh darn it. The ball just break the window, and the glasses of window are broken. Ugh, looks like I'm in deep trouble. Holy crap. The clock is broken, and it got hit by the ball so hard. Great, looks like we have no choice but to buy a new clock. Oh my god. No. The lamp is broken too? Great, just, great. I guess I pay the huge price by doing this. What am I going to do? Oh my god. No, just, no. The television is now broken. Dang it. Looks like it must have been hit by the ball. I should have just slowed down before I do so. Now what have I done? Looks like I've screwed up big time. This means no television for me to watch, guess I am in serious trouble when the rest of the family comes back to the house, but that doesn't mean that I should give up. The only way to solve this problem was... This is the only plan that I've solved. Now, guess what guys? I'm going to bomb and collapse the entire house by pressing the button switch, because I've found a decent way. It's time to say gooby to the entire house by pressing the button switch. Hopefully, this switch can make the bombs collapse and explode. So classic Kalu and Kalu, how was the fresh burger that your mother and I made? Was it tastes better? If it is, then we could cook another fresh burgers next time. For me. This fresh burger is 100% great. It looks like this fresh burger is very natural. Wow, this is the first time that I've ever eat this famous fresh burger in the world. By the way, me and Galu are already finished eating. Would you let us wash the dishes? Me and Galu are doing what me and Galu can, and we haven't do the chores for a while. Of course you both can. There are less dishes, so you guys can handle it. Also, me and Boris are cleaning up the barbecue grill, so let's just do the chores first. Wow, I wasn't getting exploded by the bombs. Which thankfully that I didn't even get exploded in any way. Holy crap. What in the world did I just saw from the distance? Is it because the entire house was exploded? Oh my gosh! Yay 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 yay! The backyard is finally collapsed by the explosion. Oh my gosh! This is one of the best moments that I've ever saw in the first place. Anyways, let's celebrate the entire house getting bombed exploded, and collapsed by the explosion bomb. I hope no one sees me doing this to the whole house. But hold on a second, is the rest of my family okay? I hope they don't get exploded by the explosion. Anyways, let's walk and check to see if my family is alright, I hope they are okay. Hopefully, they can stand up and see what is going on. Uh, Boris? Are you okay? I think the house got exploded by the explosion bombs. Trust me, it wasn't even me. Holy crap, I am in pain right now due to the explosion started at our house. I guess I need to stand up and help Doris, and the rest of the family. Wait, what in the world is this? The backyard? Oh number, the house, and the backyard. Everything is all collapsed and ruined. I cannot believe this. This is the worst day ever. Uh hey Boris. I'm so glad that you're alive. 
And I'm glad that you didn't get exploded or collapsed by the explosion bomb. Plus, this is the best day ever. The house got exploded and collapsed, and someone must have do that. Also, this is amazing. This is amazing. Do you realize that it is not amazing to explode or collapse the house like this is the several time that you've actually caused enough damage to this house. Also, don't tell me that you actually explode the entire house by putting a lot of bombs and then you seriously press the button switch. I already know that you're doing this. Well, looks like I have to give up. Anyways, I caused enough damage to this property by putting a lot of timer bombs, and pressed the button switch, and it already happened. Chris, what are you thinking? It's not amazing to explode and collapse the entire house by putting a lot of timer bombs. Now thanks to you, we lost our house due to explosions, and we have to pay a new house. Plus, it will cost over hundreds of dollars to use, but I do not have enough to afford. Instead, we will go to the hotel to buy a new room for us. Gosh, there's another loud voice going on. I think I need to leave this area before the louder voice increases. Let's just go to the hotel and buy a new room for us. And that's a capital final. Let's get going, and we don't want to waste a lot of time fixing the entire house. But Boris, I need to explain the full details. No, no excuses. And like I said, we're going to the hotel. And buy a new room for us. And that is final. Get in the car. We're going to hotel already. Uh, how many times? Huh, <sighs> I guess no more house for us, this means that we are staying in this cheaper hotel until our house is fixed and reopened. Great, this is not the best day I ever heard, and this is all your fault chorus. You started all of the scrap by exploding and collapsing the entire house by putting a lot of timer bombs. Why, just why, why would you do that? But Boris, look. All I did was just causing so much problems at the house before it got exploded. Please, you shouldn't ground me for reason at all. Stupid coward. Well if you didn't cause the barbecue outside of backyard ruin by exploding and collapsing the entire house, then none of this would have happened and we are just being safe. This will take forever for our old house to get repaired and fixed. Now as a punishment, you are grounded until our old house gets repaired. Which is in several weeks. Then what are you going to do to me, huh? Kick me out of the hotel room, and then I could find something else to cause and not damage to the public hotel? Uh, number. I'm not going to kick you out of the hotel room. I'm just gonna say that, um, you're going to stay in this room while you're grounded. Do you get that, huh? Well, it was better than getting kicked out of the hotel room. Anyways, I understand, and I do not want to cause problems again and again. Yet, you're, you're still, still causing, causing enough damage, damage whenever you, you get grounded or getting, getting punished. punished. But, but anyways, anyways, good, and, and don't, don't cause, cause enough, enough damage, damage or, else or else things, things will happen. happen. Understood, and I'm not going to do it again. Trust me, it's not a lie. Well, it better not a lie or else you will face some consequences, but whatever. I'm going to call the repair shop to drive themselves to my house, and told them to repair all of the whole house. Hello, is this the repair shop? Okay yes, anyways, I've got some big problems right now, my house got recently exploded and collapsed by the timer bombs, and it got me so mad. Yes, I'm currently at the hotel room, could you help me by going to my house that was collapsed, and repair all of the damaged stuff? Okay, thank you, goodbye, and be quick. Hello there peeps, we would like to announce you all that there was a fancy restaurant at the public hotel inside, so come over here if you are hungry, but if you want to visit any places at the public hotel, then there's a barbecue restaurant outside of the hotel, reasons why it's because it's almost summertime.
but these employee staff are preparing, so please wait until the fancy restaurant and the barbecue stand open soon, which is located in different places of this hotel. Anyways, that's all the talk that I need, so be patient, it will be open when the staff employees are finished preparing. Goodbye, and see you later on the next move. I'm going back to the main office to check the survey, nothing is going on. Time for me to go downstairs to the main floor, then, I will visit to the barbecue stand, and see if the stand lies open, I hope the employees can open the stand. In that case, since the owner just announced everyone, including me that there was two new fancy places that is opening soon. I wonder what's something new in public hotel, two local places in hotel public like the fancy restaurant, and the barbecue stone. But both of the places are same, but different in or outside. Which options should I choose? I'll go to the barbecue stand, and this reminds me of my family cooking fresh burgers on the grill. HMM, I wonder what is the place in public hotel called barbecue stand, it was outside, but when I checked it, it's not there, it must have located another hotel's exit door. Hi, oh, can you help me, and try to figure out where is the barbecue stand, I've looked at the hotel exit, and it wasn't there, can you tell me where is the barbecue stand near? Well, if you can't find it, then I could help you. The barbecue stand is right near the other exit door, so I think you could find it by continuing walking forward. The barbecue stand is opening soon, so it's right there if you didn't know. Well, well thank you so much for helping me, I was looking forward of it. Anyways, goodbye, and please whatever you do, stay safe. Now, it's time to go there. I hope the barbecue stand will open, so I can order something good right there. I'm going inside the fancy restaurant, and see which menu should I order, I think it's good. Good afternoon. I'm back with the announcement. So today, the fancy restaurant and the barbecue stand is now open in season. Feel free to visit two options. Anyways, have a good day. It's time to go to the barbecue stand. I cannot wait to eat something delicious in there. It, it is such, such a nice and breezy fresh, fresh air weather today, today. And, and it's, it's so good, good that there was a barbecue stand, stand outside near the hotel. hotel. But, right but right now, now I, want I want to order something new today. New today. Oh, oh my gosh, gosh. is that, is that the, smell the smell coming from the barbecue, barbecue stand? stand? Probably, Probably because they, they are grilling something good. good. Let's, Let's check it out. What a nice thing was cheaper hotel. I'm going to have delicious steak. I've heard that the barbecue stand is open today, so I go there. Anyways, let's walk to the cashier. Oh gosh, this smell of grill seems good. Let's check it out. I hope the employee staff, I mean, the staff employees, can serve the customers the correct meal they just ordered. You guys already know what am I doing, right? Yes, I am going to cause the barbecue stand to collapse, and explode the place that is opened, just like how I did recently. Just like how I ruined the barbecue for my family by putting a lot of bombs right inside the house, I'm going to do the same thing. Yes, this is why I'm ruining the barbecue stand. Oh wait. I should not break the fourth wall, sorry for breaking the fourth wall, because I was just making up ideas or plans for me to do, trust me, I'm not gonna do it again. 
but whatever anyways, I'm going to do it anyway, because I am so done with Boris grounding me so many times that I can't stand with, Boris is such a childish brat. Oh wow. The smell is great, and it is coming from the barbecue grill, let's go there and check. But let's try not to get caught by the staff employees. Hello there sir. I would like to order steak with vegetables, and a cup of coke. I have a question, is there some beverages in there? If not, that's okay. Of course, there are many beverages and barbecue stand if you don't know. Plus, these guys are serving and handing out food menus for each customers while they're focusing. Could you please bring a stack of plate for each customers? There are probably several people who are sitting there dining seats. On it. I'm going to come back with a stack of plates, so I'll be right back, but make sure to watch the ingredients timer. Good, but make sure to come back with a stack of plates, before the customers are going to be mad if we are waiting Understood. too long. Anyways, time to go back cooking and grilling ingredients, if the timer creates sounds, then I will turn off the switch. See that? Those workers are serving and handing out steak, vegetables, and other ingredients that are already cooked and grilled. Anyways, you can go to the wave station. Well then, thanks. I'm hoping the staff employees can do it faster. Hi there sir. And welcome to barbecue stand. This stand is open today. So what can I help you today? I would like to order a delicious meal called steak and broccoli and a cup of fresh water. Yes. We do have sort of menu. Anyways, please go to the waiting line. The waiters can take you to the dining seats that are available. Thank you very much. I'm hoping the waiter can take me there. Sir, did you found a stack of plates yet? If you did, then we could quickly put the ingredients onto the plates. Of course. It's right inside the drawer in the kitchen, don't worry, we both are going to make it in a perfect time. Okay good, looks like we do have two more minutes to finish the order that we take. Alright, it's time to explode and collapse the barbecue stand by adding a lot of timer bombs. Just like how I ruined the barbecue for my family. I can't stand Boris anymore after he kept on grounding me. This is why I'm going to cause a lot of explosions at the barbecue stand. No wonder why I got so irritated so much. Time to throw the timer bombs. I don't need to put it right onto the disgusting floor. Alright, everything is all set. Now time to start pressing the button, and try to get out of the area already. I bet these people didn't know that there's a lot of timer bombs. Alright, now time to get out of the barbecue stand. I can't stand it anymore. Oh wait. Before I need to get out of here, I will press the button switch to see if it's still working. But if it's not, then that's okay. I thought it didn't work, but it's working. Now let's get out of here by going through the door. Attention! Attention! There was a lot of timer bombs right all over the barbecue stand. So if you are in there, please get out of here immediately. The timer bombs will explode. stamp and the fancy restaurant got collapsed. I don't know what just happened today, but... Holy crap! What in the world is that? It's all ruined! Oh my god! Everything is all exploded, collapsed, and ruined. How is this supposed to be happening right now? It's the worst day ever. Like come on! Oh my gosh! I cannot believe it! The barbecue stand is completely exploded into pieces. Ah, uh, Boris? I thought that you are going out on the grocery store, but how? Um, I think this is such an amazing day, isn't it? Amazing day, huh? 
Do you think it is? Well no, it's not. I don't know who literally explode and collapse the two open places, but, have you explode and collapse this place? Okay, I guess I ran out of options. Anyways, I have to say, yes, I actually sneaked into the barbecue stand, and I ruin it by exploding the entire place. Please don't get mad, okay? This is just like when I actually ruined your barbecue by exploding and collapsing the entire house too hard. Do you understand me, Boris? That's not a reason to do, and you caused all of this just to get people exploded and almost got nearly injured so badly. As a punishment, I will ground you for four weeks addition. As a result for exploding and collapsing to open places, you will receive a spanking. When we get home, you will get a spank. Great, not this again. I don't want to get spanked, but of well. I'll have to face it. Get back over here already Chorus, you are causing so much chaos too many times. Gosh darn it, I've crossed the line again. Sorry for grounding you. Ouch, 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 ouch. Of course, stop spanking me with a belt already. It's not cool at all. Time to electrocute Horus and Doris. Wait, I think Horus did a mess. He didn't electrocute us with a taser. Oh no, not again. You, no, what? That does it, I have had enough of Boris and Doris kept on grounding me so many times over because I did awful stuff. I'm going to destroy my disgusting room. I am so done with Boris and Doris. Let's see how do they like me destroying my disgusting room. I can't believe that I have to do this, Boris and Doris was driving me to destroy my stupid room. Screw you, I hate you so much Boris and Doris, you are the worst. Boris and Doris can go screw themselves all they want, they suck for grounding me 24 over 7, what am I going to do? Uh, is anybody outside right this door? Hand on, what just happened in Corey's room? What the heck? Corys, what's going on here? Why is your room completely destroyed again? Okay, okay, fine, let me tell you. I destroyed my room once again all because of Boris and Doris grounding me so many times. They made me destroy it, not me. So, both Doris and Boris caused you to destroy your room? If they did, then they are going to pay the- Yes, I am sick and tired of Boris and Doris. It's their fault, not me because they treat me like I'm a failure, when I'm actually not. Whoa 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 Corys, just slow it down, I know that you are very mad, but I can trust you no matter what. Yeah yeah, I will just stop being so sarcastic already.
Boris and Doris are acting so crazy. And I'm sorry to say this, but I'm taking a break causing trouble for a while. You will do it on your own. Well that was a tough luck. But anyways, I found a perfect way on how to get my revenge on Boris and Doris. Okay, but what is the solution that you want to do? For my solution, I'm going to do something terrible to Boris and Doris. I'm going to make jokes about the Omicron to them in public. This is why I'm going to do this. What the heck? Corys? Why do you want to joke about the Omicron in public? You should know that it is nothing to joke about, right? Omicron is a very serious virus. Do you realize that making jokes about the Omicron is not okay? It's very disrespectful, and it's too offensive to the people who tested positive for the Omicron. So Corys, don't make jokes about the Omicron, or any type of virus in public. It's not okay, it's not funny, and it's very disrespectful. So don't do it, okay? Understood. I will not make jokes about the Omicron, or the coronavirus in public, ever. Good, and I don't want you to get in serious trouble. I will try not to do that at home. Now let me clean up my room first. There. Anyways, let's go downstairs to the living room to see if there's new events going on. Let's close the door, and like I said, I'll go downstairs. Okay, guys, we are going to our car, and go to the shopping mall to buy new stuff for us, we have ran out of stuff in our house. Now let's go, we don't want to waste our time. Well, it's time for me to buy good stuff at the shopping mall, I'm so excited, nothing is going on. Alright Doris, Kalu. Classic Kalu, and Rosie, the door is opened, let's go. I wonder what is the rest of my family up to, let's just go outside, and see where they are going. I don't know where the rest of my family are going, I've lost track on them. Let's just go to the bus station, and wait until the bus arrives here. Looks like there's a phone call, I'm going to dial it to see if anybody is calling me. Uh, hello there? Who is this? Uh, can you please respond? I don't know how long can you take. You have reached the call. Sorry, but no one is answering the phone. A person must have left the phone while you are trying to respond. End the call. Please leave the message. Wow, just wow. Someone just left the call while I was trying to respond? Man, these people will never learn. They are stupid, and they are degenerates. You know, leaving the call while somebody was trying to respond is just stupid and awful. It's making somebody really annoyed. Well, Corys is going for a walk, but let's hope that he should not joke about the Omicron, or the coronavirus in public. It's not funny, it's disrespectful. Hey mom and dad, when are we here at the shopping mall? I just wanted to go to the toys shop to buy something great. Oh wait, we are almost there. Please be patient, I am trying to park somewhere that is much better. I'll be quick, don't worry. It's the moment I've been waiting for. Let's start joking about the Omicron to anyone in public. I hope that I won't get in serious trouble for joking about any virus. Cole and Elena, you two are so stupid. And you two always despise me for no reason at all. Why don't you at least just get out of here right now? Excuse me? Leave us alone right now. Me and my husband are buying stuff. Shut up. And Cole. You should get the Omicron virus, I bet that you have one, cause you are the worst. Excuse me? You don't ever talk back to me, and you don't ever joke about the Omicron in public. You should know that it is nothing to joke about. What is wrong with you? Yeah, joking about the Omicron or the coronavirus is not okay to do. It's very disrespectful and it's too offensive. 
A micron is a serious virus, and you should know that. Now stop joking about the micron. Now. Okay, I got carried away, and I should realize that joking about the Omicron is not funny. It's the worst, and it's a bad joke. So Allison, are we going to the restaurant to order food? I'm kinda hungry to eat food at the restaurant. Great idea, I have enough money to buy food for us to eat. Let's go to the right. There was a food court at the shopping mall. Excuse me, you fools. You two are busted big time. You two are acting worse and worse. Just what are you doing here? And why do you have that scheming face, huh? Are you going to start causing trouble again? Well, you two should know that. I am not going to cause trouble, but you two are just plain stupid. Why do you ask? Because, you Allison, should get the Omicron virus, because you hate me for no reason at all. And you are the worst ha 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 ha. Seriously, you don't ever make jokes about the Omicron in public, ever. You should realize that Omicron is a serious virus, and it's nothing to joke about. Now stop making jokes about the Omicron, or any virus already. It's not funny, it's very disrespectful. We are not joking, we are serious. Yeah, it's not funny at all. You should know that joking about the Omicron, or other virus is not cool at all. It's a serious virus, that's it, we are telling the staff managers. But why? Is it because I did the worst thing? Yes, and that's why we are going to tell the staff managers about you. You should be ashamed of yourself for joking about the Omicron. You know better that joking about the Omicron or other virus is a bad idea, and it's a bad joke. I hope this will teach you a lesson. No, no, no. Please, don't. I won't do it again, okay? Please, I am so sorry for joking about you getting the Omicron. I'm so sorry. Gosh dang it. I think I've crossed the line by joking about the Omicron in public. I should have known that it was a bad idea to do. Let's keep walking until I made it to the rest of my family. But I'll try not to get caught by those people. Honey, Kalu, Classic Kalu, and Rosie. I am going to go to the washroom area to clean up myself, so whatever you do, stay here. I'll be back when I'm done cleaning up myself. Okay, understood. You can go now, while all four of us can wait. Hey you stupid fools. Look who came back causing so much trouble 24 over 7. Seriously Corys? I thought that you're staying in our house, but how did you get here? That makes no sense at all whatsoever. Yeah, I look confused because I don't know how did Chris get here. Did he find out that we went to the shopping mall to buy stuff without looking the map? He didn't use a map to look and see where are we going. He must have figured out. I just admit it. I think you guys just go there. Cause I figured out that you guys went on a shopping spree to buy supplies. But Chorus, how did you get there at the shopping mall? I'm also confused because I thought you were staying at home. Now can you tell us why do you get there? Great, just great. Looks like I have to deal with the problems again and again. Hey guys, I'm back after I cleaned up myself. What the? Hey, are you kidding me? Um, I have no words to say. But how did Chorus get here? I didn't see him leaving the house. He was supposed to stay in our home. But how? Because Boris, you are the worst. And I bet that you get a virus called the Omicron, cause you are disgusting and the worst since you are bad. Excuse me Chorus, what did you just said to me? Did you joke about the Omicron to me? Oh yes I did, Boris. You should get Omicron right now because you kept on grounding me too much. Now go get Omicron right now. Are you serious, Chris? Why would you joke about the Omicron to Dad? Are you insane or what? You have crossed the line big time. Yeah, Kalu was right. You should know that Omicron has nothing to joke about. It's a serious virus, and joking about Omicron is not cool at all. Exactly. Joking about the Omicron. Or the coronavirus is not okay at all. It's very disrespectful. And it's a bad joke. Plus, Dad is going to be mad at you. Well, I don't know. 
but Boris, I bet that you got the Omicron, because you are not any better than me. Chorus, stop it right now. Stop joking about the Omicron right now. Do you realize that it is not a joke? Omicron is a very serious virus, and you should know it. You kidding me, Chorus? This is all your fault. Now there are people staring at us, all thanks to you. Excuse me? What is going on here right now? You will be mad when I say this, but Chorus just joked about the Omicron in public, which is not funny, and it's not even a joke. What the heck? Did he? Are you kidding me, Chorus? You have gone way too far by joking about the Omicron. You know that it's not a joke, right? Shut up. And Boris, like I said, you need to get Omicron right now, I am sick and tired of you grounding me too much that I can't take it anymore, now go get the Omicron, now. Chorus, stop it already, stop making jokes about the Omicron right now, it's not funny at all, it's very disrespectful to the people who got the Omicron. Be quiet Boris. Doris and Boris should get the Omicron, and I bet that Doris and Boris got the Omicron because they are bad for grounding me ha 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 ha. Chris, 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 I dare you, I can't believe that you make jokes about the Omicron to us. That's it, we are going home, and you're in trouble. Darn it. Looks like I'm busted once again, and I've crossed the line big time. Oh no, just no. The rest of my family are mad at me for joking about the Omicron. Ugh, here we go again with another volume warning alert. Ugh, not again. Have you lost your mind right now? Oh, 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 oh. Chris, you have crossed the line big time. What in the world is wrong with you? How dare you make jokes about the Omicron in public and how could you joke about us getting the Omicron? What were you thinking anyway? Why would you do this in public? You know that joking about the Omicron or other virus is not funny at all. It's very disrespectful, and it's a bad joke. You could get in big trouble if you joked about it. Yeah, you should never joke about it, because Omicron virus has nothing to joke about. Omicron is a very serious virus, and that joke you made was very unacceptable. Very bad. Exactly, I agree with Kalu. That joke you made was not cool, and not funny at all. You are just being disrespectful to the people who got the Omicron. You are a disgrace. What we're doing is horrible and awful. Joking about the Omicron or other virus is very bad. And it's a bad joke. Bad joke. Why? Just why, why, why? You are such a horrible guy. Yeah, and this is not funny. Joking about the Omicron is not funny at all. You did this to me and Doris. I can't believe that you did this. That's it. I am so done with you. You are so grounded, 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 grounded for up to one month. Now get upstairs to your room right now. Now I am done. Now go. Now, now, now. Yeah, you should realize that joking about the Omicron or other virus is bad. It's a bad idea, and you shouldn't joke about it. Now go, and stop joking about the Omicron, now. Gosh, I really despise Chorus so much, because he joked about the Omicron to me and Doris in public, which is horrible, and this is not funny at all. Exactly. Joking about the Omicron is not funny at all. It's a bad joke, and it's very disrespectful to the people who got the Omicron. Corys never learns anyway. Get back over here already Chorus, you are causing so much chaos too many times.
Gosh darn it, I've crossed the line again. Sorry for grounding you. Ouch, 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 ouch. Course, stop spanking me with a belt already. It's not cool at all. Time to electrocute Horus and Doris. Wait, I think Horus did a miss. He didn't electrocute us with a teaser. Oh no, not again. <laughs> Gosh dang it. My family sent me to the basement all because I pour a boiling hot water onto Boris. And it causes him to get almost burned. <laughs> oh my god, Boris. Please, stop it. Stop pouring a boiling hot water right onto my head. It will burn so hard that I can't handle it. <laughs> Take that you son of a disgrace. Nobody likes you because you kept on grounding me so many times that I can't take it anymore. You know what? I can't take this anymore. Screw it. I'm getting a rid of these old chairs that was very old. I don't like old chairs. Take this. Stupid chairs. I don't need it anyway because it sucks so hard. Same thing goes to these chairs. You kidding me right now? One old chair left? Alright, you asked for it. Take that you stupid old chairs. This is what you get. I didn't realize that there is only one old chair left to deal with. Anyways, I'm going to use the old laptop that was used when Boris and Doris gets a chance to buy it. Perfect. This old laptop that I need. Let's go back to the main basement to sit on the chair. But I gotta close the drawer first, and then I can go. There. Now let's go back to where I went, and sit the O and W on the chair. Wait. What is this? Perfect. I have found another idea. I'm going to make fun of anybody who tested positive for the Omicron. I bet they are going to get offended when I do that. Time to turn off the old laptop, and then let's go. Let's start making fun of anybody who tested positive for the Omicron. I bet they are gonna get mad. Let's check around here, and see if my family like Boris, Doris, etc. are still in the other room. Alright, the coast is clear. Let's get out of the house, and then go to the grocery store to start doing what should I do. I had a feeling that Boris might gonna check, and go downstairs to the basement just to make sure I wasn't leaving hey, yet. Hey, what was that? Is that Chorus getting out of the basement when he's not supposed to do? I better check there before it's too late. Holy crap. No, it's Boris. I better hide somewhere in this quiet room. Hiding right behind the sofa is a good choice, so Boris won't see me hiding from him. Get their Corys. Boris might gonna caught you. All right, all clear. Let's hide right behind the sofa. I need to duck, cause Boris is coming. All done. Let's hope that Boris the Brett won't see me hiding, like I said. Holy crap he's coming. I need to stay quiet. Now where did Chorus go? I think he is staying in the... Okay, 
What is the meaning of this? Why is the door opened? I thought it was closed for a second. But, how? Wait, is Chorus left the basement? I'm going to check. And if he did, then I'm going to find him. This makes me annoyed so much. Ugh. If Boris literally found me while he looked at it and see if it's something or not, then I'm busted big time. What the heck? Chorus just left. I knew at this time. Where is he? Well, I wasn't expected, but okay. I have to do it a little harder. Where is Chorus? I think he must have go back to his bedroom. Let's check. Gosh dang it, he is still not in his bedroom, he might have hide somewhere, which was in the main floor. Time to hide. I don't know where is Chorus, but we'll see. Okay, what is this? I think I already know who was hiding right behind the sofa, it was actually Chorus. Chorus, I know you're hiding right behind the sofa, it's because I know that you are hiding. Like I said, please stand up and reveal that you were hiding right behind the sofa. Alright, if you don't stand up, then I'll just move the sofa to see who you are. Alright that's it, I will move the sofa to see who you are, I'm not playing games. Oh my god no 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 it's Boris who found me, oh heck no. Gosh yeah, I already knew that you were hiding right behind the sofa. Now go back to the basement, and I will lock the basement door. Oh my god I gotta get out of here before it gets worse, or else I could get a punishment instead of going back to the basement. Excuse me Chorus, what are you doing? Okay, I don't see my family out there, which was safe for me. I will use my phone to check the map. I was feeling bored always walking or running all the way to the end. Here we go again with another moment coming from Chorus. He might gonna do horrible stuff to the people in public. Oh, he is going to be grounded for sure. Holy crap, not another raging moment from Boris. Let me get out of this area before Boris comes here outside. Chorus, where are you right now? I thought you were. Hold on, what just happened? <laughs> Holy crap, Chorus just escaped after he recently poured a boiling hot water right onto my head. It hurts and burns so hard that I can't handle it. You know what, I'm gonna... I swear to god if Chorus literally do horrible things in public one more time, I seriously have to put him in time out on the chair at the basement instead. Gosh, Chorus is so annoying these days. Oh my god I didn't meant to slip. Ouch, just ouch, I accidentally slipped myself. Oh well, time to clean it up before Dora sees this. There's my favorite orange clean flavor. I can bring this to home so I can drink it. Time to get home. There is no need to go to the park. It will be raining in the next half hour. What? He said that the weather will start raining in about half hour? Hang on. Let me pull out my phone and see what time when the weather starts raining. Hold up. What did I just saw? It said. Holy crap. 30 minutes or a half hour later until the weather starts raining. I don't want to get wet. I gotta run to the grocery store, where there's a shade that protects others from getting wet. Okay. I think this bus station has a shade, but the shade has a glass of window. And I don't think it can affect the shade, cause the rain don't have enough powers. I don't care if the rain starts, it didn't affect me when the rain drops right into the glass. I'm glad that I've made it, just in time. God, this weather is raining. 
and I'm feeling wet right now. Ugh, so annoying. Mel, I'm just gonna wait until the rain stops. I think it's a better idea to stay here until the rain is gone. Gosh dang it. Why won't the stupid rain stop? It's been like 15 minutes, and it haven't stopped yet. Man, stupid day. Finally, the rain stops, and the weather has changed. I can go to the grocery store, but I get a chance to make fun of anybody who tested positive for the Omicron. That's why I'm going to do this, since I want to get my huge revenge on anybody. Yeah. I'm going to do it again, but this time, I should make fun of anybody who tested positive for the Omicron like I said. But I will try not to go too far, and I will try not to get caught by those people who are looking around everywhere. I think I'm at the right place, am I? Well, let's see. There it is. The grocery store I've wanted to visit. That place was great, and it is very new. The employee was just update the grocery store, but, why is there a lot of items, or some supplies right near the containers? Maybe it's because, they don't have enough room to put it there. So that's why, whatever anyways, it's time for me to make fun of anybody who tested positive for the Omicron. I'm sure they will get offended when I make fun of them for getting the Omicron. Don't worry Big Bill, I felt really bad for you after you got the Omicron. We need to take you home quickly, so you can get a lot of sleep. Life is very tough, and luckily, we do have meds and supplies at our home, so you can eat the meds. Ha 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 ha. You two are nothing but fools, and Mr. Glover, you think that you tested positive for the Omicron? Well guess what? You deserved it for hitting me. <laughs> Excuse me, you don't ever say that crap to my husband. You are just disrespecting him because he tested positive for the Omicron. Do you honestly think that I care? Well guess what? It's a no. So this means that your husband deserves to get the Omicron, cause Big Bill is just being rude. Now get out. Oh no. Just no. Karis is making fun of me for testing positive for the Omicron. How sickening and terrible. Now look what you have done to Big Bill. He is completely becoming worse when you made fun of him for getting the Omicron. Shut up already you loser. Big Bill is nothing but a loser who should get the Omicron and needs to get suffered from getting the Omicron. Ha 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 x d d d d d d d d d d d Enough. Enough is enough. Oh my god. I cannot believe that you made fun of my husband who got the Omicron. What the heck were you thinking? Making fun of anyone who got the Omicron? Especially joking about the Omicron is not funny at all. It's a serious virus like I said, and it's not cool at all, not cool. Now get out of the area. We are tired of the Omicron jokes that you made, what you did was very sickening and horrible. Oh my god I am in serious trouble no 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 no. Alright Big Bill. We have to go home, and then I could give you the medicine to eat. Okay. I kinda went too far by making fun of anyone who got tested positive for the Omicron, which is Mr. Glover. I'm not letting myself carried away. Okay, this is one of the best hiding right behind the magazine's shelf. I hope these people won't see me when I make fun of them for getting the Omicron. Oh crap, it looks like I got the Omicron, which means that I tested positive for the Omicron virus. Great, I have to go home and eat the medicine quick. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Looks like another person got tested positive for the Omicron. That what she gets for despising me. Lol 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 ha 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 x d d d d d d d d d I am completely disgusted after some guy lost to make fun of you for getting the Omicron. Now I'm completely disgusted and really irritated. 
then you should not be in public. You deserve to get the Omicron for despising me. Ha 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 ha. Nobody likes you anyway. <laughs> Stop. Stop making fun of me all because I got tested positive for the Omicron. You're making me look disgusted, and I'm sick right now. Well, who cares? Nobody cares. You deserved it, lol. Um, what is going on here today? I've heard someone who is making fun of. Well, some guy just made fun of me for testing positive for the Omicron. This guy is making me disgusted, and I'm feeling sick. I have to go home and eat the medicine. What? You joking, right? No, I'm not joking. That guy is making fun of me for getting the Omicron. Please report this guy to staff managers. I need to get home quickly and eat the medicine. Okay. I have to go. <laughs> Excuse me? You. Look what you have done to somebody who got the Omicron. You made the person feel disgusted. Holy crap, no. This guy has caught me for making fun of someone who tested positive for the Omicron. Gosh dang it. That's right, you have gone way too far this time. You make fun of somebody who got the Omicron. That is very unacceptable. Mind your business already you degenerate. You should get the Omicron because you are terrible for hating me. The heck? Did this guy told me that I should get the Omicron? Alright. I have to report this guy named whoever it is, like Chorus for example, he should be ashamed of himself. Well, there's a telephone call. I will grab it. Hello there. Who is this? Hi, I would like to inform you that since you're off at 5pm, would you like to go to my new house, and take a look of it? Of course, I still have much time to do before I came here. Now, are there any new features of your new home? Okay, thanks for letting me know. I will be here soon, see you later, and I'll be here at 5.30 p.m. Huh. I never knew there was an order place at the grocery store. But they must have updated. Now I'm going to the cleaning tools to pick up the mop. Oh dear, it looks like you've got tested positive for the Amicron, eject it, and it turns out that you would got the Amicron. Don't worry, let's take you home safely. When we get home, you lay down the couch, and then I will give you the medicine. After that, I will tell Abuelo and Diego about what happened today. Low 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 ha 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 x d d d d d d d Mr. Marquez deserves to get the Omicron, no credit to him for hitting on me ha 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 x d d d d d how do you like that? Excuse me? You don't ever make fun of my husband for testing positive for the Omicron? And you are so disrespectful to him for getting the Omicron, what is wrong with you? Shut up already you liar, that's what Cole gets, now be quiet right now. And I bet that you got the Omicron, and same goes applies to Cole as well. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling disgusted after some guy named Chris just made fun of me for getting the Omicron. Now I'm feeling sick right now. <coughs> Seriously right now? You don't ever make fun of Cole for getting the Omicron. Now look what you have done to him, you made him look disgusted. You're making yourself even worse. Making fun of somebody who got the Omicron or joking about it is not cool at all. It's very disrespectful and it's one of the most sickening move you ever did. Now stop making fun of Cole for getting the Omicron. Now. Come on Cole, we need to take you home safely as fast as possible and you have to eat the medicine, then drink cups of water and get a lot of sleep. Okay, where is Chorus anyway? I gotta check his laptop to see where did he ran into. Okay, I already found him leaving the house, and I'm thinking he ran into the grocery store to get ready causing trouble, right? Well, I guess. Let's go, no need to waste time.
Ugh, I'm feeling sick, and I'm disgusted after you make fun of me for getting the Omicron. You are so disrespectful to the people who got the Omicron. Ha 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 ha. Take that you fool. You are such a coward, and you deserve to get tested positive for the Omicron. No credit to you, XD. Wow, I can't believe that some guy just made fun of someone for getting the Omicron. This is gone too far. Yeah, and what was this guy even thinking? Making fun of someone for getting the Omicron, or joking about the Omicron, is one of the worst things that someone did, not gonna lie. <laughs> Ugh, I'm even more disgusted. You are making me sick, you sickening brat. I wish you should stop making fun of people for getting the Omicron. Do you really think I care? Heck no, you are awful, and that's what you get. Now go and get suffered you horrible person. Okay, what is going on here right now? Why is so many people shocked when there's something going on? Okay, what's all of this nonsense, and what happened today? Well, um, some guy just made fun of me all because I got the Omicron, which is very sickening and disrespectful. I was completely disgusted. Yeah, and we literally caught a guy for making fun of people for getting the Omicron. You should deal with this guy immediately. You serious right, Chorus? Why in the world would you make fun of people for getting the Omicron? You know that was one of the most sickening movie ever heard. You're going home, and you are so busted big time. Mind your own business you degenerate. You need to shut up, and get a life. I bet that you got the Omicron cause you are the worst and I hope you get it for sure ha 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 ha. Seriously have crossed the line once again. That's it. We are going home. And you are in serious trouble. Oh crap. Not this again. Here we go again. Please turn down your volume immediately, or else it will get worse. Oh my god. Chorus, you're kidding me right now? I cannot believe that you make fun of people for getting the Omicron, and how could you joke about me that I got the Omicron? That is the most sickening, and the worst move you do. You, no, what, I'm so done with you, I can't take it anymore, do you know how much I'm mad at you, because you are grounded 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 for 5 days, now go back to the basement, and I will lock the basement door, so you can't leave the basement, now go, right now, no. I hate you so much Boris the son of a brat, I wish you never existed. WWWWWWAAAAAA God dang it, why can't Chorus just stop this already? He is going insane by making fun of people for getting the Omicron. I will not all for Chorus's trap. I wasn't expecting my new summer avatar, and this looks quite accurate. But anyways, where am I? Oh, right, I cannot believe that me and Goris got split up into jail rooms, like this is unfair. Why do we have to split up? I swear to god I might gonna beat the police officers up if they won't let me out of jail. Huh. Is somebody calling me? Luckily, I still have my phone on my pocket. Hello there? Who is this? I'm just trying not to make loud noises. Uh Corys, have you got caught by the cops just for using your phone while you were in jail separately? Uh, no. I wasn't trying to do that Goris. Look, all I want to do is to get out of disgusting jail immediately. Can you find a way instead of using the generic Gonamate logic? Well I'm glad that you didn't get caught, because they might gonna take your phone away from them if you secretly used it. Now Corys, can you escape by unlocking the jail cell? No. Number one, I don't have the key to unlock the jail cell. And number two, it's kinda generic and overrated. 
so please help me find another way to get out. Ouch, this is tough luck. I guess we will have to be stuck in jail forever until you got the greatest plan to escape. No, but I found a way to escape jail. Trust me, it wasn't generic or something overrated. I would escape the jail by cutting the jail cell with a hacksaw, it would be easy. Really? But where can you cut it? I can cut the jail cell under, trust me, it will fit there if I cut the jail cell perfectly. Okay then, but please make sure that nobody around between your jail cell can hear the sounds. Yes I know. And I won't let the police officers come here to see me what am I doing. Good. Now I'm watching you okay? Now I gotta get going, so goodbye. So this is why I have to cut the jail cell under with a hacksaw. Luckily, somebody must have left this lol. Seriously though? This jail cell is very hard for me to cut it with a hacksaw because it's too hard. You know, let me do it faster. Oh my gosh I did it. It's been like an hour. Let's test it out to see if I made it. Yay, it looks like I did it. I escaped the jail, finally. Now the last solution for me to escape the police department, is to get to the exit door quick. I don't know if Corey's actually escaped his jail room by cutting the jail cell under with a hacksaw, but let's wait until he escaped the police department. What the? Hey, what the heck is the meaning of this? How did Corus escape the gal? Did he just, um, what the heck is this? Are you kidding me right now? Chorus just escaped his gal by cutting the jail cell under with the hacksaw. I need to stop him immediately before it's too late. Chorus, just you wait until my bosses are going to be pissed at you for escaping your jail. Jeez, I'm guessing Chorus is able to escape, but I can't because there are no windows for me to escape. That's it Chorus. You asked for it. I'm gonna call the bosses immediately. Haha, <laughs> yes. I finally escaped the jail. Now I can get out of the... God darn it. I gotta hide somewhere. That was close. At least I get a chance to hide right behind the plant. I had a healing that somebody must have escaped their jail by figuring out their own ways. I gotta go back to the jail section to watch them. Boss, I need to tell you something serious about what happened recently. Uh, what is it? Is there anything serious that somebody has broke? Yes, it's something serious. Some guy named Chorus who escaped his jail by cutting the jail cell under with a hacksaw. I saw it, and I was completely mad after all. What the hell? Did he actually escape without knowing the security cameras caught him on the footage? Yes, he actually find a way to escape. So come with me to the jail section. I'll show you the proof that he escaped his jail cell. Oh my god, it better not be a lie or else some things will happen next. That was a close call. I'm glad that the stupid police officers didn't caught me hiding right behind the plant. Now, I may have to stand up and leave the areas quick. The coast is clear. Now I can go. Oh look, who we have here. Looks like somebody have escaped their jail by making up their own ideas. It's Chorus who escaped his jail. Okay Chorus, what do you have to say after you escaped your jail room? Ugh, I ran out of options. I guess I could just, um... Run 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 run, and leave the police department immediately before they arrest me or good. God dang it Chorus, you just flipped the desk, then you broke the plant and dropped the tax machine too hard. Now I can't get up because of you, I need to stand up. Guys, 
Can you please help me? I need to stand up, but I can't because the desk was flipped and tried right at me and got me down too easily. Please help me, I can't stand up. Hurry up guys. I need to stand up to chase Gorus before he escapes the police department. I did it. I escaped the police department. Now my destination, going back all the way to my front house. Ha 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 ha. You police officers won't stop me lol. No! No! Just, no, he just escaped, or you are gonna get it big time, I mean, big time, this is annoying and painful. It's kinda annoying to me because I have to walk all the way to my house. It will take forever to find my house, but luckily, the police officers are not around here. At least that I'm back, I'm back to my main house. Puree. Hello Goris? Is this you again? Coris, have you escaped the police department and then came back to our main house? Well yes, I already did. Luckily, I managed to take the police officers down, and then I finally escaped. Trust me, Boris or Doris won't punish me if I escape the jail. Okay, at least you escaped. But for me, I'm not gonna escape because I have ran out of ideas to get out. But I'll be back in the next episode, okay? Okay, I gotta get back inside the house before the police cars are around. Okay? I'm going in, so see you later Goris, and try if you can escape the jail. You too, and yes, I'll try to figure out next. Well crap, here we go again with another worst moments coming from me. I'm so glad that I got a day off, and I'm glad that I won't have to deal with Chorus since he's in Gowl. Jeez, I have to watch TV right away. Not so sure I want to watch, but I'll just go on YouTube anyway. Looks like I have some time to watch TV. That Boris the stupid coward is watching TV? This is so stupid of him. Why can't he at least, um, take a break from watching the crappy TV? Well Boris is not going to stop me because I want to rule the entire world. For real? What in the? Have you lost your mind? No connection network on TV? This is absolute stupid and that is no reason to have no connection. Freak, I have to call the center to fix the problem. I will call it today, and then I'll wait outside until they arrive. I don't know what's wrong with the connection on TV. Seriously though? Why does Boris wants to wait outside? This is not what it looks like, jeez. Okay good, I hope Boris won't find me here. Hello, is this the connection Wi-Fi center? I'm just calling for my cash and not working on my TV, and is there any sort of way to fix the troubleshooting? Oh, you said that your connection Wi-Fi is not working. Okay, how about I can fix the troubleshooting? How about that? Sounds okay. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Anyways, call me back if the connection Wi-Fi on TV is working. Thanks, goodbye and stay safe. Gotta go to the mailbox to see if there's something. Okay, the coast is clear. Luckily, Boris just walked down to the mailbox. Luckily, Boris forgot to lock the front door. Now I can get in. Back to drawing board. Now let's see what can I do something. You know, it's annoying to me that finding ideas while using the laptop is getting boring. Let's go downstairs to the basement. Well well well, look what I have found. How lucky, now how can I supposed to use the spray can if I actually have it? Ha ha ha. I'm gonna spray the wall with a spray can lol. Wait. 
could I graffiti or spray the place, which is the center, especially when I was vandalizing the center. Oh wait. Vandalizing the center while graffitiing and spraying? That gives me a perfect idea. I'm going to vandalize and graffiti the center with a spray can. Then I could break into the center as well. Now let's grab the spray can. Now let's go. I could hide the spray can right inside my pocket, but I am not sure if the spray can should fit there. Hold up. Something's wrong with my pocket and the spray can. God dang it you spray can. It doesn't fit in there. Maybe it will work if I use Gonamate Logic to get the spray can fit in there. Alright Gonamate Logic, please get the spray can fit inside my pocket. I wonder if it fits in there. There we go. The spray can is already inside my pocket. Luckily, there are still some places that has any center. Now time to go. Holy crap. Not again. It's Boris the stupid brat with no life. Are you kidding me, Chorus? You just escaped jail by finding your stupid ideas? Wow, just, why would you do that? Alright, you know what, that's it. You're getting a punishment for escaping Oh no, jail. Boris the stupid brat. I'm not going to get a punishment, you stupid coward who needs to jump off the cliff. Are you serious, Chorus? You stupid dummy. You just escaped jail, and then you want to avoid consequences. Well then, you'll be grounded when you get home. Man, when will Chorus ever learn this time? I'm not trusting him anymore. Ugh. That was close. I'm super glad that Boris the son of a bread didn't give me a punishment, but he attempted to give me a punishment. Luckily, I managed to leave. I think the center is only about 5 miles, but running too much makes me tired and it's painful. Ouch! Another work day again. Ugh, I'm just gonna wait until the connection Wi-Fi on TV is working. I'm sick and tired of this TV having no Wi-Fi network. I'll just go to the kitchen to make coffee for myself. I'm bored. I don't know where is the center. It's supposed to be around here somewhere. Never mind. There it is. It's the troubleshooting center. I wasn't expect that, but luckily, I actually made it. Now that I made it to the troubleshooting center, well, it's time to, uh, vandalize and graffiti everywhere in the troubleshooting center, and break into the staff center. Now let's go. Time to get going, no time to waste. Jeez, what is taking the TV so long? The TV haven't got the connection Wi-Fi working. Man, what's with the people always act so lazy? I'm not lazy unlike them. Hang on, I think somebody is calling me. I gotta check. Hello there, who is this? Hey sir, I just want you to know that your connection on TV is working. After about a few hours, the troubleshooting has is finally resolved. Wait, really? Is it finally resolved? Yes. It's all done, it's fixed and resolved. Now you can check the TV to see if your TV has finally fixed the connection Wi-Fi. Oh my gosh, it's working now. I'm so happy that the connection Wi-Fi and TV is working. Sir, the connection Wi-Fi on my television is working. Now this means I get to watch TV if I have time. Thanks for fixing the problem. Yes, you may now proceed to watch TV. You can watch anytime, because the connection Wi-Fi on your television is working. Thank you. Now, can I please hang up the phone now? Because I'm watching TV now. Yes, you can. Anyways, I hope you are doing fine, and if you have questions, contact us. And if the connection Wi-Fi is not working, call us so we can see what can we do. You're welcome, and I will hang up the phone, so goodbye. Finally, I'm glad that the troubleshooting has finally resolved. Now I can enjoy watching TV, but I will watch something on YouTube. This time, I'm going to watch funny meme shows. 
but not going too far again. Um, what type of crappy place is this? Is this supposed to be a connection Wi-Fi center, or a troubleshooting center? Both of them have the same center, like come on man, but who cares anyway? This center sucks so hard because it's filled with tons of crappy things. I want to vandalize the place. Gosh damn it, why haven't the staff managers came here to help? I lost my stupid connection on my laptop. Okay, now that nobody is around, I can vandalize and graffiti the center. This is like when somebody vandalized it. Alright then, get ready to vandalize and graffiti the entire troubleshooting center. Okay, thank you for resolving the troubleshooting. At least that I get my connection wipe back my laptop back, and I have a question to ask. How much money do I have to pay? So if you don't know how much, it costs over $100 to fix the troubleshooting. Are you paying cash, or a credit card? Well, I don't know what to decide, because I think I kinda lost it. So I'll just up paying cash. I have no choice but to pay cash anyway. Alright, if you want to, then that's okay, and that's fine. You can decide. Hey, uh, what's wrong? Why are you angrily shocked? Did you see it on the right? I think somebody sneaked into the center and started vandalizing and spraying with ink color. What do you mean? I just heard some spraying sounds and noises. What the actual heck? Holy crap. Looks like a person just vandalized and graffitied the areas. I gotta stop him before he makes these things worse. Thanks, before I need to go, I just have to put the $100 right onto the counter. Don't worry, I'm all finished. Well then, thank you. Now you may now leave the troubleshooting center. Have a nice day, and I wish you a good luck for your laptop working. Well then, thanks. Now I'm going. Well, another brat just vandalized the center. Vandalizing places is very illegal, and he can get arrested for that. Oh, this guy is gonna get a big time. He should know that vandalizing places is a crime. And I hope you'll get arrested for vandalism. I mean it. Wow, I'm so glad that I managed to vandalize and graffiti this area. I hope nobody can see me vandalizing the center, lol. Cause they don't know what the heck am I doing. Excuse me, man, what the heck are you doing? Vandalizing and crap fighting, huh? Um, I don't understand about what they are saying, but let me check. Holy crap no, I'm now caught. Dang it you stupid cowards. That stupid coward fool just caught me for vandalizing, you dummy freaks. Excuse me, I caught you vandalizing and graphiting the area, and for the second thought, why on earth are you holding the spray can? Are you going to vandalize the center, huh? Shut the heck up you piece of crap, nobody even cares, and I don't give a crap if you are gonna report me to the police department. It will not work because you are a fool. Now if you don't excuse me, I'm leaving, because you are a trashy fool with no life. Just kidding. What the heck? Are you kidding me right now? How did you even manage to kick down the door so hard? How? This makes me confused. That's it, you crossed the line again. Drat. Looks like some guy just hides somewhere in the halls after he vandalized and graffiti the area. I better report him quick. Okay, I think someone around the staff halls are not walking or going straight to the doors. At least that nobody didn't see me hiding right inside. Hold on. Is somebody trying to find me? I better hope not. Where the hell did the stupid creep go? This creep just vandalized the area, and literally got the staff door broken down. I better find that creep before. Huh? Is somebody inside?
wait, I think this guy shouldn't be here, he needs to know that no staff managers are allowed in the staff halls, I gotta get him immediately. Holy crap. No, what the heck is this stupid guy doing? Is he? Hey, you, whoever is inside the staff's work management, open the door, and I will have to deal with you. Holy snap no. I think this useless guy is gonna get me big time. I gotta hide somewhere before he finds me. Oh wait. I gotta protect myself by holding a chair, but I gotta make sure that this guy won't see me hiding. Perfect. That's the best protection. I gotta move quickly. There. All done. Alright. Where are you right now? You are not a staff, and you didn't apply a job here. Now I'm going inside to find you. Where are you? I know you're inside the staff's work management. Now, I'm not playing games you dummy. I had a feeling that if this guy actually found me hiding while holding a chair in front of me, then I might gonna get kicked out of the troubleshooting center. But it won't happen. I know that I recognized this guy hiding right inside, I think. Hey, I know you're hiding there. Please get up, and I will kick you out of the center. Oh shut up you stupid disgusting fool who always kicks people out of the center for sneaking into the staff hall. Now take this you stupid fool who needs to get a life. Excuse me? You don't ever fight me you stupid fool. Ah, you, kidding, me, right, now, help, I can't get up, I'm stuck down there, the bookshelf is so heavy, help. Shut up already you stupid freak. Nobody gives a crap you dummy. Now time to graffiti and spray this place. No, don't spray and graffiti this place. You are making things worse. Will you at least be quiet? I'm just vandalizing the staff's work management you stupid freak. Now silent. I'm going to spray everywhere. Are you high or something? Why on earth would you do vandalism? That's illegal. Ha 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 ha. This is what you get. This place deserves to get vandalized and graffitied. You should be ashamed of yourself for almost kicking me out of the center. Dude, what you have done is very messed up. Vandalism is a crime, and you can get arrested for that. Shut up. You're not any better. That's what you get. It will teach you a lesson. God darn it. I'm so screwed up big time. Not this again. Are you kidding me right now? That's vandalism, and you seriously vandalized the area again? Now I'm going to call the cops to get you. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Silent already, you stupid fool. Boss, please help me. I can't get up. The bookshelf is too heavy that I cannot stand oh, up. I have to help you. Don't worry. I don't want you to be stuck here forever. Wow lol, another room got vandalized by me. I'm so proud that I get to vandalize and graffiti the troubleshooting center. Now time to get out of here and do the staff halls first. Alright time to vandalize another area because lol. Well, thank you so much for helping me to stand up. I was stuck until you came here before that guy is ready to commit vandalism. We need to stop him immediately before he left. And for the second thought, where is that guy we saw him vandalizing and spraying the areas, especially the staff halls we recognized? He is over there, where he started doing vandalism. So come on, no time to waste, we need to call the cops on him, then kick him out, and get this guy arrested for vandalism. Oh my freaking god, I cannot believe that a stupid brat just vandalized and graffitied the troubleshooting center. Now like I said, let's get this guy arrested for vandalism. I know, and what this guy is doing is very unacceptable. 
vandalism is very illegal, especially in public or other places. Holy crap, look what I have done lol. I seriously messed up by vandalizing and spraying the staff halls. Now what's going to happen next? I'm gonna vandalize the entire place. Aha! Uh -huh. We finally caught you vandalizing, and you especially graffitied and sprayed the staff halls after you got the door broken down recently. Well crap, looks like those two idiots just caught me for vandalizing the troubleshooting center. I'm so busted right now. That's right you stupid coward. You are the one who vandalized and graffitied the areas. And why would you like to do vandalism, huh? Vandalism is very illegal, and you know it. That's right. And plus, you are getting arrested for committing vandalism. So for that, we are going to call the cops on you to get you arrested. Now stay there, and don't move. But guys, I didn't meant to do it. It was your fault, not me because you are the one who made me commit vandalism. So don't deny it you stupid. Shut up, man, and quit making up excuses. Your excuses are full of stupid, and full of lies. Now silent you brat. I really need to tell the officers that a guy is vandalized and sprayed the troubleshooting center. I'm so done with this guy. Okay, I kinda don't know what to do. So I'll just make a run for it. Please hurry, and chase this guy immediately. On it. I'm so sick and tired of people doing vandalism crap. Get back over here right this instant you see. You can't get away for committing vandalism. Oh shut up you stupid loser. This is why I will never trust you again. Give me the disgusting bag you stupid coward who has no life. Now shut up and stop moving you idiot. Hey, what on earth are you doing with my bag? That's my bag, not yours you freak. Get your own bag you stupid coward. Oh shut up already you stupid degenerate. I got this hammer from this bag, and you stole the bag you son of a brat. The hell, dude, that's my stuff, and this hammer that I used is for using tools. Not breaking the glass windows you dummy. Put the hammer back inside that bag right now now now. Who cares? You suck for bringing a hammer. It's your own fault. Not me you stupid man child. Now I'm going to break something. Dude, you better not break the glass window or else you are going to be in serious trouble. What the hell? Dude. You seriously crossed the line big time. I will tell the authorities about this, and they are seriously gonna ban you or get you arrested for good. Shut up. Shut up. You shouldn't bring your bag that has a hammer on it. Now deal with it you dummy. God dang it bro. You better not do it or else you will get in serious trouble like I said. Just. Don't. Do. It. Shut up, dummy. Now say goodbye to the glass window, it deserved to be broken somehow. Listen to me right now. I told you that it's very illegal to break into the places by breaking the glass window with a hammer. And you actually did so much crap to the center. Don't talk back to me you son of a brat and a degenerate. You are such a idiot, a huge disgrace, and a huge idiot. Now silent and stop moving already you degenerate. Are you out of your mind right now? I can't believe that you take out a hammer from my bag, and literally break those glass windows. You really have done it again, once again. That's it. You know what? Screw it. I'm so done with you and your awful behavior. I'm going to tell the staff managers about this. Be quiet, and stop making up lies about me, and your excuses are full of crap and you know them. Darn it, this guy has got away with this. If I hope he can get caught by the FBI. Hold it right there. You are not going anywhere. God freaking darn it. Those stupid police officers just caught me big time. I'm so done right here. Quiet. Well, I'm bored today. I'll just go and get a newspaper to read. Well, it seems that someone is calling me, again, okay, 
I better hope that nobody around this house cause another chaos again. Uh, hello there, who is this? Hello. This is the police officer here, and I would like to inform you something serious. So recently, we caught a guy named I don't know, is it Chorus? Or maybe yeah. Okay, but I'm getting annoyed because of Chorus. So can you please explain what did he do this time? It better not be more serious. Okay, my explanation is that Chorus just went to the place that can fix the connection, which is called the troubleshooting center. And when he got there, he went to an area. Then he started vandalism by graphiting and spraying the walls, the areas, etc with a spray can. After that, he damaged the staff door, and do the exact same thing. After all of the vandalism he did, he went back to the main exit and grabbed a hammer from somebody's bag, then he break into the center. That's why, oh, and if you are wondering, he is going to prison for 10 years or a decade. Just to let you know that he won't have to escape since we will put him in two jail room, luckily, there is one available here. And if you don't know how much money do you have to pay over the damages Chorus has done, it's over $1,000 for the repair of glass windows. Holy crap, that's just gone too far, I can't believe this, I don't know how much, but I guess I'll just pay it, screw it, thanks a lot to Chorus, but I won't ground him because he is already arrested for what he has done. Don't worry, I'll just pay enough. Anyways, thanks for telling me. Can I just hang up the phone now? Yes, you can now hang up the phone. Weird and talking. Goodbye. I'll be back in the next episode, you fools. Ugh, not another worst day of doing nothing. Once again. What's the point, Corys? Didn't you look up the internet and search something? I think you are having a little bit stressed after trying to find a way. Oh shut the heck up, Corys. You know how hard and tough I am looking for? Just deal with it, and let me do something immediately. You are so annoying. Um, why does Corys have to be so ignorant and very delusional? He is such a coward and a huge brick who always want me to get in serious trouble. Do not worry, I'll just make sure to check. Oh hey Goris. Look what I have found. I already found it, just do not worry, I'm fine, and I'm okay, just trust me. At least that you finally made it. I'm glad that you finally get in perfect plan, and plus, can you tell me what perfect plan did you found on the website? I looked at one of the videos that someone commit drunk driving. But don't you realize that drunk driving is very bad? And doing those type of activities can get you face penalties, right? Well uh, I have no idea when it's coming to the people who commit drunk driving. I will watch these videos, and see what just happened. But you gotta be careful, okay? Because if you commit drunk driving, you know that the police officers can see you doing drunk driving activities. Just shut up. All I was doing is just watching somebody who does drunk driving. I'm not doing it, unless... Hello there, everyone. It's me, Corys, and today, I am going to drink some bottles of wine, because I bought few of them from the bottle store. But before I begin to drink a bottle of wine, I just wanted to say that I'm not going to drive even if I drink a bottle of wine, because there are few police cars that are looking. I mean, they are looking everywhere, trying to make sure that people won't do those crime spree. So I'll have to be cautious and I have to warn myself about the situation. Now where the heck am I at? Oh, right. I guess it's time for me to drink a bottle of wine. Okay, what the heck is this? Is that a video of me drinking a bottle of wine in the car? I wasn't driving the car for the whole time. Dang, never knew that you were doing stupid today. Oh be quiet, we need to watch the whole video and see how this video works. There we go. I got it. Okay, now that it's all set, it's time to drink a bottle of wine. Sweet. A bottle of wine tastes like wine, and it's one of my favorite drinks of all time from the bottle store. But however, if I drank way too much bottle of wines, then I can get drunk and I might gonna do drunk driving. So I'll be cautious about the drunk situation. What the heck? 
That's me recording myself drinking a bottle of wine? No way, just no way. The Corys, have you drink a bottle of wine before? I never knew that you are drinking something that contains alcohol. Oh wait. You were right Goris, I was drinking a bottle of wine before. I was so happy when I found one of those bottle of wine, which is located at the bottle store. And let's just hope that nobody thinks that I'm being drunk. I do remember drinking a bottle of wine. It looks like it. But we cannot do drunk driving when it comes to those alcohol drinks. Because doing that can get you in big trouble. But Goris, I want to do drunk driving. Like seriously? Do you think that it's illegal to commit drunk driving? Technically, it's very illegal. If you want to find out, then search it on the internet. But where is it? I can't find it. Never mind, I have to search up the internet. Okay Goris, I'm alright. Let's see the results. Huh? What the actual hell did I saw? Good heavens. I cannot believe that drunk driving is very illegal, and I can't do it because of this. I was right the whole time, doing drunk driving is illegal, and you could get your driver license suspended, or you could get arrested if you drink and drive the car. Are you joking kidding me right now? I cannot believe that they made drunk driving illegal, like what the heck is wrong with them? Whoa 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 Corys, just calm down, okay? I know that they are being stupid and idiots, but please don't get in big trouble. You know what? That does it, I have no choice but to. Um, wait, Corys, please, I'm just helping you, okay? <laughs> what the actual heck? Why would these people on the internet think that drunk driving is very illegal? They don't have proof, but when I searched it, I completely lost it. God dang it Corys. You need to calm down. Look, I know that you want to commit drunk driving, but I don't think you should do it because it is a crime to drink and drive. Do you know how mad I am? These people really needs to fix their problems right now. I, I can't take this anymore. I will, I will destroy my laptop. Right, Ooh, whoa, whoa. right. Corys, just settle down already. Like I said, it's very tough. Screw it. I'm not gonna destroy my laptop, because I will be an idiot for paying too much money to buy a new laptop. That was a relief, because you were about to destroy it, but you changed your mind. Yeah, I know. I was very mad when I searched it. So this means that I have to find a perfect way to do drunk driving. I guess I can't steal something from the bottle store, unless I can go to Boris's car so I can steal his driver license. Wait a second. Oh my gosh yes, I think I got an idea since I've mentioned about Boris's driver license. I have a great plan Corys, I mean, Goris. I should steal Boris's driver license, so I can drive his car and go somewhere whenever I want to drive. But sadly, you have no access to go inside in Boris's car, because you didn't have Boris's car keys. It's okay, Goris. Luckily. His car keys is somewhere near the living room. So here's the steps that I am going to do. 1. I can grab Boris's car keys. 2. I will steal his driver license. And 3. I can drive his car whenever I want to go. Then what's the next solution? The next solution is, after I'm done doing these steps, I will drive myself to bottle store. Then I will steal bottles of wine from there, and get out of here. The Corys, I need to warn you. The bottle store has security cameras, so you need to be careful and be cautious about this. Just trust me Corys, just don't get caught by the security cameras, okay? Alright. I have no choice but to agree that I cannot get caught while stealing something from the bottle store. And Corys, can I turn off your laptop? Because I know that you are going right now. Why of course, yes. You can turn off my laptop. I'm just too lazy every time I turn off my laptop. There, Corys's laptop is turning off. I hope that Corys is doing fine, no matter what it takes for him to complete. Let's check my phone and see what time is it. It's 12.45 p.m. in the afternoon. 
Luckily, I still have time to steal bottles of wine from the bottle store. Is there Boris's car keys right inside the... There it is. Boris's car keys is right inside the drawer. Time to bring it to Boris's car. Target locked. Now that I finally got Boris's car keys, it's time to go because I have no time to do in this house. I don't know why would Broy ever left his car keys right inside the drawer like that. He should have just put it right in his bedroom, not hiding it right inside. Like really? I better hope that Boris won't find out that I was stealing his driver license. Because Boris doesn't have proof that I stole his stuff. Well yay. I'm so happy that Boris's car is right there, near my front house. But anyways, time to drive Boris's crappy car. Then I will drove to the bottle store. Then I will steal bottles of wine. Like I said, I already made an idea recently. <laughs> well crap, I have to check and see if I still have enough gas for me to drive Boris's car, ouch. Okay, done. Now I gotta get going, no need to turn back. I'm not so sure if I can call Corys and see if he was okay, but we'll see. I don't know how much gas did Boris just wasted in his car, but I'll just go to the gas station. Alright, I've arrived at the gas station in Circle K. Now I'm going to check the gas gauge if Boris's car has enough gas. Wait what? What the heck? Holy crap. The gas gauge in Boris's car was empty the whole time. Luckily, I made it just in time before the car gauge is empty. I need to get out of the car, then I will fill up the gas in Boris's car. Alright, now that it's inside, time to start filling up Boris's car that I've mentioned before. At least that it was quiet because there are still some people who are still waiting for the others to finish up the tasks. Okay, now that it's done, I will put back the fuel pump. Then I will go inside and pay the money for the gas fuel. All finished. Let's go inside and pay the money for the gas fuel. Wow, I never knew that this convenience store has a lot of stuff that I never buy, but anyways, time to pay the money like I already said. Hello madam, I would like to say that I already filled up my car with a fuel pump, and my car's gas gauge is full, so, anything you want me to pay? Okay, the total is $40 for the gas fuel pump that you've filled. Okay madam, here's the $40. And keep the change. Alright, thank you so much, and have a nice day, and see you soon. You too, stay safe, and stay out of trouble. Lucky for me, I get more cash, and even if I get more, I'll start buying things that I need. Well, my tasks from the gas station are done. I will drive to the bottle store. Alright, I guess it's time for me to go to the bottle store, then I will steal some bottles of wine, then leave quickly before somebody catches me. Luckily, it's not even that far away. It's only like two blocks away from the gas station. So I can just drive there and go inside the bottle store. I'm almost there, so I cannot wait to steal something. Well, it's time for me to go inside because why not? What? Did someone just call me today? 
I gotta pick up the case right here. Uh, hello? Who is this? Corys. You did not steal those bottles of wine that you've mentioned, right? Uh, no. I didn't. When I was about to drive Boris's car, I saw the gas gauge having less gas that it will become empty. Luckily, I made it to the gas station. Okay. And, have you filled up the gas before? Yes I did. I already filled up the gas with a fuel pump. And after that, I went inside the convenience store at the gas station. Then I pay the money for the gas fuel. And after you went to the gas station, did you drove yourself to the bottle store? Yes. I was about to go inside and find the section shelf, and see if the shelf has some bottle of wines. Trust me Goris, I won't get in trouble for stealing it. Yeah. I'm deeply sorry for calling you today because I was wondering if you can give me a bottle of water. Can you give it to me? Uh, no. But there are still some more water bottles in the basement. We both can still drink water even if we are still thirsty. Well okay then, I will hang up the phone while you can start stealing bottles of wine from the bottle store. Anyways, see ya. Excuse me Goris? What are you doing on the phone? Never mind, it's Doris. Anyways, see you later. Wow are you serious? That Doris the stupid woman child is at it again? How stupid and dumb prick she is, but whatever, I gotta do it faster. Oh my goodness! What are of those? Sodas, bottle of water, and some bottles of wine right there? There are many soda flavors that I never tried before, except the Coca-Cola one. I have Coca-Cola before. Well what are you waiting for? Let's steal some bottles of wines, then get out of here before I get caught by the security cameras. Ouch, I don't know if these bottles of wines can still fit in my pockets, but we'll see. Well, maybe it would be okay, but who knows. Or on a second thought, I could grab a bag that can easily fit inside. Ouch. No sign of the plastic bag? Alright then, I'll just steal it anyway. What the heck man? What are you doing? Stealing bottles of wine? Just put it back before I will call the cops on you. If you don't want to, then I'm guessing that I will call the cops. Oh shut up. Nobody gives a crap. Guess what? I'm leaving. Bye you dummy. <laughs> That's it. I will call the police to get you arrested. You will regret it one day. Lucky for me. It's time to drink a bottle of wine. At least that I got away from the idiot employee from the bottle store. Well I better hope that no one can see me doing drunk driving. Perfect. Nobody is around here. I will make sure that nobody is watching me. Huh? What the heck? Why is there a car parking right near the bus station? This car isn't supposed to park here. Like, why? I don't understand. I had a feeling that the driver must have lost his mind or something. Let me check and see what is wrong with the driver. Uh, what the actual heck? A driver is drinking a bottle of wine? So, wait. This driver is drinking a bottle of wine in his car? I had a feeling that this driver had lost his mind by drinking something that contains alcohol while he's inside the car. Alright, I don't care if this person just saw me drinking inside the car while I can't drive, I can still drive whenever I want. What the heck? This driver is doing drunk driving? Okay, I have to call the cops on him immediately. Alright. I gotta drive right now, this guy has caught me. I should have just stayed until the bottle of wine is empty. Oh my god. 
I cannot believe this, this driver has crossed the line. That's it. It's time for me to call the cops on this idiot who commit drunk driving. This driver will regret it when he got arrested. Hi. We police officers are from the police department, what can I help you today? Any problems that we have to deal with? Well, while I was walking down the streets right near the bus station, I saw the car parking right near the bus station, which isn't supposed to be parked. And I got suspicious right here, so I checked the driver. And apparently, I caught him drinking and driving, and he was drinking a bottle of wine while he's driving away from me. Okay, but can you tell us what is the color of the car that the driver just drove? Well, the color of the car is actually blue, so I highly suggest that you should chase after this car, and examine his driver license ID. Okay, thank you so much for telling us the truth. We will come and get the driver, so we can examine his license ID thank you so much, and have a nice day. You're welcome, and make sure to stay out of trouble. I'm so glad that I caught this driver for doing drunk driving. Let's hope that he can get his driver license suspended. But right now, I should continue walking. Oh snap! I don't want to get arrested for doing drunk driving. I'm sure that I never do drunk driving, so let's hope that I can still make it to my house. Huh? What the heck is that sound? I think it's coming from the police cars, let me check. Holy crap what the heck is this? Oh crap. It's the police car, well, there is only one car, holy crap. I should have just looked at the distance carefully before I crash Boris's car. Hey, the driver who's driving the car, please pull over. We will examine your driver license ID when you pull over. So stop trying to get away with this. I'm not gonna stop until the police car can just give up and stop chasing after me. The police cops are so annoying, not gonna lie. Okay, I don't understand why would the police car would go after me like that? Like this police cop doesn't know how to take me down. Hold on. I gotta check the gas gauge and see how much gas left. Whoa whoa whoa. What the heck did I saw? What? Are you kidding me? How the heck did the gas gauge in Boris's car is almost empty? I have no idea how much gas meters did I waste. Oh well, I guess I have to give up. I'm guessing that I will get arrested for stealing Boris's driver license. I'm so screwed up big time. Well crap, it looks like I'm busted big time. I should have just went to the other gas station to fill up the gas gauge with a fuel pump. Alright, whoever is inside the car, please get out, and I want you to have your driver license ID to me. Oh crap. It looks like I'm so busted for doing something terrible. Well well well, it looks like a person who does drunk driving, right? Well, yes. I did drink a bottle of wine and then I drive while I'm drinking wine. Can I have your driver license ID? I'm going to take a look at it. Okay, here's my driver license ID card. Good. Now I will check your license ID, but if it's not your driver license, then it could be stolen. Huh? What is this? A stolen driver license vehicle? So wait, something's suspicious. This driver license ID is stolen, and are you Boris, actually? And have you drank a bottle of wine? I think you were doing drunk driving, right? I will check. No, I didn't do it in my entire life. So are you the one who does drunk driving? I has a feeling about it, let me check. Oh crap. Looks like I'm so busted big time, I don't know why would I have to do this. What the actual heck? Looks like I've caught this person for stealing someone's driver license, and doing drunk driving. 
I've saw that there are a few bottles of wine, that person will be arrested for 10 years, he will regret it when he gets sent to prison. Sir, I just found few of them that contains wine, so are you the one who drink it and then drive? Yes, I did. And I actually stole those few of the bottles of wine from the bottle store. Oh crap. It seems that I accidentally admit it, just great, what am I going to do? You freaking coward. Why would you do that? That's very wrong and very illegal. You are under arrest, come with me to the police department. Why? Cause you stole someone's driver license, doing drunk driving, and stealing few of the bottles of wine from the bottle store. Come with me to the police car right away. Meanwhile, well, it is a nice day, and I hope that nothing happens to me. Do I really have to say this again? I guess yes, it's my choice. Where did Boris go? He must have went to the bus to go somewhere. Huh? Is that an office phone sound that is coming from Boris's office room? I will check and see. Well, I don't know who is calling me today, but I'll just call. A uh, hello there? Who is this? You have reached to the Anderson family? My name is Mrs. Anderson, and what can I help you? Oh, I thought that your name was Boris, or Mr. Anderson. You're Mrs. Anderson, right? Yes. I'm Mrs. Anderson, and I'm sorry if I have to pick up the phone, because Boris accidentally left his phone at home. Luckily, I can take care of it. It's okay. But I want to notify and inform you that a person was responsible for stealing Boris's driver license, which goes by the name of Chorus. You joking kidding me? But whatever, after he stole Boris's license, what did he do recently? You won't believe what he has done. He just stole a few bottles of wine, which is located at the bottle store. I just received a call from the employee at the bottle store, and he did drunk driving by drinking a bottle of wine while he's driving Boris's car. A guy must have called me today about the drunk driving situation, so I have to chase after him. After he pulled over due to Boris's car gauge almost running out of gas, he gave me the driver license ID card, and it turns out that it was stolen. It was actually Boris's ID. Okay, what the hell? He stole Boris's driver license, and Boris's ID card, right? Of course he did, and he will face 10 years of prison for stealing someone's driver license, and literally did drunk driving. So I have to take him to the police department. Anyways, thank you so much for responding to us. If you have any questions, let me know, okay? Thanks, and have a nice day, and stay out of crime spree. Serious right now. Oh, 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 what the heck is wrong with Corey's right now? I cannot believe that Corey's would ever steal Morris's driver license and did drunk driving. He is going to pay for this. And sadly, I can't drive Morris's car because of Corey stealing it. Like, how am I supposed to go to the police department? Like, this is impossible for me to get there. I need to speak to Boris when he gets home. He sure will be suspicious when someone steals Boris's car. What the heck? What happened to my car? It's stolen and I don't know who's the one who stole my car. Boris. I'm glad that you're back, and I think Boris is the one who stole your license on purpose. Hold on. Someone is calling me. I think it's the police department. Hello? Is this the police department that want to call me? Yeah, we have to take you to the police department because your husband's car was stolen. We have no choice but to take you there. Luckily, my husband just made it to my house. So do not worry, he didn't get lost. He was walking back all the way to my house. Okay, thanks for letting us know. We will drive all the way to your house, and take you both there to punish Corys. Meanwhile... Okay Corys, this is your jail cell. 
you will be staying here for one decade. And you will have to do a lot of chores in there, so have fun staying there for 10 years. And no escape, and by the way, your visitors are on their way, and they will be so furious at you. Oh crap! Looks like Boris and Doris are going to be mad at me for what I have done to Boris's car, doing drunk driving. What the hell? Boris and Doris, why the heck did you both get there? Our car was stolen by me. Well, because when I got a call from the police department, they said that they will take us here since our car was stolen by you. That's why. Now we are going to punish you for committing drunk driving. Well shoot, get ready for another loud volume. I'm sure that it will be more painful. <laughs> Oh, my, God. Quiz, have you lost your mind already? How dare you steal Boris's driver license, and why would you do drunk driving? Drunk driving is illegal, and it's not allowed. But Boris and Doris, I just attempt to do drunk driving, I swear. Yeah, but you shouldn't do drunk driving, and plus, stealing bottles of wine from the bottle store? That's very wrong. And you stole Boris's driver license ID? You know what? We are so done with you, but this time, permanently. You are so all grounded for 10 years. 10 years. What kind of a drunk person are you? Doris and Doris, just let me out of jail. I'm terribly sorry for stealing your driver license ID, and I'm sorry for attempting to do drunk driving. I was drinking wine inside. No way. We are not going to bail you out, because we know that you're going to commit another crime spree, but we even worse. So no, we will not. Now have fun staying here. Boris and Doris, how could you? You didn't unlock the jail cell just to let me out. You both are crazy persons. God freaking dang it. Not another this crap again. God dang it. Why do I have to do all of this crap when it's a bit messy in my room? Goris should have just helped me. There. All done. I'm super glad that I did it on my own. Corys? Are you done cleaning up your room? I've heard that you said that you finished it. Well, I'm already done, so I'll go and open the door. Let's hope that Goris will be happy if I told him that I cleaned up my room. Oh, what the heck? Did somebody just, um... Why you little coward, Corys? Why the heck would you do that? Slamming down the door while I was trying to open the door? Very pathetic. I'm not slamming the door. So what are you talking about? If you said that you didn't slam the door, then why the heck did this door get slammed right here? I was in the middle of opening the door you fool. You seriously have no common sense if you literally slammed me with the door. Didn't you open the door properly? Shut up. I'm not the one who literally slammed the door. I was just trying to make sure that you're done cleaning. Don't talk crap behind my back. Do you realize that I was trying to open the freaking door? Yet you decide to slam the door while I got hit. Imagine doing this to somebody. Then do you want me to beat you up over a misunderstanding? Okay then, you asked for it. Ah, what a relaxing day. Time to read the newspaper article. Goris, I'm not trying to start being an idiot, but you need to stop being a prick. I wonder what is wrong with Goris and Goris? They both are back trying to cause another crap again? I'm not too surprised, and I don't know what both of them up to. <laughs> okay, if Corys and Gorus wants to have mental breakdown, then I guess I will go to the rooms to see what the heck is going on. So they wanted to start a huge breakdown with each other? Well then, I have to stop them. You want me to fight you? Alright then, let's cause a huge mental breakdown. No no, Goris, you better not do the same old crap. What the hell? 
Al Gores. Please, stop with the fighting is already. You are acting like a person who wants to cause a huge mental breakdown. Nobody asked please. That's what you get for getting me in trouble. You stupid prick who has no right. What the hell are you doing, Goris? Stop pulling my hair already. It hurts so bad. I don't care about what you are saying. Please shut the heck up and stop being a fool, you coward. What are you doing? You better not destroy my bedroom. Well, 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 Goris. What do we have here? Are you joking right now? How did you grab this large bed when it's too heavy to carry? Because my choice is up. Flipping the bed way too hard and see how do you like it or not. No, 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 please don't do it. That's what you get. Your bedroom is completely crashed and destroyed. What in the world is going on here in this room? Quiz's room is so messy and trashy. Um, what the heck is that voice coming from? I heard that. Oh crap, it's Doris the Woman Child. Well, 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 look who messed up again. It's Goris, and especially, Corey's. Ugh, I don't know why did the door just slammed, but I'll just check. Okay, I don't know who was that. Quiz and Goris, I told you both so many times not to do the same crap again, that you both have crossed the line again. Looks like you both are back at it once again, or you both like to cause crap each other? Again? You both seriously need to stop being idiots right now. Come the heck on Doris, why do you have to snitch on us for no reason? You are such a delusional and a piece of crap for snitching on us. Yeah, and why the hell would you want to get us in trouble? You're such a coward who doesn't know that much. What did you say? Did you both say that I snitched on you guys, and I wanted to get you both in serious trouble? How am I snitching on you both? I've heard that you both are fighting each other in your rooms when I heard something. I just went upstairs and checked your room, and I knew it. Oh will you at least shut the heck up? Nobody gives a zero crap about it. Stop trying to frame us, you did snitched on us, you stupid prick. Yeah. Why do you have to be so delusional when it comes to me and Gore's causing another crap again? You always have no good influences towards the two of us. You better go jump off the cliff you stupid Brett who always snitch on us for no reason at all. What the actual heck did you say to me? Oh, why do you want me to jump off the cliff all oh, because I've heard noises coming from your rooms? Just. Why? I can't stand you both causing another destructions in your rooms every freaking time. That's it, you both are so grounded for one week for fighting each other. But why would you ground us just because we are fighting each other? Come on, I was getting pissed when Goris started all of this. Well that's your punishment but not too harsh. And you both are not going out anywhere because your grounding time starts now. And I better not see you both doing it again or else you two will face consequences. I mean it. Oh crap. Looks like I have no freedom for myself because I'm grounded for one week, along with Goris the Brat. Oh crap, Goris, can you tell me why are you so mad? Because you are the one who made me do this crap. I'm so done with you and your stupid awful actions. Your actions caused me to have a huge mental breakdown with you. I'm done, I'm done, I can't stand you anymore due to Doris, screw you for causing me to do it. The hell. Gores, just, betrayed me? For good? I'm so done with Cory's. I cannot believe that Cory's awful actions made me do it. Screw him for that. I'm glad that I cut ties with him. Wow, why the hell would Gores betrayed me like that? That's just awful. You know what, freak it. I'm so done with them. I will get you Gores. So much Goris, freak you. I don't want to see your face again. Screw it. I'm done right here. Take this. I don't understand why would Goris betrayed me like that? He said that my awful actions made him cause a lot of crap. Then why did he do those awful actions himself?
that's very ironic and that's his own fault, not me because Gorus is the one, what am I going to do? What is my own solution plans? Well screw it, I'll just clean up my room because first of all, Gorus started it, not me. <sighs> After I clean up my room, I'll see what can I do today. Finally, I'm super glad that both Koiz and Gorus are done with each other, I hope they will learn their lessons. Shoot, it looks like somebody just ding dong the front door. Fine then, I'll just open the front door right now. God, what on earth is with Doris right now? She is getting mad and really annoyed. I hope Doris won't find out that me and Corey's are still causing trouble again. Hello? Is anybody there? You joking right? Nobody didn't showed up in my front house? They just ditched in dumb my house. How stupid and idiots they are. I'm going to close this stupid door, because this person who ding dong the door just left without me noticing. I really wish that people needs to stop ditch ding dong people's front house, because it is one of the worst things they are doing. At least that it was a quiet day in my room without Corey's the son of a brat who made me do all of the worst actions just like he did. Oh crap. Here comes another ding dong moments coming from the living room. I better hope that Doris won't rage like a stupid woman child. Ugh, not this crap again. Like seriously, why does people have to bother me by ding dong the front door multiple times? Well, here comes Doris becoming irritated when the other people just ding dong my house and then just left before the owner came here. Huh, again? This time? <laughs> I swear to God if somebody do the same crap one more time, I will rage at them and I will seriously report them to their parents. And you better not ditch ding dong my house again or else I will seriously report you to your local parents. <laughs> oh my gosh lol. It was so funny when Doris is getting mad over something dumb. I cannot wait until another person came here to ditch ding dong my house. <laughs> that was funny because Mrs. Anderson got mad over someone ditch ding dong your house. Actually, I was the one who ditch ding dong your house, so I'm going to do the same crap again. Time to do this crap again. I swear to God if it happens one more time, I will seriously report them to their parents. OMG. LOL. This is going to be more fun because Doris is going to rage in any minutes or any seconds. Oh great, here comes Doris starting to get annoyed. I better hope that I won't get in trouble. Are you kidding me right now? Again? Again? Oh man. I cannot wait and see Doris raging like a woman child. Let's see how Doris reacts when somebody. Ha 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 lo 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 x d d d d d d d. Oh my gosh. Doris is acting like a low man child low 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 x d d d d d d <laughs> Holy crap! That is way too loud, and Doris have kinda lost her mind, I think. Oh my god, oh my god, oh h h h h h h h h h h h Dare you ditch ding dong my house like that? You made me mad because of this. Hey, madam. What is going on here this time? Oh, I have to say that I was getting mad and really pissed after somebody ditched ding dong my front house. I open the door and I see no one is here. Oh, that's very sad. I felt really bad for you. <laughs> I'm going to do it again because well, what the actual heck? Hold on. Are you responsible for ditching down my house the whole time? Um, yes I did. 
I was about to do it again when you guys have to talk about the situation. Are you kidding me right now? You know that ditching ding dong someone's house is bad, and it can also make people become irritated. You made me get frustrated. That's it. Oh my gosh lol. I'm not surprised that Doris was very mad and she got frustrated. Get the heck out of here right this instant. I am sick and tired of you ditching and leaving my front house. Now go, now. I'm so done with you that I can't handle. Why does Mrs. Anderson act very delusional? WWWWWAAA Sir, I'm deeply sorry for screaming right at that person who ditched ding dong my house like that. He got me frustrated. It's alright. There's no need to worry since this guy has already left the area. Anyways, I hope you have a nice day, and I hope you are feeling better. Yep, I'm sure I will make myself better. Anyways, have a nice day. Ugh, I'm having a rough day because of someone ditched ding dong my front house. How stupid and dumb they are. That was one of the most funniest part one ever seen. Like Doris just screamed and raged at the guy that I don't know. This is very funny to me lol. Sadly, I'm still grounded until my one week of grounding time is up. I guess I have no freedom stuff until one week is over, but I wonder if I want to get my revenge on Goris by fighting him again by trashing the house in a fighting way. Finally, Doris is going to calm down because she might probably went insane. I'm going to wait until I learn my lesson, I might have some time to read a book or use the laptop. Ugh, I'm glad that somebody just helped me. I cannot believe that a person just ditched ding dong my front house. Hello there? Who is this? I do remember when Goris was having a huge mental breakdown with me by trashing and destroying my room. Alright then, let's cause a huge mental breakdown. No no. Goris, you better not do the same old crap. What the hell, Goris? Oh. I have a better idea for myself. I will go to Goris's stupid room, then I will seriously cause a huge fight with him by destroying and trashing his room. That way, Goris can get karma since he framed me for nothing. So that's why I'm going to do this crap to him as a payback. <laughs> Okay, thanks. I will come to the supermarket and meet you there. Anyways, thanks, I will see you, goodbye. Alright, it's time for me to go, because, I have nothing to do, so I'll just buy fresh products from the store. Why the heck do I have to yawn every time I do nothing? It drives me nuts and it makes me annoyed. Um, what the heck was that? Whoa whoa whoa. What the heck, Corys? Why the heck are you? Whoa, 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 Corys. Why the hell would you slam the door like that? Just settle down, and what can I help you right now? Oh, shut up, Corys. I mean, Goris. You blamed me for no reason at all, and got the two of us get grounded for that. So that's the reason why I have to fight you back again and again. Just settle down, Corys. Look, I'm so sorry and I'm very sorry for causing you to have a mental fight with me. I didn't meant to destroy your room recently, just listen to me. Who cares? You started this nonsense by making Doris grounding us. You stupid piece of crap who likes to frame me for nothing. Now guess what? Here's a karma for you. Now move it, because I'm giving you a huge payback for framing me for nothing. You made Doris ground the two of us, you deal with it. Wait wait Corys, don't. I'm very sorry for what I have done to. <laughs> oh my god Corys, what the hell is wrong with you? Are you drunk or what? You destroyed my room over because I was being sorry to you? How pathetic and stupid of you. Shut up. I destroyed your room because like I already said, you framed me for no reason at all. And you have no ways to clean up your room. Now get ready Shut to- Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Nobody gives a crap. Now I will beat you up. Wait Corys, I mean, Goris. I didn't meant to do it just like you. What the hell Goris? 
Just stop it right now. You're making things very even worse than the previous crap that you've caused. Now, Corys, how do you feel? This is your karma. And that's not how you give me karma, you dummy. Now I will destroy your room next. Ouch. Ouch. Goris, you are such a psycho, and you have gone crazy enough. I will get my huge paid back on you. I don't give a zero crap, this is what you get. Now leave me alone, I will destroy your room to see how do you like it or not. But Corys, you need... Shut up! I will destroy your room and that's a capital final. Now leave me the heck alone, you suck anyway. And I cannot wait until Corys is going to be more pissed when I destroy and trash his room. Ouch, that hurt so bad. Like why would Goris the Brad do something awful to me, just ouch. He will regret it. But I better hope that Goris the useless Brad won't trash and destroy my room just like I already did. And I seriously need to wait until I feel okay, because I got beaten up by Goris the cruelest Brad. Ha ha ha. I cannot wait to see Cory's going to rage after I destroy and trash his stupid bedroom. What the freak? Did Goris actually destroyed my room and trashing it? I better hope that Goris won't do this crap to me. Oh look who's at it again. It's Cory's the useless fool who wants to blame me. Okay, what the heck do you want from me? I think you look drunk. You know what just happened? It's your own karma, so that's why. Also, I hope you learn your lesson for that. <laughs> you need to stop being a fool. It's still not funny, and you should know that. Wait a second. Did Goris actually destroy my room like that? Huh? Ha 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 ha. Take the Corys. This is what you deserve. Now go and start acting childish lol 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 x d d d d d d d d d Hold on. I had a feeling that Goris might have done this, so Goris, have you destroyed my bedroom again? Again? Corys, what the heck are you talking about? There is nothing wrong with me, okay? Trust me. We'll see about that, because I'm going to my room, and see if you destroyed my room, and if it is, then you will pay the price. But I don't want you to see your room getting destroyed, okay? I'm gonna wait until I feel like I'm okay because of Goris brutally beat me up with a baton. Oh crap. It seems like there is a chance that Goris might gonna see this, I gotta move the bed. Great. Looks like it's not working, I think after I destroyed Corys's bedroom, the bed is huge and it's blocking the door's way. Oh wait. Never mind, I actually think that it's working, let's not let Cory see this. Now I gotta block the door before Cory slam the door too hard. Okay good, I hope that Cory's won't slam the door way too hard. I think I gotta stand up, because I think I'm feeling okay after Goris brutally beat me up with a baton. What is Goris hiding? I better not see him get away with this. Phew. That was quiet, I don't think Goris should go inside in this crappy room. Goris. You better let me open the door right now, I think you're blocking the door so I won't get in. Nope, not until you leave the house due to your stupid actions towards me. Just unblock the door right now. If you don't want to, then I'll just slam the door so hard that you can easily get hurt. Okay, okay, I guess I'll unblock it for you. Just don't hurt me, okay? Of course, I don't want you to see this, okay? You know that it's not fair for the people that want to. Shut up, Corys. Just let me see it. I know what you're doing to my room. But Corys, it's your own fault because... You can say all you want, but you can't stop me from what am I going to do. Oh, crap.
crap. Looks like Cory's just caught me, okay, I don't know what Cory's is going to do, but he sucks anyway. <laughs> Oh my freaking god Goris. What the heck is wrong with you? Why would you waste your own time by destroying my freaking room like that? You seriously made me furious because of you. Why? Why you little? Wait Goris, don't. I was just trying to. Enough with the stupid excuses. You started it, and it's your own fault, not mine. And do you remember when you got the two of us getting punished by Doris, right? You just framed me for nothing, and destroyed my room once again. Shut up Corys. Just because I did it, that doesn't mean you should take a revenge on me for doing stupid. Now shut, I'm just, don't expect me to trust you because I have had enough of you. You made me become even worse than what I am doing recently. Now let me alone, I'm done. Also, Doris will hear about this when she gets home, and she is going to give you a punishment. So I cannot wait until you get punished for that. What? Did Goris say that he is going to tell Doris about it and she is going to punish me, or Goris said that I should face grounding times? No, no no no, I'm not gonna let Goris tell Doris about it, he should just admit it. I never knew that Corys would make me do all of the awful actions, just like he did. I shouldn't act like Corys. Corys is such an evil creep who likes to cause so much. Take that Goris. That's what you get. You should have just walked downstairs and tell Doris about it. Ouch. Just ouch. Did somebody just push me down? It hurts really bad and hurtful. Oh look who's at it again. Well well well. Look who is trying to get me in trouble. So you're at it again? I told you that you're going to be in big trouble, because I'm going to tell Doris about it. You seriously caused me to do a lot of worst activities. Okay, you want me to get grounded? Alright then, have it your way, Goris. What the actual heck, Corys? Seriously, Corys? Why are you grabbing a drawer? Just put it back right away. I told you that it's your own fault, not mine you idiot. So just deal with it. And also, take this you stupid freak who wants you to get in big trouble. Oh my god, this hurts so bad that the drawer almost injured me. I gotta get up right away. God, why do I have to deal with Cory's? Cory's so annoying and he is a scumbag. Well Goris, looks like you throw a drawer right at the staircase just so the drawer can easily fall down right there. The hell? How the heck did I throw it? I don't understand. Let me check. Come on out Goris the stupid prick. I know that you throw a stupid drawer. Shut the heck up Cory's. I'm trying to pick it up and put back to where it belongs. Wow. How stupid and a dumb prick Goris was, he doesn't know what to do lol. Corys, just look at the door right now, and don't look behind. Take this you stupid. Not on my watch, Goris the useless guy who likes to frame me. I'm the smartest person, and you are not you total brat who tries to get me in serious trouble. And how much did you made me do a lot of crap? I think you did a lot like over a thousand times. No, I do not you monkey, I did a few times, but you did over 10,000 times. I knew that Doris will be back in our house in any minutes, so she will find out that you are doing a lot of crap ever since. Well it won't happen now because Doris must have went somewhere because someone called her. And I predict that you should jump off the cliff and eat a lot of grass with mud and I hope that you will get pushed off by me you stupid monkey with no life. So you predict that I should jump off the cliff, then eat a lot of grass with mud on it? And you want me to get pushed off the bridge by you? Alright that's it, fighting time. Not on my watch you dummy, just shut up. Oh, you stupid idiot. Stop watching while I'm trying to beat you with you all the time. You are 
are so crazy and are winning. What the heck is wrong with you man? You are just being a degenerate, and why did you look good? You're not looking good, you look really awful, because I'm much tougher than you, dummy. Now don't you dare beat me up with that crappy baton again. Nobody gives a zero crap, you know that we both have blamed each other, and almost got us facing consequences, we'll just see about that. Take this you stupid freak who wants to fight me for nothing. What the heck, did I just went too far, or am I blind or what? Oh my freaking god Corys, why do you have to dodge while I'm trying to tackle and beat you up? You are such a dummy with no life. Gosh, why do I have to deal with Corys' nonsense actions? So you want to beat me up? It won't happen because I've bought something. I'm guessing that you should get slipped because you suck for blaming me. What the heck are you doing? Don't you think about spilling liters of milk? That's just too bad, because I have had enough of you. What the heck, Corys? Stop it, you're responsible for this. You better clean it up before Doris comes back to our house. You should get Karma Goris. The hell, Corys? You want our house to become more messy while we fight each other? Heck no, we don't want to. Nobody cares, Goris. Besides, I can do whatever I want, you stupid. Oh my god, I am about to. What the actual heck? Oh shoot. Looks like I have crossed the line again. You stupid Cory's the freak. Oh my god, Cory's. You looked insane, and you seriously have crossed the line by. Are you freaking serious right now, Goris? Why on earth would you do that? That is one of the worst activities you and I are doing. Shut, you started it, not me, so deal with it. No you started all of this, not me you stupid dummy who likes to frame me, and you want a bet? I will seriously get my revenge on you. Not on my watch, Corey's the freak. Seriously? You are doing it again? Alright, I will tell Doris about it, and you will be grounded for that. One minute, 37 seconds later. Good heavens, we both have messed up the house while we fight each other. Yeah, I know, we both are screwing things up every time. Alright, I think it's time for... Good heavens, the living room is completely smashed and destroyed. Whoever did this should get in serious trouble. Um, what the heck did I hear? Something suspicious. Oh shoot, it's Doris the Childish Brat. Ah, uh, Doris. You, just, came back, right? Yes, I'm back, and what is the meaning of this? Both of you, can you explain why is there a lot of mess and a huge spill all over the ground? Okay, okay, just stop what you're going to do, Doris. I will explain all of the crap, so basically... Me and Corys were having a fight in our bedrooms, then we started to blame ourselves for no reason at all, then we both just destroyed our rooms like that. And after we destroyed our rooms, we decide to cause so much mayhem in the living room by destroying and smashing the living room while we fight each other. And did you guys fight each other while trashing and destroying the freaking house? I know that you guys already mentioned before. Yes, we both have screwed it again. So that's why we have to get revenge on each other. Please, don't kick the both of us out of our house. We are so sorry for the mess that we both have caused. I hope nothing can get us arrested. Oh my god, why do you guys have to do a lot of mess by trashing and destroying our house like that? How could you Oh, G-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-
Doris, that is very cruel of you to ground us for the rest of the year. I don't care, Doris. This is you both punishment for trashing and destroying the house while fighting each other. So yeah, you have to clean up the house yourselves. And I don't want to hear any excuses from both of you. I'm done right here. God dang it. Looks like I have to clean up the entire house with Cory's. Yeah, it's a shame that we both have to screw these things up. And this is your fault, Goris. You shouldn't do it because I was bored, you dummy. But what do you mean? You have to take your own responsibility. Shut up. You got the both of us getting grounded for the rest of the year instead, you idiot. Also, here's a present for blaming me. Now take this. But Cory's, you should be ashamed of yourself for what you have done. Shut up and be quiet. That's what you get, you stupid freak. What the actual hell, Corys? Why the heck would you spill each liters of milk like that? I was finding the recipe to make something, you doofus. And now look what you've done. Shut up and you are not talking, you jerk. I did that because you are the one who made me do all of the crap during out these days, or weeks. Like what the hell are you thinking? Don't blame it to me you jerk. Haven't you stopped blaming me like how many freaking times do you really have to blame on? You're a huge joke to the entire house. Don't talk back to me you freaking idiot. You're getting on my nerves and I'm sick of it. Besides, you are taking the advantage of blaming me, I'm not. You are. That does it Corys. You want me to fight you again just like how does people fight and argue, huh? You're getting a karma for this you coward. I'll show you how to fight, you useless degenerate brat. Is this how you want to fight me, huh? Well take it, you loser who has no life. So Corys you freaking dummy, is this how we fight and argue, huh? Well Goris, that's not how what fighting and arguing means. I think you're destroying and crashing the table and some chairs. Well screw it anyway, I'm gonna fight you because you always frame me for nothing. Go ahead, I do not ask, you son of a brat. Actually, you're the son of a brat yourself, cause I know that you're making yourself look like a drunk person by drinking a lot of alcohol drinks. Then who the hell are you talking to? I ain't drunk because you made me do these crappy ideas. We'll see about that. I'm not the person who is being drunk, unlike you cause you always. Oh my freaking god what the heck am I doing I am going to slip and fall. Sorry, <laughs> you freaking goofus. Stop laughing at me right now. You're not fair. You're a joke for the house, and you are a huge community of piece of crap that wants to do dirty stuff. Oh come on Goris you stinky brat. It was funny because you slipped yourself like you had a lot of stress lol. Stop it already. You know, it's not funny to laugh at someone slipping themselves when they walk into a slip puddle of flow or something. Besides, they could slip and fall. What's the big deal Goris? Are you trying to snap myself out of it? Oh please, you're just a jerk because you can't handle me laughing at you. <laughs> stop it, stop it right now, now. You're pissing me off over and over and over and over and So stop this crap right now, now, now. <laughs> My god Corys, are you insane or what? You freaking crossed the line. But what do you mean? I never use the articles, like you're trying to. Stop trying to fight me, I know that you're the one who did that, not me you freaking prick. Ah, such a nice and amazing day, time to get back and check my... Oh freak, I gotta check my bank account and see how much money do I have. A? Is there any fighting sounds going on in this house? I gotta check? Corys, please stop this crap right away. You're gonna let Doris punish us and get us in serious trouble. And I know that you're doing an awful action towards me. No Goris, actually, you're the one who did the same thing as well. You facilitate the me. 
Now stop it, and let Doris punish us for the mess that we both did. Enough is enough Corys, you always act like a freaking idiot when it comes to your awfulness and worst actions that you made, I'm not the one who did it, it's you, dummy. Oh why don't you at least shut up? It doesn't matter if we both did it or not, it's either your fault, or my fault. So get this through your brain and your head you son of a freak. And you want to fight more? Huh, huh? Alright then, I'll take it and you deserve more karma for this. Corys, I don't give a zero crap about it, I'm glad that I get a lot of karma for this, ha ha. I told you so, and this is what happens if you don't listen to Corys you son of a coward with no freaking life and a piece of garbage. Okay, I'm getting sick and tired of Corys and Goris fighting each other, like this is getting ridiculous. Corys and Goris, can't you both hear me what I am saying? Just stop with all of the fightings right now no now. Alright that's it, I may have to use something to stop Corys and Goris from fighting. Alright, let's stop those freaking idiots by using an air horn remotely. Corys you freaking idiot, just stop this crap right now. You're the main reason why I suffer a lot of horrible days during out these days. I don't give a flying crap you doofus. Just stop moving until I feel tired and want you to take a break. What the? Who in the world just made a loud air horn sound? It was me. I am the one who stopped you guys from making things worse. Now Corys and Goris, I know that you both have made a mess and crashed the table like that. Would you both please explain? Both of you, tell me the truth right now. I'm not playing games, I'm very serious. Okay, 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 fine. We may have to tell you the real and honest truth. Again like how many times? And we also fight each other while messing up in the kitchen. And please don't ground us. We are begging you, okay? Maybe we shouldn't do it in the first place. Also Doris, me and Goris have argued and caused major fight and he let me fight him while he gets karma. So is this how you both like to do, huh? You like fighting and trashing everywhere? You both have serious and mental problems. Come on Doris, stop being so sensitive. It was Goris and he made me do all of the worst actions that I've caused. What the? Are you thinking that I made Corys cause a lot of crap? Corys you freaking brat, why do you have to mention that I did it anyway? Look, nobody made you, or me acting weird. Quit arguing, enough you two, I'm sick and tired of you both causing crap every single time. Now as a punishment, you both will have to clean up the kitchen yourself, and don't bother me or annoy me cause it's getting on my nerves these days. Are you kidding me right now Doris? You're becoming drunk cause you are so sensitive and very negative, like why don't you just? None of your excuses Goris, you caused it, along with Corey's, so it's your own fault. Now you too, start cleaning up the mess already. I'm tired of this. Well freak this crap you creeps. Come on Corey's, we gotta get started already. Okay okay you loser, we both have to work as a team. Oh crap. I gotta watch out of the floor because I almost got slipped. Come on already. Alright, alright. Let's stop talking and get moving. Now I don't want to see you Corys doing the same crap like you did cause a fight with Goris. Like what has gone into you? Fine. You freaking jerk who likes to snitch on me. Wow. Just freaking wow. Is this how Doris the ugly bastard woman child does? She is so stupid. Plus, she never lets me fight with Goris. My gosh what in the heck is wrong with this prick named Doris? This prick likes to be negative and likes to punish me, like come the hell on Doris you doofus. I can't take this anymore. I may have to find a different idea to do something severe, or I could help Goris. And as for you Goris, you should never mess up something in the house along with Corys. I'm tired of this and this is the final straw that you're doing. Don't talk crap behind my back you son of a bastard and a piece of crap who needs to jump off the cliff. Please get out and jump off the cliff you doofus. Hey! You don't ever talk crap to me like that, just shut up and get a job already. You are so annoying, not gonna lie. 
Okay, I'm thinking that I took it way too far, I'm guessing. That ugly Doris who likes to be a fool and pretends that she never acts so sensitive, ugh, I still don't trust her after all. She sucks so hard and she needs a mental treatment right away, cause I'm not the one who needs that. Doris supposed to get a mental treatment, Corys? Where are you right now? I need you for some help, I can't stand Doris anymore cause she punishes the two of us for the dumbest reason. Corys, come here in my room already. I need you to help because we are tired of Doris's crappy moments, every time. Ugh, my gosh, what does Goris want from me? Is he trying to make me act more worse than him? I had a feeling about his actions, ugh, I'm sick of this, I wonder if he made up those stupidest ideas that he ever come up with. My gosh Goris, why do you want to get Chris here, you know, Chris is busy, and he needs time. Dumb prick. Well classic Kalo, I didn't tell you to go in my room, I told Corys loudly to get in my room for help. Like come on, Corys didn't respond it. Me and Corys really want to cause enough mayhem in our house, got that? Do you know that you and Corys could get confronted and get in serious trouble by Doris? She's the personality that likes to act sensitive. First of all, me and Corys can't get in trouble, right? Second of all, Doris was acting negative more than being sensitive, she's a clown unlike me. You mean that Chris want to do something awful like you do? Then have fun getting caught by mom you doofus. And I may think that Doris will be dealing with you or either Chris, or it's her choice. So, don't cause enough mayhem in our house or else Doris will be furious even more. My gosh. Why does Classic Kalo tells me, that if I did it on purpose, then... Okay you know what? Freak this crap, I have to go to Corys' room and ask him why did he not answer me. Gosh, Chris and Goris these days, are fools. Well, okay. I hope Classic Kalo won't realize I'm trying to help Goris. Ah, such a good day, let's hope that Goris won't bother me since I am feeling alright in there. Open the dang door already Corys. Open it right now, you are not supposed to act so lazy. My gosh, what the hell is wrong with Goris's mind? Is he trying to get me having arguments with him, or is he a jerk? Goris. Answer me right now, do you hear me about what I am saying? Oh great, looks like you have the worst day and month. Well freak no, I'm not going to answer this crap cause you suck so hard. My gosh, Goris, are you serious right now? Do you really have to hit me then I fell into the ground like that? You're a delusional actually. Why don't you please shut up? You realize that nobody is going to hear your stupid and bullcrap excuses? I'm not surprised that you're acting more worse than me. <coughs> oh my freaking gosh Corys you son of a raged brat. Just look at you and look at yourself. You just act like a freaking coward by saying we owe you like a fool lol x d d d d d d. Low 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 x d d d d d d Oh my goodness Corys, you are raging like a man child. Low, I can't imagine if you are throwing a huge tantrum in public. My freaking god oh 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 h h h h h h h h h h Goris you son of a prick, what the actual hell is wrong with you and your damn mind? I'm so mad at you right now. Like what the hell is wrong with you? You son of a bastard, and I'm not feeling good all because of you laughing at me raging. What? What do you mean? 
I never made you rage like you're saying re -yui. and just because I've seen you raging and saying re, it makes me laugh so hard and it's funnier. Enough and quit trying to make up funny stuff. Your funniest things are not funny at all and it pisses me off. And I'm sure that you're making yourself like a fool. Alright you know what? Freak it. No. Just no no. I'm going to beat you up and see how do you like it or not. Whoa 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 Corys, just calm down, I know that you're having a rough day, but calm the heck down, alright? Nobody gives a crap, I have to do it because you are the most selfish, and a degenerate. You better face it already. Leave me the heck alone, and stop being a fool, you like to fight with me, I'm done, I'm sick of this, I can't stand with you anymore, like, I'm leaving, and don't you dare try to creep me out. Okay, I think I've went too far enough on Cory's, I guess. Alright, Goris, you want to make a lot of people laugh at me over my anger? Well then, you asked for it. <laughs> oh my gosh lol, I can't only imagine if everybody or every single person is going to laugh at Cory's. And I'm going to make fun of Corey's by uploading his anger compilation. <laughs> what the actual hell? What was that loud sound coming from? Don't tell me the Corey's destroy and crash my room again. I better not see that again. Is this how Goris like it? Does he like or not? Haha, <laughs> take that Goris. You should not do something awful to me you ugly bastard. I hope this will teach you a strict lesson. Good heavens, my room is up, destroyed and crashed when I run inside. I don't give a flying crap, I mean. My goodness, the bedroom of mine is completely destroyed and ruined. Like this is the several time but whoever is destroying my room. But Corys, I mean, Goris, I don't want you to see this. Look, I don't understand why do you have to hear any loud noises. Hold on a second Corys. Are you the one who went to my room then destroyed everything, huh? What? What the hell do you mean? I didn't do this crap. You think that I did it? Yes you did, I know that you went to my room so you can do something stupid. No I did not you liar. Yes you did. No I did yes, not. Yes you did. No I yes, did you not. Did. No yes, I yes, did yes, not. Yes 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 yes. No 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 you no did it, no. You did it you did it you did no, it. No I didn't no I didn't no I didn't. Corys I told you to stop Shut it up, because you're gonna right cause now, another crack. Corys and Goris are fighting and causing no pain into each other. Like what on earth is wrong with them? I'm not gonna play games with them. I'm just gonna confront them. What the hell Corys? Stop pulling my freaking hair right now. You're hurting me and you need to go to the anger management class. Cut it out Goris. Nobody gives a crap as we both are fighting each other. Um, Doris, why the freaking heck are you here? And why the hell are you shocked? Well, what did I just saw? I heard another fighting scene coming from you guys. Like what on earth is going on here? Okay, okay. While we are fighting, I just laugh at Goris cause he went mad. And the worst part is that he rages very loudly. And it caused him to destroy and crash my room. Then I went mad at him the same. Then we fight but Goris fighted me first. And I was the one who caught him. Oh my god Goris. Why the hell would you tell Doris that we both did it again? Like how many freaking time did I told you? Did you taught me on how to act like a fool? You better not deny shut it. Shut up Corys. Because you made it's the two of us business. get in serious you trouble. Shut you better shut your mouth or else I will push you not off the you stairs, you bastard. All of you both stop fighting right now. I'm getting sick and tired of this crap. Alright you know what? I have had enough of you guys kept on causing enough crap that I can't stand with. Like you both need to go to the angle management class. What the?
We don't need anger management class, right? Well, you both should be ashamed. You both are going to the anger management class and that is final. And you guys are grounded until you both pass the anger management class. Now get in the car. We are going to the anger management class to test you both on how to do anger management. Oh freaking crap. I'm guessing that we have to take calming lessons from there. Well thanks a lot Doris. You shouldn't tell Doris the freaking truth. Just make up excuses and then we are off sky free. Okay okay you doofus. I guess I have to go. Crap. Just no. My gosh Goris and Quarries, what on earth is wrong with you guys? I'm getting tired of you both having mental issues with each other, like you both always do a lot of crap like up. But Doris, what's the point of taking the two of us to the anger management center? Is it because you are sick and tired of us argue and causing mental crap to each other? Yes, you both need to do anger management classes when I take you both there. And you gotta pass the session, but if you don't, then I might gonna make you do cleaning businesses. But Doris, can't you please give us another freaking chance for what we are saying? Please, we won't do the same crap over. Enough as I've said, I'm taking you Corys and Goris to the anger management center to sing you both out to handle the anger management classes and that's it. No shush. <laughs> now stay quiet. And don't make me drive aggressive or insane, or else I will be furious and I will have to pull over. Come the hell on Doris, don't take us there, just give the two of us another chance like how many times did we told you? Yeah, you always act very negative a lot, so why don't you at least do some speed driving and do a lot of traffic offense? It would be better if you... Enough as I've said, Quiz and Gorus. You both are pissing me off all because of you both fighting, trashing, and causing enough mayhem in our house. You both need some help. Like I said Doris, just don't take us to the anger management classes, these classes don't know how to do anger management. Well that's just too bad, cause what you both did is just plain bullcrap and it causes me to send you both there. And I hope this will make you guys calm down when I signed you up. Please please give us another chance. Please please please. Doris, we are begging you to drive us back to our home. And like I said Doris, you have to do traffic offense and please do some speed driving right away. You gotta do this, and don't be scared you doofus. That's enough. Enough is enough, you both should know that traffic offense and speed driving are both wrong and illegal. And it can lead me to either get a fine or worse. I could get my driver license taken away, so I will never do speed driving or traffic offense. You guys should stop it right now. I'm trying to concentrate. But Doris you loser, it was funny and it was a good idea. So why don't you at least shut your freaking mouth and deal with it? Enough. If it happens one more time, I will pull over, and I will ask you both to stop this crap. Oh crap, if we screwed up again, then Doris will be mad and she will confront us for real. I will be cautious right here. Doris you son of a bastard, you are acting like a fool and a useless brat who doesn't have a life. You're also jealous cause you are so scared of doing speed Doris driving. Stop it already. Doris might gonna pull over if we Doris, to listen to me, you are a degenerate and de garbage who acts so very entitled or negative a lot. Away. Doris, Corys, didn't stop you this listen crap to me? Right now. Just do some Doris speed driving right now us, or else I will wreck something and I will destroy your car and so, to see how many how times like do I have to tell you? So shut. Stop it, you're making it worse. Oh freaking shoot, looks like we are screwed again. I think we made Doris look furious that she Seriously, had. Seriously Corys, you are the one who started this crap, not me you doofus. Okay that's it. Corys and Goris, I will pull over the car so I will confront you for driving me nuts by having another argument mayhem, like what on earth is the matter with you two? But Doris, I beg you, stop being so negative already and just deal with us having mental arguments. No, 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 no. I'm tired of this, alright. Time to pull over. You son of a Quiz and Goris you freaking bastard. I told you both not to do the same crap over and over again, 
that you both have totally blew it. And I'm gonna say this crap, again, sadly, you Koi's and Gores need to be more quiet while I'm driving, and you both better take the anger management class right now. I'm not repeating the same crap, ever. No stop, already, do I make myself clear? Huh? Alright, alright, Doris, stop with the raging crap, we already know that, and we know your crappy statement. We'll stop being idiots, and we will behave in there. Happy now? Well good. I'm not gonna go back and forth, I'm gonna sign you both up when I take you Corey's and Doris to the anger management center. Gosh dang it, guess that me and Corey's will have to do this in a hard way after Doris appoints us to the anger management class. It's kinda boring to me in my own thoughts. My freaking gosh Corys and Goris, what on earth is the matter with you? You both are insane and I can't stand you both from doing a lot of horrible things every time. Just wow. Excuse me Doris. Don't talk too much, you are making yourself a huge joke to the both of us. Plus, you don't know anything about the anger management center, do you? Well I know about the anger management class, all you both have to do is to calm your anger down, and stop having anger arguments. That's how it works. Well, I don't think so. The only way to calm your anger down is to act like a doofus by breathing in and say re by breathing out. To be honest with you, that does not like breathing in and breathing out properly. Just breathe in and breathe out properly. Like come on. Be quiet Doris you little punk. You know that you have to say re while breathing in and breathing out. So let me do this properly, and it's 100% good. Re -oi -e -oi. <laughs> what the actual hell Doris? Why the hell are you not laughing? Like you can't even take a funny humor or something? I find it not funny, and it's not cool. Like that's not how you breathe in and breathe out properly. You're doing it in a wrong way. Don't talk crap behind Corey's back you doofus. You're the one who started making us cause a lot of crap, not us you freaking fool. And who are you talking to? I'm not even surprised at all. Like holy crap you both need some help at the anger management center. Don't start being an idiot, you're so biased and a piece of garbage. Please take us home right now you son of a freak. Enough with your crappy excuses Doris. There is no way that we are going in there to take the anger management center. Please take us home right away. First of all, I don't think I made up these excuses, and second, that's too bad, because we are already outside in front of the anger management center, and if you don't want to, then I'll just assign you both to clean up the entire house if you- No 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 Doris. Don't, you are making yourself more cruel and the most degenerate bastard. We don't want to do the anger management class and that's it. Yeah. This is not right, you are becoming crazy and stupid. Take, Take us, us back, back to our, our home right now. now. We, we don't, don't want, want to do, do this stupid, stupid anger, anger management, management class. class. So, so please, please. Take, us back back right right now, Take, Take us back to our home right now you son of a fool. Take us back to our home. 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 Right now 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 now. Well Corys and Gores you freaking idiot, why in the world would you both having loud arguments with each other? Like you're gonna make someone look at you arguing. Holy crap. Well, what do you mean? Just because we argue each other way too loud, that doesn't mean that each person gets to look at us and claim that we are the real idiots and a stupid being. Yeah, trust us Doris, nobody is gonna film us having loud arguments with each other, especially you, cause I know that you are having a rough time all because of the both of us. Well, they might gonna send this video of you both having loud arguments to me to their friends, like are you guys embracing yourselves? Uh, I don't know why do I have to do it. No 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 Doris, this ain't true at all. Why would you send the both of us to the anger management center? 
You are acting like a huge jerk and a degenerate to the both Cut of us. Cut that out with your dumb and bullcrap excuses. You know how mad I am, right? You guys made me mad so much that I can't stand with- Come on, Doris. Why are you making the two of us do the anger management class? This anger management center is so stupid and they don't know how to breathe in and out properly. Ugh, I'm thinking that you both are pretty much dumb and stupid. Anger management class is for the people who needs to calm their anger down, and if they calm their anger down, they are feeling good, and they will pay either cash or their credit card, and they are free to go. That you both are not feeling good all because you both have anger issues. With the actual heck Doris you better take us back to our home right now cause we don't want to do the anger management sessions. We have to leave the place right away, fool. Okay, if you don't want to do the anger management session, then I'll just take away all of your electronic devices until you are ready to go to the anger management center. Okay, 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 okay. Fine then, I will do it, and Goris will do it as well. So please trust us Doris, we won't do the same crap over and over again, got that? Okay you know what? Freak it, I hope you guys can behave while you both are at the anger management class. Oh, and here's one more thing that I need to say. Well then, good. I don't want you both to start causing crap again, but if you both did it again, then I swear to god that I will take away all of your devices permanently. Now come on you both, we need to walk to the sign up service so that you both need to do the anger management session. Well, I'm guessing that we have to take it, otherwise we might gonna fail the session, and we might gonna have to deal with Doris punishing or grounding us. Yeah. It creeps me out because I don't know why there are staff managers inside the anger management center act so mean and stupid. Quiz and Goris. Just follow me and we will walk straight to the sign up service so I can sign you both up for the anger management. Alright Doris, stop raging and stop being so sensitive towards the two of us, we are getting tired of it and I get that I get that. Then stop wasting your dang time and we gotta hurry before you both act way more worse. Great, we will have to do this on our way Corys, but we will try not to act like an idiot, okay? Hi there, and welcome to the Anger Management Center. Is there something wrong that you can tell me about how issues do you have? Well, I'm here to sign up because of these two of the family members of mine did a lot of anger issues to each other, and they are fighting and arguing 24 over 7. Before you begin to sign in, what was the two of these guys of your family members names who has so much anger issues throughout the time? The name of this guy behind me who's wearing a red hoodie named Corys, and the next one behind him who is wearing a blue hoodie named Goris. Could you write their names on it? Okay then, I will write their names on the signature page, then I need you to sign the parent's signature. No, no. No 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 no. Doris you freaking idiotic bastard, why in the world would you send the both of us to this crappy place that nobody gives a zero crap about? That's just too bad Corys, this is your punishment for causing so much trouble and problems along with Corys. You both should learn your lessons when you pass the session. Now be quiet right now. I'm focusing and trying to sign in the signature that the manager told me to. No shush. Madam, sorry about that. It's because these guys from my family members are pissing me off, and they drag me into having more issues and problems. It's okay. These guys are pretty much annoying and irritated. Now I will write their names for you. Then you can sign in. Now you can sign in the signature below, hopefully, your writing needs to be proper, not messy. Well in that case, thanks, I guess. I hate the fact that Doris is taking things way too seriously. She's a wimp and a piece of garbage. I don't get on why Doris is having a good time grounding or punishing us. She's a wimp and a creep. Okay madam. Finished, now do you accept the signature that I signed in? I would say yes, because you've signed in all of them in a blank form. Now I will give this to the class session who is waiting for you. Please wait here. Ugh, can't we just leave the crappy anger management center and let's just go home, 
so we can have some fun time already? No, there is no way we are leaving because I want you both to pass the freaking session. And you have to calm your anger down, that simple. And I can guarantee that you both are trying to get me to take you guys back home, but I'm not going to because it is a waste of time. Oh hey madam, sorry if I actually forgot, I just want to let you pay the cash, I'm sorry about that. Oh hi there, so you are asking me how much does it cost for signing up the anger management sessions? The total of the cost for the anger management class is only for $68. $68 right? Well okay then, that sounds fine to me. I'll pay it with cash. Okay madam, here is it, $68 is for you. Okay, thanks. You can give it to me now. I don't understand why, Frick Doris and her crap. She needs to go freak herself and a useless jerk. She is so blind that we didn't do something stupid. Thank you so much, and thanks for the $68. The manager will be here in about any minutes. Well yeah, but it was pretty bad enough for me, all because of these guys, ugh. My gosh, I don't want to do the crappy anger management class. I despise it so freaking much. Enough with that, Quiz. You are literally pissing me off, and you have to do it whenever you like it or not. Hello, is your name Mrs. Anderson, along with these two guys named Chorus and Goris? Yes, it's me. And those two guys are the main reason why I was having a tough time. Okay, if you don't know me much, I'm Mrs. Kennedy Naina. I was working and helping people at the anger management. I don't know who the hell are you. You are nothing but a filthy wimp who needs to jump off the cliff. Excuse me, Goris. That's not how good man is supposed to be. What you said to me was just very mean. Anyways, guys, come and follow me to the anger management classroom. There is a manager who is teaching on how to calm your anger down. Now, Goris and Goris, Mrs. Kennedy and Irina have put you both into the anger management class, but you are the only two inside. So I will expect you both to behave. So I'm leaving now, and I hope you both can handle it. My freaking gosh, I freaking hate this freaking place. This place is filled with idiotic fools who doesn't know how to calm their anger down. Yeah, and the worst part is that Doris left the room and she's expecting us to behave and pass the anger management session. But we always got her attention. A lot. As you may know, you both may have to calm your anger down, as you both have caused so much crap while you guys have too much anger issues. Yeah, but we will not do the crappy anger management session to complete this only one session. You are pissing the both of us off. Excuse me? But I didn't made you both pissed off. Like how on earth do you think that I made you both really pissed? I was at work the whole time, and you decide to frame me? I doubt that because we like to blame or frame someone for nothing, so don't you dare judge me over blaming anyone. Well you usually blame Goris 24 over 7, and Goris did the same thing to you, but whatever. Anyways, now where am I? The start? Yeah, I will let you know that my name is Mr. Eric Simon. And today, I will teach you both on how to control your anger and calm your anger down. So. Do you both know what is controlling your anger, and what is calm your anger down? Well Mr. Eric Simon, I know what is it, and I already know it. The answer is... There, that is what calming your anger down means. <laughs> Seriously Goris, what you said is not cool, and it proves that you don't know what calming your anger down means. Also Goris, don't laugh at me, what Goris said is not cool, and you're laughing at me, it makes you look like an idiot. Shut up right now you stupid. Nobody gives a zero crap about it. Just shut up shut up. So Goris, do you want me to kick you and Goris out of this place if you keep this thing up? Okay, 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 I don't want you to kick the both of us out, okay? Please, we will pass the session this time, okay?
well fine, but if you mess it up, then you are not willing to pass, instead, you will be kicked out of the anger management class. Anyways, the only way to calm your anger down is to take some deep breaths, or take a lot of deep breaths to keep your anger down. Now Gorus, you have to calm your anger down in proper ways, so, just take a deep breath, and breathe out, simple? Okay, just do it properly. <sighs> You did not breathe in and breathe out properly, you are doing it in a wrong way, so try that again. This is not how you're doing right, you're doing it all wrong. Shut up, Mr. Eric Simon the loser, you do know that he's right. You need to know that it was great to see Goris doing it properly. There, this is how he took a deep breath in a proper way. I'm guessing that you and Goris are doing it in a wrong way, and I bet that you can't pass the session. Will you please shut the heck up? You are getting on my nerves, and you should jump off the cliff and get hit by the road you son of a freak. Hey, you don't ever talk crap in front of me, and if you and Goris still keep this thing up, you and him will be kicked out permanently. Listen to me right now you doofus. Corey's is right the whole time. And guess what, you're gonna pay for that, so take this. Okay, is this how do you like it or not? You like it, so you better not change it. And take this as well you piece of trash who doesn't have a freaking life. Is this how do you like it? I hope you will learn your crappy lesson. My freaking gosh Corys and Goris, are you out of your minds right now? You both seriously failed the anger management class by doing a lot of crap to a manager like that. And have you been kicked out of the center? Oh wait, you both actually got kicked out by Mr. Eric Simon, a manager who is teaching on how to calm your anger down. Hey, Doris, we can explain, it wasn't the both of us who started, you made us do so much crap that the manager can't deal with, so he has to kick the both of us out. You and Doris can blame me all you guys want, but I did not start it. Just because I take you both to the anger management class, that doesn't mean you both should cause crap. But Doris, that is the most dumbest excuse I ever heard from you. You always keep punishing us over something stupid, like you're getting irritated, right? Alright, this is the last freaking time that I already told you before, I did not made up excuses, and second of all, I'm irritated cause you both cause mental arguments. And the worst part is that you both got kicked out after you failed the anger management session by causing enough mayhem, and tell a manager to jump off the cliff. Yeah, because we both are gonna do stupid stuff to Mr. Eric Simon, then when he told us to stop, we still keep on going the same direction over and over again. I agree with Goris, and we blew it by destroying the desk too. Plus, this anger management center is for fools who don't know how to control their anger. Chris and Goris, you guys are being stupid, honestly. Managers are teaching the people on how to calm their anger down, like taking deep breaths to calm down. Ugh. And we told you that we are going to pass the anger management class to calm our anger down. But it seems that you both have failed the session at the anger management center, so this means that you both have to practice on how to calm your anger down as a punishment. Alright, why don't you at least just jump off the cliff and get hit by the ground you doofus brat. Yeah, jump off the cliff, and I hope that you can get hit by those trees and I hope that someone will rage at you and throw you off the cliff. Alright, that does it. Quiz and Goris, I'm tired of this and I have had enough of you both. We are going home, and you will be grounded for that. We have to go home, so I can ground you both until winter break begins. So yeah, let's get in the car already. Well crap, here we go again with another grounding moments coming from Doris. Yeah yeah, but we will wait until winter break begins. My freaking god not another stupid day. It happens to me all over and over again.
Oh my mother freaking 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 gosh. I freaking hate these jackasses named Doris and Boris so much. They like to act jerks in front of me like that. Although for Boris. Boris has learned his lesson. And he was now acting good. Like what the hell? Boris is supposed to act dumb and stupid. Not just listening to Doris's crappy steps. Let me check outside and see if the weather started snowing or not. Cause I want Boris and Doris to get frozen solid. Hey look, it's that stupid useless bastard fool named Boris, and he's back it again with his bullcrap. Chorus, I'm not gonna bother wasting my time having another same argument with you. You do know how tired I am, right? Please leave me alone and go find something else. Come the hell on Boris. You have to respond to me now. That you're being an idiot for what you did, so, please do me a favor and freak off you little wimp. Okay. It's enough chorus. I have had enough of this. Just get out, and go find something else, instead of bothering me. You are still following my steps 24 over 7. Shut your crappy mouth right away. You're not even talking. You were making yourself look like a degenerate to begin with. Now freak off and get frozen solid by the freezing snow. Okay chorus. Do you want me to make you stay outside and never come inside the house? I better not hear your excuses, nonsense, and much of the crap that you're making. Well alright alright alright, fine, don't make me stay outside during the freezing weather, okay? Please, I don't want you to cause another mayhem just like I did. Just what freaking ever, but I will not hear this again or else you'll never go inside the house ever again, so do me a favor and shut up. My gosh, this Boris is a donkey. He is nothing but a monkey, and a disgusting piece of wimp. He needs to go screw himself, and go jump off the motor hotel. Frick him anyways. Finally, peace and quiet place for me to sit, at least that chorus just let me off their hook instead of doing insane crap to me, like holy freak. Hello there dad, how are you doing today? To be honest, classic Galu, I don't feel so good because I have so much problems, so I may have to relax unless I can go to sleep. Okay, but can you please, exactly tell me what's the problem right now? Huh, I'm guessing classic Kalu just wanting me to answer to him, crap, I don't get on why I have to waste my time. Okay classic Kalu, I've had problems recently cause chorus is getting on my nerves, so I'm just gonna relax like I said as once. Are you sure it was Chris? I'm not sure if he's bothering you again, or I kinda don't know if. Yeah, he is bothering me. But at least that he let me off the hook. Now I don't have to worry about Chorus's crappy moments. Now leave me alone and go find something to do. I don't wanna waste my time like I already said too much. Well okay fine. Guess that dad is too tired today. I'll have to play games. I guess. Finally. At last. Now I can have quiet space and hear. Hey Boris. I just made a hot chocolate for you, you can drink it if you want, cause I made it for myself. Well I'm glad that it's hot chocolate time, I hope the hot chocolate tastes very good. Also Doris, I've learned my lesson on not to do stupid crap like Chorus or Goris did. I'll try my best to reflect on what I already did. Well it's a good thing that you learned your lesson, but let's hope that it won't happen again or else. Yeah I know, but whatever. I'll just drink some hot chocolate for myself. And this goes the same applies to Gores and Quarries, they both won't cause the same crap again. You freaking bastard, Boris. I told you not to listen to Doris's ignorant steps, but you just decide to become an idiot by trusting Doris. I wish that you could get frozen solid, Boris, is this how you like it or not? Huh? Is this how? Okay, that's how you like it when I destroy my own room. W A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A Boris you son of a bastard. I freaking despise you so much that I can't stand you anymore. R E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E E
Boris and Doris are teaming themselves up, and they are trying to punish us. W A A A A A A A A A A My freaking gosh, I don't understand why does Chorus have to act very childish in any useless ways. I think he is constantly saying re e e e e e again. Haven't he passed the management? Hey there Boris, how was the hot chocolate with whipped cream and caramel sauce that I made? Was it tasty that it can make you feel alright? To be honest, Doris, I'm not so sure if it's hot chocolate. Because I know that you put whipped cream in a caramel sauce, but can I try and taste it? Also Boris, why do you have the angry expression? Anything wrong with the hot chocolate that I made? I'm not talking about the hot chocolate, I'm talking about what is Chorus's problem. He is acting strange and awful. <laughs> My gosh, are you joking kidding me right now? Ugh, I guess Corys don't want to learn, he wants to act stupid and I don't know what's gonna happen in our future. Yeah, like what is wrong with Chorus? I know that Chorus is Chorus's friend, but we don't want Chorus and Gorus to cause enough grape to the both of us. Wow, the hot chocolate that you made was not that bad at all, it tastes really good. I guess, but at least that it doesn't taste like mud. Mud is nasty. Thanks Boris, I did not add mud on the hot chocolate because the mud tastes like crap and useless. I really hope that Chorus and Gorus won't do the same crap. Also Doris, did Gorus and Chorus pass the anger management class? I wanna know that they are doing okay and decent. No Boris, both Chorus and Gorus failed because they are doing the wrong way by acting insane and stupid and I can't take them to the anger management class again. Gosh, what the hell is the meaning of this? Chorus and Gorus are a bunch of donkeys. Can't agree more. They are obsessed with causing a lot of mayhem in public places, including our house. Yeah, this is why we can't stand with Chorus and Gorus. They are menaces and degenerates. My freaking god, Chorus. Do you realize that me and Classic Kalu are busy? We are doing something until you started to say re e e e e e e Like what on earth is wrong with you man? Yeah, you literally made the two of us come here all because of your annoying crap. Also, your friend, Gorus is sleeping, so don't disturb his sleep like that. Whoa whoa whoa, Kalo and Classic Kalo. I did not meant to. Okay, I will go to Gorus's room so I can wake him up and... Nope. Stop right there you dummy. Gorus is sleeping. So you can't disturb his sleep. Just wait until he wakes up. And then you can talk to him. Yeah, you cannot be serious man. I cannot believe that we had this man child named Chorus. Okay fine. You both freaking won this crap. I'll just wait. Got that? Good. Because if Gorus hears your annoying crap, he is gonna rage at you even more. So don't do it. Alright, but Gorus is still not any better, though. Galu was right, you and Gorus are insane and complete idiotic fools. Then please get the hell out of my room right now. You are a disgrace. Huh. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna check, check downstairs, downstairs to the living room and see if there is much snow and much freezing wind outside. Oh hell yeah. I'm super glad that it's snowing, and it's freezing weather. At least that I can do something stupid to this house, not Boris and Doris. That gives me a good idea. I'm going to start breaking all windows from the house, so that way, the house will be more freezer than I thought. And how am I supposed to break the window if the house is still a little bit or a tiny bit cold? I will grab something that can break the... Oh yes. Maybe I'll bring a hammer from the basement. Don't worry, I will grab it. HMM, I think that's not there. It's just those crappy and useless washing machines. It's only for cleaning clothes with a softener in it. Dang it, guess I have to keep walking until I find it.
Let's check the shelves. I'm hoping that there is the hammer. Well, well, well. I found a hammer from the shelf. Lucky for me. I don't know if Boris the Brat actually uses the hammer just for fixing the wood tools, objects, and other type of object stuff, but who cares, Boris is just a degenerate. Man, I wonder why the hell does Doris puts all of these luggages right here? Is she's planning to go on a vacation during summer? <laughs> Hello Boris. I'm going on a vacation today. But if you don't want to, then that's okay, Boris. You can stay home. Oh no, looks like I have work tomorrow, and I don't know if classic Kalu and Kalu are gonna take care of this house, but oh well, I have to go to work tomorrow morning. Oh no Doris, I don't have time to go on a vacation because I have work tomorrow morning. Sorry, but I can't go. I'll have to take care of Kalu, Rosie, and classic Kalu, and on the second thought, I have to take care with Chorus and Chorus. Huh, <sighs> those two useless wimps who doesn't learn how to control their anger. That's okay Boris, and make sure try to watch and be careful, okay? Okay, sure, I will take care of this home, as long as Chorus and Chorus won't cause another same crap. Okay, thank you Boris. Now I'm leaving, so goodbye Boris. I will be back in a week, so I will miss you in 7 days. You too, and I will see you in 7 days a week. Welp, I had a feeling that those raged brats, Boris and Doris, had made up their crappy minds before they went back to the house. How freaking stupid of them. But whatever anyways, I'll start breaking all windows to get the freezing wind get in. Get ready Boris and Doris, be prepared lol x d d d d d d d d Ha 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 ha. I'm gonna make the house extremely cold so that way, my family can shiver all they want. Ha ha. Let's go upstairs, so I can just do the rest by breaking all windows from the second floor. Holy crap. I gotta be careful with that vase, the coffee machine, and the microwave, cause I don't wanna break them because it's pretty stupid of me to do it. My freaking god, I don't want my legs hurt so bad. Drat. Better not slip or fall, or I will not try to break the microwave. Actually, I'm gonna destroy and break this crappy microwave. I don't need this microwave, anyway. I mean, why does Doris and Boris have to microwave any leftover foods? They don't need to because they both suck so hard. Well crap, I don't know if I'm gonna destroy the microwave or not, but I'll get it when I found a way to unblock. Ah yes, perfect. At least that I move the microwave, then I just put it right onto the dining table. Wow look at that. All of the glass of windows inside the house has been destroyed, and break into pieces. At least that the house will be much cold as the snow weather. Oh my freaking god, it's actually colder than I expected. Shoot, that was so cold like holy crap. Holy crap, that was so cold. Like, who the hell made the house even more cold? Whoa, what the heck, the window, it's broken. Like cock. What the hell? The window is broken again. Gosh dang it. I don't know who did it or not. But what the? Shoot. How on earth did the snow wind blows and go inside the house like that? And holy crap. It's too cold that I'm shivering. Like, what the hell? I got to tell Doris about this. Gosh dang. 
that was so cold and freezy caused the snow wind goes insane. Doris, where are you? I don't know, we're dead. Holy crap, not another broken window from the kitchen. And the snow wind blows again. What the hell, Boris? Why the freak did you go down here? The heck? Boris? How on earth did you get here if you are not there? And, oh gosh, that was so cold and freezy out there. Uh, Chorus? Why the heck are you holding a hammer? Like, did you smash and break all glass of windows in our house while there's a freezing snow wind outside? What the hell, Boris? I never did that. Like I'm holding a hammer, and nothing happened. If you said that you didn't, then like I said, why are you holding a hammer on your hand? I'm thinking that you did it just to make the house look freezing. Um, 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 I think someone has knocked down the front door and smashed all glass of windows in our house. Trust me, it was probably Classic Kalo. I don't think so. Classic Kalo was in this house, so how? Give me the reasons, please. Okay, you don't want to tell me the whole truth? Alright, I will check the footage camera to see Boris, really please stop, or stop, not. stop, stop, stop. I will tell you the real honest truth. Happy now? Okay, here is the real truth. I went downstairs to grab a hammer from there, and then I went insane by smashing all glasses of windows from our house, and I caused the house to be very cold during winter. Please, Boris. Don't beat the living crap out of me. I promise that I can refix all windows in our house. What the? Chorus, why on earth would you do that? Do you realize that it costs too much money to repair or fix the damage that you caused? And plus, you are responsible for causing the entire house to be very cold since the snow wind blows in. And yeah, Doris will be pissed at you. Plus Chorus, you're grounded, and you will be paying so much money that I do not know how much cost. So, you have to pay it as a punishment. What the F, Boris? Are you freaking kidding me? Well, it's your punishment for smashing all glasses of windows in our house just to cause the house to be very cold while it's winter time. <coughs> My freaking god, not this crap again. This is getting ridiculous. Well, I may be a substitute teacher in high school. But who knows? You know, I should have become a substitute teacher at high school. I'll go and ask Boris if I can go there to be a substitute. Now, I'll go and see if this stupid piece of crap named Boris is still in the useless living room. Ah, finally, at last. I'm doing fine today. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hello Boris the son of a brat, I'm going to walk somewhere. Oh freaking hell, looks like Chorus is making up these excuses again. I'm not trusting him going to somewhere, because I know what he is doing. Huh. Huh. What do you want? I don't want to let you cause something stupid. Just to let you know, let me go somewhere. Then I will go to high school so I can be a substitute teacher. How about that, Boris? It would be a good idea. The hell Boris? Why not? I just wanted to be a substitute teacher. That's because classes have split up into subject classes in high school, or even in the middle school. Dot. So sorry to say this, but don't go. I can't stand your behavior. That's not fair at all. Why does teachers and principals have to split up into subject classes like that? It makes zero sense and this proves that they like to be stupid. Now now chorus. The reason why, it's because they are wanting to separate each classes and homerooms. So that's why each of them gets splitted up. But what about classic Kalo and Kalo? Does both of them get splitted up in high school? Probably yeah. And it's bad enough because they are splitted up into different homerooms. Hello students, and welcome back to high school after your winter break ends. And how's the winter break doing? To me. I had a Christmas party at my own house, and it was a lot of fun, though. It was not bad, I had a Christmas party too, at my cousin's house. And it was such a good time. Sadly, I have no party for Christmas, so that's why I stayed home, playing games. Ah, I see. Anyways, how are you guys doing? Eh? Alright, 
Let's just do the attendance and see what we should before the exam begins. Now, hold up a second. I will check to see if anyone is here. Okay, let's start off the first one. Known. Is known here? Yes, I am. I'm known. Thank you so much. Now the next one is Kalu. You there? Of course, yes. I'm here. Thanks. And here's the next and the last one, which is Evana Shuhuip. Are you here? Yes, I'm here. Thanks. And mostly everyone is here in Hammer Room. Okay, now we will do something new before the exam starts. So wait, does Kalo have to take his own assignments while Classic Kalo does the same? Yeah, but like I said, both Classic Kalo and Kalo have split it up into different homerooms and classrooms. Oh, that explains on why Boris has a point, but I may have to pretend that I didn't go to the store to buy something. And what do you think about going somewhere? I know that you're gonna cause another crap again. <sighs> what do you mean? I'll just walk to the store so I can buy some snacks in there. Trust me, I won't prank you, alright? Ah crap. I don't know if I let Chorus go there. Then let's hope that he won't prank me. So Boris, you want me to go? I won't do the crappy prank, alright? Well, thank you so much. I hope I can eat something tasty from the store. Huh. The sky? I thought the weather is snowing and I thought it's cold. Well at least that it is not cold at all, and at least that it's not snowy after the beginning. Now I'm going walk or run to the bus station and wait until the bus is here. Huh. I'm going to this way, but hold on, I won't let Boris know that I'm inside the classroom in high school. Hey, bus, come back here right now. You just left me behind while you left this bus station. Seriously. God freaking dang it, bus driver you stupid annoying Brett who left a person behind while a guy was trying to get you wait until he gets in the bus. You freaking loser. But right now, I'm gonna wait until the stupid bus arrives. I don't wanna be late cause I want to be a substitute teacher. What the actual hell? It's been like 15 minutes, and the bus haven't arrived today? Plus, why do I have to waste my time waiting? And, and it's a very long time. 15 minutes of waiting until the bus arrives? How very stupid of the bus driver being lazy enough to drive faster. G R R R R R R R R R E E E E E E E. Come on bus driver, why the hell are you taking so long? I can't wait long enough because I have to go to high school to be a substitute teacher. My freaking god what on earth is wrong with this driver? Is the bus driver having so much issues about it? Hurry up and stop being so lazy bus driver. Uh, sir, are you alright there? Is there any problems that I can't tell? What the hell do you want? You piece of trash who likes to eat garbage things. Excuse me. You don't ever talk crap or other stuff that are unnecessary in front of me like that. Also, what do you need? Is there any problems do you need for help? Well, I was really mad after the bus driver took a very long time like nearly 21 minutes, and I got really pissed at it. And I have to rage over a bus driver being too lazy. Okay, is that a reason on why you have to rage over it? Of course not. Yes, and it's all because of the bus driver's fault. He should have just arrived here in time, not just wasting his own time like that. Then couldn't you wait until the bus driver arrives? You are constantly being stupid. Just wait, and then you can go in the bus. Simple. Well fine, I have to wait until the bus arrives. And I won't rage or act like a freaking fool. Happy now? I had a big feeling about this guy, but let's hope that he won't do the same crap again. My freaking god, I really hate the fact that I have to wait again and again. Ugh. Finally, the bus driver arrives. 
hug, at least that I can get in the bus quickly as I can. Once I get home, I have to go to the living room to watch something, cause I'm bored right now. Come on, when will this bus get to high school already? I want to be a substitute teacher right now. Maybe I'll try to be the best substitute teacher even if there are new students who don't know me yet. Hello, bus has arrived at the 35 street. Please mind the gap in case if the door is not open. I'm gonna wait until they say, the bus has arrived at high school. Oh look what we have here, the Metro High School that either both Classic Kalo and Kalo goes to. You know, I will try my best to be a good substitute teacher, but let's go to the main office so I can register myself as a substitute. Why hello sir, welcome, and what can I help you sir, anything that I want from you? Hi. I just wanted to become a substitute teacher, also, is it in the afternoon today? Okay, can you tell me what is your name then, before I will register you as a substitute? I am Corey's, and my last name was Anderson. And... Okay, thank you, your name is Corus Anderson, okay, now I will put you into a class where the teacher is not here today, so you will be a substitute teacher. Now give me a moment there because I need to find my laptop there. So up, uh, were you trying to find your laptop and see if there's a classroom or homeroom where a teacher isn't here today? Of course yes, I better find a classroom immediately, cause I don't have time to do before lunch break ends. I gotta be patient right now. And I think high school places has two floors, while the elementary school one has only one floor. Alright Chorus, I found my laptop under the table drawer. Ah, what a relief. HMMM, I wonder if there's one here available. Okay Chorus Anderson, I find it, and it turns out that you're in the first floor, math class at classroom number 3. Oh my gosh yes, math class. I know the math teacher isn't here today, but can I take over it for the rest of the school day? Of course you can, but here is something I need to tell you, you have to be a very kind substitute teacher, okay? And if the students are breaking your rules, tell them to stop. So, you've been approved as a substitute teacher, and you are now going to math classroom number 3 to be a substitute. Well, thank you. I'm glad that I've registered myself as a substitute teacher. Anytime, now you may now go to the math class, the one with a homeroom class number 3, which is located in the first floor. Oh, and please don't do stupid things, okay? Now, I can be a good substitute. Now I will watch Chorus while he's the substitute in math class. Hi, madam, and... Is there something wrong that you can tell me? Sir, I've had a problem about the laptop cart number 4. I think the laptop cart 4 has slow internet and slow Wi-Fi, so are there anything you want to help me by fixing it? So wait, the laptop cart number 4 has the slowest Wi-Fi, right? Yes, and I tried to get the laptop cart number 4 working, but a lot of laptops from this has the slowest internet connection. Could you help me to fix it? I don't know how to. Oh. Sorry, but I can't do anything with those slowest laptops from the laptop card number 4. How about, we can call the Connection Wi-Fi Center for help. Seriously Principal? I'm the teacher, and the laptops from the card number 4 are having low connection, like come on. I'm sorry to say this, but I can't do anything to it cause lunch break is almost over. So how about we can call the Connection Wi-Fi Center next time? All right, we will have to do it tomorrow. Like what kind of a stupid principal are you? A fool with no life. Uh, 
Who on earth does this teacher have to think that I was lazy and stupid, I don't understand. Wow, I didn't notice that in high school, math cannot be easy while I looked at the equation page. And plus, I'm gonna wait here until lunch time is over, so I can get ready to be the substitute in this class. And I hope the students in math class in room number 3 at the first floor will be more pissed if I send them to the office for no reason at all. Finally, lunch time is over, now students should move to the next period. Ah. Uh, where is the math teacher? He is supposed to be here right now. Oh, if you are wondering, the math teacher is not here today because he has an appointment, so we may listen to the substitute teacher. Oh, that sucks. But we may do the new assignments before the exam begins now. Huh? Who are you? And are you the substitute teacher? Shut up, Gina the nerd. And yes, I'm the substitute teacher. Now please shush. You doofus brat. What the heck, do you really have to call me like that while you are the substitute teacher? If I were you, I will not call anyone like that. Enough talking, you coward, and you should go screw yourself. To be honest with you, why should I have to listen to what this loser says? Anyways, I will do the attendance, but I don't know your student names, so I will go and check the attendance folder. Okay. Now I will see who is here, Gina Delgado. Are you here in class? Yes, I'm here. Thank you, Gina. Next up, Stefani Gavin, are you here today? Yes, I am. I'm here. Stefani Gavin, you're a freaking bastard who should jump off the cliff. What the actual hell did you say? I'm not gonna hear another crap coming from you. Shut it, Stephanie. Go to the main office immediately. You are nothing but a degenerate and a piece of trash. Now go. Now. Scram. So you want me to go to the main office, huh? I'm gonna tell the principal that you are sending me to the principal's office for no reason. That's it, Stephanie. You're done. Now get out of here, you scumbag. Get out, or please jump off the freaking bridge, you freaking useless brat. Is this how you have to talk crap to me? Alright then, I'm reporting this to the principal, and I hope that you will get fired very soon, and you'll gonna regret it this time. Sorry about that. Anyways, what we will do today is we are going to have a perfect assignment. What do you mean perfect assignment? There is nothing perfect with the assignments. Oh shut a Gina, you're not even good at all. But right now... Ugh. I'm probably guessing that he is gonna do something a thing that we cannot do in math class. Today, we will do the behavior card day instead of doing the math assignment. I know you guys don't like assignments, so I have to do this. Uh, do you know that in school, we don't do those behavior card days. We do report card days, not these crappy behavior card days. Gina, you freak kind idiotic freak. Why on earth would you call the behavior card days crappy? You know that in school, behavior card days are actually important, don't you get that? You just made yourself look like a huge joke to the entire class. As a punishment, get to the freaking office right now. You're not welcomed here because you're a huge joke to the behavior card days. Now go, now you loser. Okay. Is this how you're being a substitute teacher? Alright that's it, I'm telling the principal about this, and you'll regret it big time. And Gina Delgado, don't even think about coming back to this class because you should jump off the bridge and get hurt so badly you fool. Uh, substitute teacher, are you going too far this time? I think you are. Don't talk back in front of me, dummy. Substitute, is this how you treat students in math class like that? You're probably gonna get fired soon. Excuse me? You don't ever say that useless question to me. Now go to the main office and get suspended, you freaking fool. Chorus Anderson, the substitute teacher in math class. Please report to the main office immediately. Looks like you screwed up. Now prepare to get fired. Ugh, 
I wonder what does this useless principal wants me for. Finally, that rotten substitute teacher guy is gonna get fired in any Yeah, minutes. yeah. This substitute teacher we've seen goes very stupid and insane. Ugh, we need to find a better substitute teacher. Okay, Gina. Thank you for telling me about that crazy substitute teacher. Stephanie already tell me the truth. Now you may now go back to your period classroom. You're welcome, and have a nice day, principal. Well, 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 Chorus Anderson. Or I can say Mr. Chorus Anderson is gonna get it this time. Uh, uh, principal. Why the hell did you call me down here to the main office? And why on earth are you furious for? And by the way, when I see Stephanie going back to her period class from the main office, how on earth did Gina tells you that? Answer, you doofus. Well, I'm glad that you asked. It's because both Stephanie and Jean told me that you literally send them to my main office for the dumb reason. I know they just want a serious talk. So, did you just send both Stephanie and Gina to the main officer for the stupid reason at math class? Please be honest, be specific, and don't make up those dumb move excuses. Um, principal, I, uh, I, uh, I don't know what to, uh, I have no words to say. Um, um, principal, um, could you please? Mr. Chorus, Anderson, you better tell me the honest and specific truth, not just say nah, or um, 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 crap. I wanted to hear you the real truth. Now, tell, me, the, specific, truth, right, now now now. Alright fine. Here, here's the honest truth. I decide to send Stefani and Gina to the principal office as a substitute teacher. I did it for a dumb and stupid reason. And I don't get on why does people want me to tell them the real truth. I'm just not gonna tell it again and again. Thank you. At least that you told me the truth. And plus, what else did you do this time? Um, I just tell students in math class that we are going to do the behavior card day. But all of them disagreed. So I send Gina to the office for no reason like I said. And freak those useless students who doesn't like behavior card days. They think that schools cannot do behavior card days, when schools can. How stupid they are. And these people in class are bunch of donkeys and fools who should go jump off the bridge and fall down to the water and get drowned very soon. Oops. I mean, principal. I say those people in class are dumb and very stupid. Well Chorus, that was unnecessary of you to say that, and as a result, you're now fired. You're fired from the high school for being a substitute. Now please leave the school. I'm not gonna hear your move excuses. <coughs> Just go. Chorus, I don't need you to be here. Just leave. Already. Fine then. At least that I'm not dumb and stupid. Unlike you principal the useless freak who likes to go and eat dirt and mud. Hey, I don't eat dirt, and I do not eat mud you stupid, get this through your head, dummy. My gosh, this chorus Anderson is so annoying, not gonna lie. Okay, unfortunately, I got fired, so I have no choice but to leave the building anyway, but I need to watch out because I don't want anyone to caught me. I'm having a good day, so I will. Uh, classic Kalo the Brat? Why the heck did you get this bathroom pass for? Chris, why are you here? Are you a substitute teacher or what? Oh freaking shoot, it's classic Kalo. I don't want you to get me in trouble, like come on. Oh great, Chris will be in serious trouble. I will call my dad about this after class. Oh freaking crap no, I don't want classic Kalo to call my dad after class, because I don't want Boris to give me punishments again. I swear if Boris finds out, then I will be more pissed and I have to deal with a lot of crappy punishments from him. Okay, let's just get this over with, ugh, gotta be careful. Alright, I better go back upstairs too. Well, 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 guess who's back? I know what Chorus is doing. 
What the heck Boris? I thought you're in upstairs at your room, but why are you still here in the living room for? Chorus. I just received a call from Classic Kalu at school after class. He told me that he saw you there, and he knows that if you're a substitute teacher. What the? How on earth did you get a call from Classic Kalo? Was it he calling you after class? Yeah, he did. He called me after class in that moment. I have nothing to do at home, so... Good times. Now that Doris is at work, I may watch TV, or I can go to the kitchen to make coffee for myself, until... Huh, Classic Kalu is calling me while he's at school, I wonder if he's just using his phone after class, alright, I'm gonna see what is up with him no. Hello, Classic Kalu, why are you calling me for while you're at school, do you need anything for help? Hello dad, sorry if I have to call you today after class, that's because I saw Karis entering the school. And I probably think that he's a substitute. Okay, did Chorus actually went to your school and become a substitute teacher? I'm guessing that Chorus just tricked me. Of course he did. I just saw him entering the recently, and he was the substitute while I'm holding a bathroom pass. You heard it. I think Chorus just left the school building after he got fired. Could you please have a talk to him if Chorus is in our house? Well, hold on, I should have known that he tricked me, but sadly, Chorus is not at home, he is just going back home I'm guessing. Yeah, just talk to him immediately when he gets back home. Anyways, see you after school, dad. Yeah, but anyways, get to your period class quickly before it's too late. Alright, on it. My gosh, Chorus these days, are pissing me off. My freaking gosh, I don't know why. I just got a call from Classic Kalu at school after class, so, were you the substitute teacher and then got fired? I better hear you telling me the real and honest truth, I'm not gonna rage at you or something. Well crap. Guess that I don't wanna make up these excuses, okay Goris I mean, Boris. Yes, I was being a substitute teacher before I get fired, and I sent two students to the main office for a dumb reason. And plus, I just host the behavior card day in class, when it's not a behavior card day. I realize that schools can do report cards, not these behavior card days. Really? And are you making up these unfair behavior cards or what? No I did not. All I did is to tell students that I will do the behavior card day, but all of them disagreed. So I have to send them to the office for no reason, and that's why I got fired. Please don't rage at me like that, I don't wanna hear your oh 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 crap. I'm not gonna rage at you like that, I'm just gonna say that, you should know better, and sending a student to the officer for no reason is the main reason why you got fired. Now I won't give you any harsh groundings, so you're grounded until February begins. Seriously? That's just a harsh grounding. You can't do that Boris you nerd. To be honest, I don't think this should be a harsh grounding. <coughs> Meanwhile, at the Anderson's house. At least it's quiet, but right now... Wow just wow. Another failure moment coming from either Goris? Looks like Boris is at it again, and he's trying to get us to stop this crap, but no, he is an idiot. Screw you Boris you stupid piece of trash. I wish that me and Goris will give you some paybacks by giving you karma. Boris needs to get the hell out of the crappy house. My freaking god. What on earth is wrong with Goris right now? I gotta check to his useless room and see what is going on. Boris. Boris you freaking coward who likes to act like a degenerate by punishing the two of us. You are acting stupid and you need to shut the heck up and grow the hell up, doofus. Hold on a second. Corys, what is going on here this time, and, plus, what the hell Corys? Are you okay? Do you have any issues you want to talk about? Oh come the hell on Corys you idiot! 
snap out of it, and quit saying the ray e e e e e e e e e e e crap. I'm sick and tired of it. Shut the heck up, Goris. I can say the ray e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e e Plus, you are nothing but a huge joke to the entire service. No, 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 Coins. Please shut it right now, You need course. to stop this crap or nobody already. cares about what I'm you're saying. I'm sick and tired of it. So and I bet that Doris right. would caught now. us for doing stupid things. Goris, you stupid freak. Stop it. Get out of my room I'm right now. I'm trying to get you to stop. I can say the no. way. You are you acting, acting crazy, crazy today. I can. Goris, I told Just you to shut it. And I would say no, 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 no. So please do me a favor and stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Right now. 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 Now, 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 now. Whoa, 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 what the heck? Did someone just pull the air horn sound very loud in front of us? Ugh. What the heck, Halo? What are you doing here? Jesus Christ, Chorus and Gorus. I've heard that you both are doing another same thing. Like you keep on acting idiots whenever I heard something coming from you both. Hang on, Kalo. How do you know that you heard the two of us making these goofy loud sounds? And plus, can you give us proof? Please, please. You see, I just heard you both, so I think it's time for me to stop you both by using an air horn to create the loud sound. Also. Ah, yes. Such a good day. I'm doing okay, and I hope that I can. Plus, you are nothing but a huge joke to the entire service. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. Here we go again with another crap coming from either Chorus or Gorus. Alright, that's it. Time for me to find a way to stop these useless fools named Chorus and Gorus. Oh boy, I wonder what is up with these two fools who are doing the same crap. Acknowledge me. Rosie is sleeping. So you gotta be careful, Rosie is gonna wake up in the moment of where she's gonna hear any goofy noises coming from you both. Well okay 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 Kalo. Fine, we gotta stop being idiots. You happy now? Well Kalo, I think me and Goris needs to take a lot of deep breaths right now. I better not hear any goofy loud noises coming from you both, again. Goris? What are you gonna say to me? I'm not helping you today, Coreys. This is your own fault. Now you gotta find a way, dummy. Well, time for me to find a new way. Um, I have no ways to get my revenge on Boris cause I always run out of ideas. Like seriously, okay. I've almost found a way to team up another person. Hey! I've got it. I think it's time for me to meet Elena, and then I would meet her at the outside park. Oh wait! I should be careful cause Boris is gonna caught me if I left the house without his permission, but whatever anyways, I'm gonna have to find ways to get Elena here at the park. Okay, I'm not gonna waste time because I have to meet Elena as fast as I can. Huh? Is that Goris again or no? Um, Coris? Are you planning to go somewhere so you can have plenty of time, or just stay home and do nothing? Nothing Goris. I'm not gonna trash the house again. Instead, I will just go outside to meet Elena, or I can say Dora's mom at the park. Um, Coris? Didn't you remember? You don't know who's Elena? Right? I think you should find a way, I'm not gonna help you, just do it for yourself. But anyways, time for me to do something, right now, ugh. Oh come the hell on. Why does Goris have to be so ignorant today? Wow. That proves he is sensitive and doesn't want to help me to find a perfect idea. You know what? I'm going to Boris's room and see if he has contacted Elena before. And I do not want Boris to come to his room and see what was I up to, cause I know that he's gonna kick me out of his crappy room again. Heck, stupid Boris. Okay, where the hell did Boris's phone go? I swear to god that Goris is pissing me off.
Okay, finally, there it is. I probably knew that Boris has left his phone on his bedroom. All right, I gotta find Eleanor right now, and I'm gonna secretly call her right now, hopefully, Boris won't know that I was calling her on his phone. Ah yes. This is Eleanor. I think Boris was used to contact her in a stupid way. Anyways, time for me to contact her as fast as I can. Perfect. It's time to wait until she responds. God damn it, not this crap again. I really don't want to deal with Cole anymore. I'll just go outside and... Hello there. Who is this, and who's calling me for? Hello Elena. You know that Boris used to call you, right? Yes. He used to, but he decided not to cause he wanted to stop being such a fool and like me. But anyways, I just wanted to know who you, and your voice sounds different. As you never heard of me due to my different voice, my name is Corys. You know that I like to cause mayhem and chaos, right? Nice. I like to cause chaos as well. Anyways, would you like to meet me at the park, so we can find a way to do something great? But sadly, this useless jerk named Boris decided to betray you and now is trusting Doris. How pathetic. I know. That prick is nothing but a freaking useless jerk. Boris is gonna pay the price for it. But anyways, thanks for calling me today. Anyways, bye. I'll see you at the park. No problem. Anyways, time for me to go. See you later. Time for me to go outside at the park and wait until Karis is here. Oh freaking crap heck no. I have to meet Elena at the park as fast as I can. But whatever, I'm gonna walk outside and meet Elena at the- Whoa, what the heck Boris? How on earth did you get here so fast? I mean, I didn't hear your footsteps. And can't you please clean up the toilet in the bathroom? And can you please leave those dirty clothes in the bathroom as well? First of all Chorus, that is the dumbest and stupidest question I ever heard. And second of all, what are you doing here in my room for? All I do is doing nothing here, so, I wasn't trying to make up excuses, okay? Please, I'm doing alright, nothing wrong in this room. I don't know what to say, but please leave, cause I'm doing something here. Alright fine, do whatever you want in this room, but I'm expecting you to destroy your own room. I doubt that, but I'm not gonna destroy it, piece of trash. I don't give a crap if Boris literally kicked me out of his room, I'm just gonna go outside at the park so I can meet Elena this time. Alright, I know where the park was, time to go to the correct route. Hold the heck on, looks like someone forgot to close the front door, maybe it's Chris. And I had a feeling that Karis is gonna do something awful to this house. Ugh, where the hell did Karis go? I wonder why is he taking so long to arrive at the park where there is a basketball court. I'm just gonna sit right here and wait until Karis arrives. God dang it, I took way too much run. Ugh, I'm so tired right now, seriously though. Now where is Elena? I know I'm at the park, but I'll check. Elena, is that you? You know that I called you today on the phone due to my different voice, right? Why hello there. Chorus, at least that you are way better than this idiotic rat named Boris. Anyways, would you like to take a seat? Or look good? Actually, no. I'm good, and I'm fine. Okay then, it's up to you. But anyways, do you have any ideas we are going to do? I bet Boris is acting stupid and crazy these days. Great question. The only way for us to do, is to steal the bus from the bus stations, and then we could crash it to my house. Ah yes. 
such a great idea. But anyways, where is the bus near the basketball court? I don't I see it. I think the buses are located at each bus stations. However, if the driver doesn't let anyone take over his spot, then we will go inside and see. That plan was a good plan, and plus, if the bus driver pull over to the bus station, then it's a chance for the two of us to take over. Of course, we will kick the driver out of the bus, and then we can take over the bus so we can crash it into my house. But one more thing before we can go to the bus station, where the buses go? I think the bus schedule was cancelled by some of the buses. Oh my god Elena. Are you kidding me or what? Looks like you don't know these buses can drive each daily. Big ouch. Ugh. Oh, right. I forgot. Dang. But anyways, hey. There is the bus station right there. Let's get there. Where? I don't see any bus stations around here somewhere. Okay, you know what? Alright, follow me. I know where is the bus station located. Alright, time to follow Garris right now. Alright, Elena. We are going to wait here until the bus arrives. I cannot wait. Yeah. After we got in, you should kick the driver out of the bus, and then we can take over it before he called the cops on the two of us. Exactly. This is going to be more fun driving faster after we kick the bus driver off the bus. Oh, hold on a second. It's coming now. Hopefully, we can kick the bus driver out. Lucky for the both of us. It's a chance for us to take over the bus. Yes. We will crash the bus right into my house, and cause so much destruction at my home. Hey you stupid crappy bus driver. I need you to get off the bus immediately, because we are gonna crash the bus into some place that we want to, so get off, now you dummy. What? You're not supposed to force the bus driver like me to get off? I can drive, and other bus drivers can drive the bus, because it's their work time, not yours, dummy. Cut it out dummy. Right now you doofus. <laughs> Nobody gives a crap if you're saying it. Do us a favor and let us kick you out of the bus right now. Okay, I'm gonna say this to you, man. If you try to kick me out of the bus by fighting me until I give up, then you are kicked out of the bus, so you can either sit in quiet, or I. Okay that's it, you asked for it, dummy. Wait wait, just get out, I don't wanna deal- Mind with your it. own business and let me kick you out of the bus you fool. Um, the heck, what the heck is going on at the bus? Ruffy. I better get out of this place and find another bus station to wait. And you are definitely not coming back to this bus because you are no longer driving this stupid bus. We will take over it, and this is the end. Now bye you stupid fool. Oh, my god. You freaking kidding me right now? These idiots these days. Those two brats just kicked me out of the bus and then they stole it. Well, I'm mad because... Oh my god, are you serious right now? Oh, 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 are these two bastards out of their mind right now? They decide to become jerks by kicking me out of the bus and then steal it so they can drive away from me. Stupid brats again. That's it. Time for me to call the police on them so they can get arrested and face consequences permanently. I gotta get the police cars chase after them immediately because I do not have much time. Ah, it was a little bit quiet, let me guess. But anyways, time for me to drive back to the police department, and... Hello there. This is a police officer here, who is this, and what can I help you today? 
sir, I have serious news. Well, these two fools decide to kick me out of the bus, and then they steal the bus while taking over, and then they drove away from me. Oh, looks like some two people just stole the bus while you're driving. Right? Yes, after I pull over to the bus station. Could you please call the police cars and told them that those two brats just did this, and I think they are droving away. Yes. Anyways, thank you for calling us about the issues. We will deal with these two brats. Anyways, have a nice day, and tell your boss about it. Police cops, please, I need your attention. Someone called me today, and they said that the two people stole the bus driver's bus by kicking the driver out, and then, they drove them away, so please, if you saw them, chase after them, and then tell them to pull over so they will be facing penalties. Alright, time for me to chase them. Ha 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 ha. Looks like the bus driver just give up. And we have take over the bus so we can crash the bus into my house. And we won't deal with that crappy bus driver anymore. Ha ha. Huh? What was that sound? I've heard there was a police siren coming. And I don't know if it's chasing us down. Okay, Karis. I'll just go and have a look for it. Now when was the last time the police cars chased Oh my freaking god, no. Chorus, I checked it, and it turns out the police cars are chasing us. We got to drive as faster as possible. Wait, was it true or not? Yes, there are police cars chasing after us. It seems that we have caught them. Alright, boys. Let's chase them down immediately. Hey! Whoever is inside the bus who stole the bus driver's bus, pull over now, we will examine the stolen bus that you stole. Pull over already. Aw oh, come on. Not this again. Great, I guess we have to face challenges from the police cars. Do not worry Karis, I think the only way to stop them is... Unfortunately, we don't have any items to stop the police cars from chasing us, so the only solution is, drive more faster until the police cars give up. Oh come on Karis. This is not the right that we have to waste time. How about we can crash your house? Oh yes. Looks like you give me the right idea Elena. I know. How about I can drive faster and then we can crash it right into my house. Wait, really? Alright, thank you Karis. At least that I told you what to do. Yep, yeah, now silent. Because I have to do this for you. Okay Karis. Time to drive way more far away from the police cars. Guys, look. They are driving themselves more far away from us. We gotta stop them immediately. Alright then, we will try to arrest them as fast as we can. Hey Karis, I have a question. Are you almost there? I was wondering if you can make it to your house. Almost there, Elena. I am making the time much faster, and no worries, I probably think the police cars is still trying to track our footsteps. Wait. What was that in the distance? Hey Elena. I think we are going to crash the bus into my house. Could you help me by holding the bus steering? Ha 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 ha. Time for the two of us to crash it. This will be much fun now. Okay, Elena. Get ready to crash my own house with the bus that I have told. This is why we are going to piss Boris off. Yes, I am ready. The two of us are getting ready. Hopefully, Boris will be shocked if he sees us crashing my own house. Ugh. Doris should have told me to cook something for dinner, but it looks like she said we've run out of foods and supplies, how stupid. I think it's time for me to call Doris and tell her about the supplies that we need, and plus, she would help me, but no, I guess I have to. What the hell was that? What was that sound? I've heard a huge big crash coming from the living room. Uh-oh, I have to check to see what happened here. And another uh-oh, Doris is gonna be pissed off. 
And I'm also gonna be pissed if there's a huge crash in our living room. What the actual hell is this? My house. My house got crashed and destroyed completely. Are you kidding me right now? My house is destroyed by that freaking bus. Now, now I'm gonna pay too much bills and whoever crashed the bus into my house, please, get out, and I know who you are. You're in serious trouble. Why do I have to make a loud volume? This is pissing me off right now. I said, get out of the bus right now, and I will know who you are, and I will seriously call the cops on you. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Just ouch. I think it's a best choice to crash the bus into my house. But anyways, I need to stand up right away. Wow, that was the best idea that someone ever made. Such a lot of broken things that needs to be repaired. Hey guys. I got out of the bus, and it turns out, it worked. Well Elena, thanks. That was the best thing we ever did. Like, holy cow, my house got destroyed and crashed, lol. So Elena, what should we do after that? I think it's time for us to leave before something happens to the duo. What the actual hell? Boris? How on earth did you get here? Um, 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 Boris. Uh-oh, I think we got caught, and Boris, can me and Elena at least give you a pile of dirt and mud? First of all Chorus and Elena, you both didn't give me those crappy things, and, second of all, Explain this right now, Chorus and Elena, what is the meaning of this? How on earth did my house got destroyed and crashed? Okay, we have to say this. But we decide to go to the bus station, then we waited until the bus driver pull over the bus at the bus station, and suddenly... We kicked the bus driver out of the bus, and then we stole it by taking over it, and there are a few of the police cars chasing us, so Karis has to drive much faster as he can. Until then, we saw your house at the distance, so me and Karis have to crash it into your home to see how do you like it or not. And the bus got crashed, and then we suddenly have to get out of the way. And that's the end of the store we have tell you Corys. Please, don't get mad, I want you to eat dirt. Have you lost your minds right now? Oh, 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 oh,
X D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D. Holy crap! That raging sound coming from Boris won't make me stop laughing. My gosh, my mind just worked out finally. Oh my god! Ouch! Ouch! I think I have to calm down with my laugh. Shoot! My god, how funny this video that I made. Okay, I think I need to upload this on the internet, so everyone will react on how Boris acts when they see this crappy video. A uh, hello? Goris? Please tell me why are you calling me for? Hi Coris. I was wondering if you can help me to get inside in my house? Because I accidentally locked the front door of the house outside, I made an oops. Oh come on Goris. Why? Just why? Like are you kidding me? Seriously, I have to waste my time, now I have to get you inside. Okay, before you need to help me by opening the front door for me, here, let me give you the idea of what we are gonna do today. Now don't get carried away, alright? Alright fine Goris you freaking piece of trash. Just give me something good, not the useless ones like fighting each other, ugh, stupidest idea I ever heard. Okay but what I'm gonna say instead of fighting in our house, we would go to the neighbor's backyard, and then we can mess around with it, only if we have secret items to use. Aha. Uh -huh. Ivy should have realized that you come up a perfect and exact idea. At least that you're helping me today, and I thought that you aren't cause you were stupid to help me, but the bad news is, we can't go access to the neighbor's backyard. So how can we supposed to get there if there is no fence door opened? Well, the only way to get there, is we can knock the neighbor's front door, and tell them if we could go to their backyard, maybe they can let us go there so we can mess around in their backyards. Uh, no no no, no no, Goris. That's not what I meant. Um, I don't think the neighbors can let us go there if we told them to let us go to their backyard. Huh. Okay, it looks like that idea didn't go well, although I was almost right when I said we should go to their backyards to mess around, can you help me on where we should put something that can take us to their backyard? I know exactly a perfect plan. I could bring a box to Ursidar our house from the basement, and then we can climb up and reach it. How about that, Goris? Hey! That's a good one Coris. Anyways, I don't know what I'm gonna say before I finish the conversation call. Please do it quick, I don't want to waste my time on sitting in the grass. Okay? Okay, alright Goris, I will be outside at the front house. See you later, and take care. Alright, time for me to go downstairs to the useless basement. I can't wait until Coris is here. At least Coris did a realistic idea for me. Hold on, where the heck is the box? It seems that I don't see it, how stupid and useless. I may have to search it, cause I don't know where is the box. Come on, where the hell is the box? Stupid basement, nobody even went to the basement. Alright, there's got to be somewhere for me to find a way to get to the neighbor's backyard so me and Goris can mess everything up. Back. Not those, it's just books, and my family have read those back in a while, like I need something to climb up the fence. Nope, I don't think so, it's just with tissue boxes, clean hand sanitizers, and just Windex cleaning spray. Next, I'm thinking that I should just, um, aha. It looks like there it is. Now I can help Goris out. Perfect. I'm going to bring this outside in front of my house so me and Goris can get started. And once me and Goris finally got there, me and Goris are going to figure out where we can get inside the neighbor's house. Ugh, I better get to sleep. I'm gonna wake up when Doris comes back from work. Seriously, I really need to talk to her about something. Okay. I better watch out because I'm not gonna follow Boris's footsteps. Ugh, what the heck is taking Cory so long? 
Seriously? What the hell is he up to? Like why is he taking so long to get here? Huh? Goris? Where are you? Huh. It looks like Goris isn't here around. Oh well, time for me to put the thing right next to the fence so I can climb in. Alright, now time to close and shut the front door before someone trespasses my house. What the hell Goris? I thought you're right near the fences? Like, I didn't see you when I opened the front door for you. Oh, like I need to be more careful on looking anywhere. Wait, what? Coris? Are you, are you kidding me right? Oh come on Coris you doofus. Why do you have to goof off like that? Imagine if you have to waste time while we are playing hide and seek, how delusional you are, literally. Ack. Really Goris? Haven't you enough fighting and arguing with me 24 over 7? We should work as a team, not being stupid freaking bastards who likes to act stupid. Coris? Are you wasting our time huh? Why do you have to act like a freaking degenerate when it comes to me trying to help you? Huh? You're constantly being such a scum every time, just like I always so scummy crap. Come on, stop acting like this Coris. I'm always tired every single time, stupid. Goris, shut. I'm not trying to act degenerate. Please shut the heck up and let me solve the problem you freaking idiotic man -child. Enough of that, Coris. You're making another excuse out of me. So please, stop it right now 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 Coris. Oh Goris. I'm not being stupid. You're the main reason why we both are having the worst time in our lives. So quit denying it, piece of trash Goris. Please shut up right now Coris. Stop messing with me right now, I'm tired of it. Well Goris, I think we are tired, ouch. Sorry, I think we got carried away too much. Well yeah, but how about we can go to the neighbor's backyard? We can investigate and check something. Also, look behind you, I just put something so we can climb up right there. Ah yes. That's the one that I really like the most. Anyways, time to get there. Alright, time to get going. Okay, gotta jump carefully. Oh crap. Don't worry Coris, I'm alright, okay? Wow, I've known that neighbor's backyards contains stuff we are going to mess up. So? Coris, is there any stuff in their garage that we are gonna pick something up? Also Goris, have you checked the neighbor's back door of the backyard? I hate to break it to you, but the bad news is, the back door of the backyard of the neighbor is locked. Which means that we can't go inside their home. Ouch, that's very sad. I can't believe that those neighbors just locked the back door of their backyard. Stupid neighbors, they just wanted to be idiots by trying to, uh. Well Coris, I have nothing to say, but we should go to the garage and check. Of course, why not? Sure the neighbors just have tools outside to do during either spring, or summer. Come and follow me Goris. Look, there are tools that we can use just to mess around the neighbor's backyard. I'm coming, Coris. I hope there's something great that we can use. Ack. There is no use for me to mess around. The only way for me to do in this backyard of neighbors, is to... Yeah yeah, what freaking ever, Goris. I don't think the tools we found in the garage useful, what should we do? Ack, Coris. I don't get on why we, we have to go through the ideas we've come up with. You know, I have a perfect plan Goris. We should just mess around the neighbor's backyard by destroying and throwing stuff. Aha. Uh -huh. Coris. I think you got the greatest idea. I should have just think before we can proceed to argue. Tell me about it, Goris. Why do I always getting annoyed when you have to bother me like that? How am I bothering you? 
I don't think I bother you before, but whatever anyways, let's start causing mayhem by messing around the backyard. Or maybe I could do the same thing to this. Now Goris, let's mess around together. Great choice. We are going to do this. Hey Coris. Look. You know what I'm gonna do to the chair, right? You know Coris, you should wipe off your own face. So here, take this. Wait, Goris. You don't understand? Do you? Haha. <laughs> Take that you son of a menace. Nobody needs to believe you. Stupid, but Boris you stupid. Aren't we supposed to mess around a bit? Well yeah, but guess what? I don't care about what you're saying. I'm giving you a taste of medicine. Piece of crap who likes to mop the floors. Wait what? Goris? I don't need you to waste time because... Now now Coris, nobody cares. You better zip your own mouth cause you're getting a karma. Please stop it right now Goris. You are definitely gonna regret it big time. I mean it, the prick. Quiet now you piece of crap. Nobody doesn't care about what you are talking about. Now face it, you weaker. Oh, Goris. I'm gonna get my revenge on you someday, you garbage crap. Ouch ouch. Goris, I think we should get out of here before the neighbors come here. Oh no, honey. I think our backyard is full of mess. Oh crap. Well I think it's time for the two of us to deal with these idiots. Ahem. What are you guys doing? Huh? You two, what are you doing in our backyard? Well, we were asking the same question. It's not your backyard, idiot. It's our backyard, and what are you guys doing here? We don't allow trespassers like you both. We're gonna deal with you both. And we let you off with a crappy warning. And look at the mess. You guys are messing around in our backyard. Alright, time for me to go on a walk, and then I will be back in any hours. Huh? What's going on here right now? Hey man, I just wanna know, what happened? Okay. You now these two guys did something stupid to our backyard, I'll tell you. I better hope that those two brats didn't mess around. Well, they just did. Apparently, these guys are messing around in our backyard, like we didn't add the door fence near our home. And if you can check right near the fence of this house, I think those two guys just made up their own idea. They just bring this stairs thing and place it right here. <laughs> They have climb up the fence so they can try to have access to go to our backyard. And once they got there, they began to mess up in our backyard. Now these two guys and my family just started this crap, and also, is your house right next to my house? Yeah, the one that your house was big, while our house isn't that big. And when you're going outside at the backyard, we saw those two guys messing around, and we got pissed at them. So, we will let those two guys off with a warning. But it happens again, we will definitely ban those two and we will add extra fence so they can't have access to our backyard. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, it's because those two brats always do stupid crap. But anyways, I will keep those two out of control. And you two, we are watching you guys. If you do it again, you know what it means, right? I know what it is. We are not going to have access to go to your backyard after we did it one more time, got it? Correct. Now we are going, and I don't want to see you both messing around in our backyard ever again. Well Goris. It looks like those two neighbors just walked away. I think they are cleaning up their backyard. You think, Goris and Goris, why on earth would you do that to their backyard? Do you realize that the neighbors don't want anyone to trespass their backyard to mess these things up? You two will be grounded, even if you got a warning from them. Because of this, you're both grounded for messing around at the neighbor's backyard. Now don't even think about making excuses again. I'm not gonna waste time. Well, Corys, 
That was a failure. Back. Stupid day, again. I wonder what's something new on this stupid piece of trash video. Now I know that I record the video of myself, but, alright. Hi there everybody. My name is Elena. Or you can call me Mrs. Marquez if you want. Today, I'm gonna embarrass myself by throwing a huge temper tantrum. Wait, what the? Heck? Is Eleanor gonna get embarrassed or what? Why, 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 I am crying like a three year old. I'm nothing but a piece of trash that I'm gonna embarrass myself with. Why, 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 I am a three year old. I'm a three year old. I'm nothing but a piece of garbage who likes to eat dirt and I wanna be a stupid fool. What the actual heck is this? This is one of the most embarrassing video that somebody made. What kind of this embarrassing video is this? I better talk to Elena and tell her why would she made this such an embarrassment. Ha 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 ha. That was so funny and hilarious, I think I've played this on the internet media. <laughs> Hello? Who is this? Hello Elena, I gotta say something about the video that you upload in the internet media. Um, why on earth did you made a video of yourself embarrassing yourself by trying to make yourself look like a bastard who wants to make everybody laugh in the comments, huh? I made it for myself, because I am completely bored, Chorus. Sorry about that, Chorus, I just lost my mind for doing this crap, that's because I'm gonna embarrass myself. And there are a lot of people in the comments are laughing at me for uploading this. I wanna say I'm doing it for fun and it made for entertainment purposes only. Oh so that's why you have to make this worthless video of yourself embarrassing yourself? Okay, but you shouldn't do that, people are gonna laugh. Like come on, ugh, anyways, I gotta do something, but you better delete that embarrassing video of yourself from the internet media, otherwise people are gonna laugh even more, understood? Don't even think about getting yourself into problems or issues, got that? Okay, I got it. Alright, I think I'm gonna hang up the phone right now, so have a nice day Karis. Okay, goodbye. Ugh. Okay. I know that Elena just uploaded this embarrassing video of herself throwing tantrum. Seriously. Why does Elena have to do this to herself? Okay, what you think? HMM, embarrassing stuff. Perfect. After Elena made this embarrassing video out of herself, maybe I should make Boris getting embarrassed by each people. I am going to get Boris embarrassed by many people outside, but I need to find a way to make Boris getting embarrassed. HMM, I would think it's a good idea for me to get Boris hypnotized by getting a gun to hypnotize him. That plan sounds great. Now, time for me to grab the hypnotize gun, and then I will hypnotize Boris. Well, I guess it's time for me to go downstairs to the basement to do the chores. I know mom already washed the clothes. Uh, no. That's just a laser gun. I only use it in case if I has nothing to do or I had a perfect idea to find. Alright, there it is. This is the one that I needed for the embarrassment to Boris. Ha ha. Great. Now all I have to do is to go up to the living room, and I will tell Boris that I will give him that dirty surprise to make him more worse. Ah, uh, yes, finally, peace and quiet. Now, I wonder what's something new on TV. Oh hello Boris you stupid Brett who likes to clean up the toilets and wants to be a janitor, guess what I've wanted to give you. Ack, hell number, I have no choice but to face it, anyway, okay chorus, what do you want from me, I'm tired of this, 
Just leave me alone if you don't have something to say, and also, what are you holding? I bet you're gonna do something horrible to me, huh? Are you? Here, if you don't know, you will see something funny when I make everyone laugh at you and your stupid excuses. Wait, Chorus, you don't understand, do you? I bet you're gonna Oh be like quiet Boris, looks like you better face a lot of embarrassments from the people outside in public. So Boris Anderson the stupid piece of crap, did you get hypnotized by me? I know you already did, cause you're nothing but a garbage loser. Of course yes, I just got hypnotized by you, you did an amazing job to stop me, anyways, what can we do? Well Boris, I have a perfect plan. How about, we can go outside in front of our house, and I will tell people to get here, and make you throw temper tantrum very loudly. Aha, uh -huh. yes, Chorus, I knew that you made the goodest idea, anyways, let's go outside, okay? Okay Boris, come outside, and then I will tell everyone that I will make you embarrass yourself in front of them. It would be more funny. I'm gonna tell everyone that I'm acting like a baby and I'm nothing but a three-year-old scumbag. I wish everyone would upload this embarrassment video out of me. Ha ha. <laughs> Wait, I forgot to close the front door. Hey, hey. Right chorus. Will you tell everyone about how I was embarrassing myself by throwing major tantrum? Of, of course, yeah. Now wait here. I will make people stay here. I just wanted to make things funny. Okay, everybody. Now, just look and listen to this scumbag lol. He is gonna throw a huge tantrum to see how much of an embarrassment this guy is. I'm nothing but a stupid loser. Everyone, I'm acting like a baby. I'm three years old and I like to start crying like a bastard. Wah, 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 wah. Wait, hold on a second, what the heck just happened? Where am I? Outside? Well 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 Mr. Boris Anderson. You know, I just hypnotized you and made you get embarrassed by those people in front of our house. Wait a minute Chorus, have you hypnotized me recently? I know that you made me getting embarrassed. Well Boris, I did. And that's what you get for betraying Eleanor you piece of dirt crap. Now I hope that you don't ground me for getting you embarrassed by those idiots. What the hell Boris? Why? Why would you stop this madness? Like, tell me right now. Are you insane or what? Don't even think about giving me another dirty move. Chorus, you know how much of a waste that you made? Don't you know that I'm getting tired of your dirty nerves, huh? But Corys, I mean, Boris, I was just making a funny thing out of you. Come on, you always act like a douchebag every time. Haha, <laughs> I bet that you're gonna start raging a lot. Cut it out right now, Chorus. 
I'm not gonna hear your bullcrap excuses. Huh, you know what, that is it. I'm getting all nerves all because of you Chorus. You will be grounded, for, few weeks. Cause you hypnotized me to get myself embarrassed by those people. Like are you crazy? <laughs> God yes, such a great day. It's spring, and the snow is gone after winter season is over. Now all I can do is to sit, relax, and enjoy the fresh and breezy air during spring. I wonder if I can get something. Ugh, nothing to do, I am completely bored right now. Unless, I could use my laptop and see what's something new on the internet. A helicopter? You know, it would be a great idea for me to steal the helicopter from the top of the roof. And once I steal it, it's time to go to my house, and then I will crash it very hard. Oh come on, I did not meant to throw my laptop like that, I was just gonna put it right under the desk, but no, how stupid I am. Aw. Oh. But whatever, anyways, time for me to get going. I need to get my house crashed very hard just like Cory's did. <coughs> Hello? Is anybody still out there? Huh, I'm guessing that's a no. Hello Caillou, it's been like a while, anyways, what are you watching on the television? Oh, just a video that I'm watching. A relaxing sky view on the top of the building. Well, do you think that it's kinda boring? I think it's a little boring, so we can just watch some funny shows, now, do you have the remote? Nah, it's fine. Don't worry, I've got some plans for myself to watch. Oh, okay then. Anyways, I've got to do my homework before the deadline ends. Okay, try to finish early before it dues somewhere near Tuesday. Alright, time for me to relax while watching this sky view. Aw, oh, I'm thinking that I should watch another relaxing one. But what to watch? I don't know. Duh. Is somebody running into the living room or what? Duh. I'm guessing that someone is trying to hide so I can't see them hiding. Ouch. Okay, good. Now time for me to leave the house, and then go to the bus station to take me to the building, but however, it is too far away from my house, which is the bad news. Doris, what are you going? I'm starting to think that you're gonna cause enough trouble again, let me guess. Um, no 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 Kalo, I'm not trying to cause trouble okay? Please no, don't tell Boris about it, Boris is such an idiotic piece of crap. Fine, but if I see you doing something awful, I will definitely tell Dad about it. And you will be more furious. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyways. I gotta get going right now. Something's fishy about Doris. I wonder what is he up to. Like is he trying to act like Chris or what? Ah, it was better for me to lie down on the bed. I wonder what is Caillou doing on the television. I'll check him back. This is just not fair. I thought the buses arrive at the home streets. But it seems that some of the bus station schedule were closed. Now all I have to do is to wait until the crappy bus arrives. Stupid bus stations closing very soon. Come on, come on. You stupid bus driver, I'm getting tired of the bus stations getting closed for those useless schedules. Finally. The bus has arrived. Ugh, what is taking this bus driver so long? Ouch ouch, it took a lot of time for me to get to the building rooftop to steal the helicopter, but whatever, I think it's time for me to steal the helicopter from the building roof. 
sir, is there any problems that you like to help? Or you're all right in that case? I'm all right. I think there's no problems in any case. Otherwise, if we saw an intruder trying to sneak into the building, we will definitely kick the intruder out. Okay, Goris, don't worry. You got this, mate. I hope you don't get caught by those goofy workers who are trying to kick the intruders out. Now steady, don't make loud noise, okay? Uh, should we check the workers and see if they are still working their programming businesses? Well, I think I should check, and then you should keep an eye on anyone who is looking forward to work here. Well alright then. Anyways, keep an eye on them, while I do the same. Alright Goris, now the lady is checking with the workers who are working, you have to wait until a man gets up and check. Alright, I'm going to check the front and see if anybody is there to become intruders by sneaking into the building office. Okay Goris, now it's your chance. Excuse me, sir. What are you doing here? Trying to sneak into the building? Huh? How on earth did you get here so fast? Like I didn't notice you before. Well, I don't know, but I think you should just leave the building, because I don't need intruders, or any unauthorized customers to be here in any circumstances. Do you really think that I can just get out? Well, think again you loser, you should eat cement. Excuse me, get back over here already. Also, I don't like eating cement you idiot. You're gonna get kicked out permanently. Where are you, stupid intruder? I found you, now get over here you stupid. God dang it you stupid intruder who likes to sneak into the building. That's it, time for me to tell each worker that there is an intruder inside the building. Ugh, finally. At least that this piece of junk man just give up chasing me. Now that I press the number on the top, I need to go up the ladder, and then steal the helicopter. Now all I have to do, is to wait until the elevator door opens, which it kinda boring for me to wait. Finally, I've reached at the top of the floor. Now time to find the ladder. Excuse me sir. Are you unauthorized of this building? If so, I will tell the boss about it. Oh hell no you stupid bastard you're not the boss of this building you dirty fool. You know, it would be better if the boss could kick you out of this building since you're the intruder. Oh crap, there's a degenerate worker. What the? Hey? Why is there a stupid intruder who was sneaking there while he wasn't authorized? He can't work here as he sneak there. But is somebody running while I'm trying to get my work done? An intruder or what? Attention, there was an intruder with a blue hoodie with yellow edge of a hoodie. So if you see an intruder, chase and catch that intruder, and report it to me so I can solve. There it is, the ladder. I better hope that there's a helicopter up there outside. Phew. Nothing happens. Time to go. Oh yes, there's the helicopter. Now time to get in and get out of here fast. Alright, I gotta get going. Hey you stupid intruder. Get back down there. You are so going to be in more trouble. Get back over here already. That's it. Time to call the cops. I'm ready to crash the helicopter into my house, and make sure that no one is in my house. Now, my family are gonna be more in serious trouble if I come into the house. Now where is my house? I can't find it. Well, it seems that the intruder stole the helicopter from the roof of the top. If you see the helicopter that an intruder steal, call the police, so they can deal the situation. Where did this piece of trash Where did the intruder, intruder go? go? I can't must find go him. The right. Where is the, the intruder? intruder? Where are you right now? I thought the intruder just became ready by stealing the helicopter from the roof 
give me a break. Those useless intruders these days aren't gonna pay. Can somebody contact the police department already? I'm not letting the intruder away. So Caillou, could you tell me why are you in my room for? Never mind Rose, I'll leave your room and I will go to my room. I'm gonna wait until my dad or my mom gets home. Where is my house already? Oh wait, there it is, finally. Now time to crash my house right on the top of it. So Kalu, could you go to shopping for a while so we can buy food supplies, and then we can go home? Yeah, sure, why not? I was thinking of that. I was completely bored, so I would take a yes as an answer. Okay son, we would like to go to shopping, aunt. Whoa what the heck, what on earth was that? A loud crashing sound again? I better hope it's not our house again or else. Unfortunately, Dad, I think the big crash is coming from upstairs. Uh oh. Wait, what? The? Oh no. I hope my room didn't get destroyed by the big crash thing, or else I will be more mad even more. I really hope that my room didn't get crashed, or else I will be more mad and frustrated. Oh no, me and Doris's bedroom were completely destroyed and crashed by the helicopter. No wonder why is there a big crash near upstairs in my room. Oh heck, I hope I don't get arrested or something. Ouch ouch, that really hurts when I crashed right into the top of the house. I get that it was so painful. Doris you idiotic bastard, what have you done to me in Doris's bedroom? But Boris, I can explain. Please, you gotta believe me, okay? No need to. Also, where did you get this helicopter before you crash it right into the top of our house? You better explain it or else I will definitely kick you out of my house or I will call the cops on you. Now, start the explain. Okay okay, alright Boris. I'll tell you. I just sneaked the building while I'm unauthorized, and suddenly, I steal the helicopter to crash right into the top of our house. Also, the boss just announced the workers in there that I was an intruder. Anyways, please don't get mad at me alright? Oh my god Goris, are you serious right now? You're gonna get arrested for that, because you stole the helicopter from the building roof. Now I'm gonna call the cops on you so they can arrest you. But I don't know how long you are going to prison for, but we will see. Aw oh, dang it, here we go again with another arresting moments. Hello? You stupid losers. Please get me out, I can't stand staying in this horrible prison. Can anyone please unlock the jail cell? I can't get out, somehow, ugh. Stupid. Police officers. If you don't bail me out of jail, then I'm gonna smash the jail cell until it broke down. You need to help me right now, you fools. Ugh, I'm getting sick and tired of staying in this awful prison. I need to get out of here so I can be free. But, this is over for me. No windows, no stuff to get out, and no nothing for me to escape. I guess I will regret it when I left the world. And the worst part is that, my phone have no battery, which means that there is no plug in any prison rooms. How shameful. Sad luck for me. There is no way I'll escape until someone finds a way for me to get out of here. Well, maybe I could use the cartoon logic to get out, maybe it's a hope. Cartoon logic. Please, let put me so I can get out of the police station. I can't stand staying in this prison cell for up to lifetime. Cartoon logic. Why won't you get it work? You stupid logic that never works on. Useless logic these days didn't work at all. So I have to get the cartoon logic working. Oh, uh, excuse me Elena. This logic doesn't work at all since you're inside the prison cell. Also, quiet down. 
There are prisoners who can hear you and your footsteps. You stupid narrator, can't you stop telling me what to do? You're the most fool and the useless actor I've ever seen. Now could you please cool off, or else I will call you stupid. Okay, if you're gonna continue doing this, the some police officers are gonna see what is going on. I'm leaving, now have Hun staying in jail Elena. But you can't just leave. Oh come on. Do I really have to solve this problem myself? Alright screw it. Well, no options for me to escape, great. I guess this is the end of. Oh hold on. What the heck? What the actual heck Karis? Is that you who wanted to help me? Of course Elena, it looks like you need help. At least that I crashed Boris's car right into the prison cell that you're staying. Luckily, I managed to steal Boris's car. Hang on Karis, how on earth did you find me? My phone have run out of battery like it went to 0%. Can you tell me? Karis? Could you tell me about how did you know that I'm in prison for a lifetime? I don't know Elena, I just talked to you on the text message, but it seems that you haven't talked to me. So that's why I have to find you and track you to see where you are, and sadly, I can't drive Boris's car because Boris's car have ran out of gas. Which is shame. Well, haven't you go to the gas station to fill up some more? Looks like you forgot, but, alright. Yeah, but whatever. Anyways, hurry, we gotta get out of here before the police officers caught us. Okay, I'm right on it Garris. Alright Garris, I'm here, now let's get out of this awful place before something happens. Okay Elena, it's lunchtime, so, wait, what the hell? Elena just... Escaped? What the actual hell? Uh, you serious? Right. Now. No 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 no. Elena just escaped her prison room by getting out of here. Like how on earth did someone manage to get her out? Alright that's it. Time to call the officers right now. Chorus, what are we going to do after you help me to escape prison? We could start causing chaos by shooting and bombing the workplace headquarters. We gotta do it so we can kill people. So come on Elena, we gotta do this right now. Thanks Karis, but wait for me okay. Don't make me run late. Hey Karis. There it is. I think there is a workplace headquarters. Chorus, what should we do inside the headquarters? Should we shoot and kill these dirty workers in there? You're right Elena. We could kill each workers inside the headquarters, and then we should run away before the cops caught us right-handed. Elena, we could start causing enough sabotage by killing every workers in the headquarters, and once we killed them, let's get out of here before we got in trouble. And for a second thought, Elena. I accidentally steal those weapons from the useless shop, which is called the weapon store. Oof. Are you kidding me Karis? That's not a right thing to steal, like did you have enough money to buy these weapons? But Elena, I didn't have time to buy something cause I'm too lazy to get money. Now do me a favor and please help me right now, Ack. You know what, Chorus? Fine then, you and I are just gonna start causing sabotage towards the workers in headquarters, got that, man? Thank you so much Elena. I know that we can do this together. Anyways, I'll give you the weapon that I stole from the weapon store. So Elena, we know what we should do, right? Yeah, we are going to shoot and kill many workers inside the headquarters, and then let's get out of here before the police cops found us and arrest us. Ag, what is taking those managers so long? I want to register as a manager and want to work here, but they are not here. How stupid are those guys? Oh, come on, what is taking them? It's like the past 10 minutes, and few of the people are waiting for them to be here, useless managers these days. Stop right there you fool. You three are gonna be sorry for what you did to the two of us. To be honest with you, you three should either leave, or else we will kill you with this dangerous weapon. What the heck? You 
to. What on earth are you doing? You're gonna get arrested if you kill people with this dangerous weapon. You will be shooted by the two of us for what you three did to us. What did we do to you two? We didn't do something awful. What did we do? Like we did nothing horrible. Alright, uh, it's time to get shooted in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wait, you don't even understand. Like you could get in serious trouble if... Wow, Eleanor. Just look at that. Wow. So Chorus, could we shoot the workers by going up to the elevator? Of course. We can shoot those useless workers who are gonna regret it. Wait, hold on. What on earth going on? You're next. You idiotic Wait, brat. What? You could get arrested and face execution. Ha 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 ha. Take that you loser. You filthy rotten coward. Good job, Karis. Now let's go to the elevator, then we can split it up and go to any floor so we can kill those filthy rotten workers. Maybe we can go around, and we can go to the elevator. Sure, hope these rotten workers can go screw themselves. Well, Elena, should we get started quick before we left the headquarters? Sure, yes. Hello? Is this the police department? Well, I need you guys to come over here because there are two certain people who are killing the people and the workers. Just hurry. Okay, Elena. Let's do it, right now. Oh freaking crap, I'm now screwed. Ah yes. Those idiots got killed by the two of us. Now, let's just go to those rooms so we can kill those rotten fools. Haha, ha, another one down. Now let's continue. Good. Now time to kill each fool inside the headquarters. I think we've got a call from a guy who's in the workplace headquarters, and he said that these two people just create sabotage by killing each workers in there. It appears that these two rotten criminals decide to cause sabotage inside the headquarters to kill too many people. We should check them out and see what happened. Stupid idiots who likes to cause sabotage, they are gonna regret it when they will get arrested and face the execution. Okay, Elena. I think we should get out of here before the police cops caught us red-handed. Oh hell no. We are busted and doomed. Uh-oh. I'm thinking we are going to face consequences. Silence. And what caused you two to create some type of sabotage? Now, you better tell us the truth. Not like lying or making up those stupid excuses. Or else we are gonna taser you with this. Now, start explaining the truth right now now. Wait, officers I officers, can tell you. Don't it was blame this me okay? Right because actually she started this you made up the horrible idea that we did. Don't blame me okay? Headquarters. Officers listen right now. This idiotic scum is trying to blame me so please arrest him right now and put him in prison for lifetime. He needs to go screw himself. Okay that's enough you two. You two should at least stop and then one of you should tell the truth about what is going on. Now, start the explaining like I already said. Oh. Okay, okay, fine then. We may have to explain. First off, me and her just went insane by creating sabotage by killing each people and workers in the headquarters, and then once we killed each people in the headquarters, we have to leave the headquarters building before you guys came here to caught us, so yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
So that's all of the explaining stuff that you said. Well, yes, we just explained it all. Please don't arrest us. We are very sorry for causing sabotage to kill those rotten workers. We mean it. Are you gonna fall down into the roof? Well, at least that you tell us the truth, but... You both are arrested for committing unforgivable crimes like causing sabotage to kill people inside the headquarters. Now drop the weapons on the floor right now. Alright, now you two will put your hands right into the handcuffs. You both have to remain silent. Back. Here we go again. Oh come the hell on officers, are you gonna give us execution? Tell well, us. you two will be facing execution when we put you both in prison. Also, the news are going to tell everybody about what you both have done. Now, get in the police car, we are taking you two to the police department for your execution. Well, I guess this is the end of Corey's and Elena. No 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 www.wwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwwww
Like you cause the enough sabotas to the workers in the workplace headquarters along with that bastards come in chorus. Do you realize that it is a very serious crime to kill each people? You two are a bunch of menaces and the generates we have ever seen. Do you know how mad we are right now? You know what? That's it. You go are facing execution, as we heard from the police officers. And we won't bail you out of jail after you caused enough sabotas. We're going. And we are not gonna see your rotten faces ever again. We are leaving. And we won't see you ever again. Goodbye you stupid piece of rotten scumbags. But Boris and Cole, me and Elena are truly sorry for what we did to the workers in the headquarters. Listen, we just want to do something funny. No, what you both did was very cruel. I'm not gonna hear your stupid excuses again. Now we are leaving. Now don't expect us to bail you both out. Well, Darius, I guess we give up. Looks like we are leaving the world tomorrow. Okay, you two. Your execution starts now. Also, the police officer will unlock the jail cell by pressing the switch. Alright you two, you will face execution by falling down into the electrical water, so you can get electrocuted and then you left the world. Now, is there any last words that you two wanted to say before I pull the lever down and then you fall into the electrical water? Well, officer, don't execute me, I'm very sorry for causing sabotage to kill the workers. We have the worst scumbags, please don't execute us, just get us out of here. Well, this is the end of you two. Now time to pull the lever down. Good riddance to these two scumbags. Ouch 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 Ugh, I am finally back due to the stupid useless logic. Ack. What a worst day I had. Now that I am finally back due to the stupid logic, maybe I could find my ways to get Boris the son of a piece of crap in a huge risk. If I was going to get my revenge on Boris, maybe I could make Boris getting embarrassed again, but this time, I would tell everyone in public that Boris is childish like a year old. Maybe this is a perfect idea. I could make everyone in public by making sure that Boris will be a childish baby while I say, Boris is a two-year-old baby. Now, I WLL tell everyone that, um, Boris is a two-year-old brat who likes to act childish by crying too loud like every childish brats do. I bet Boris is crying a lot because I always keep locking him in the basement. <laughs> Act right now. It looks like Boris is not at home, so maybe in the next hours, he can tell us to go on shopping, or I don't know. What a lousy day for me. Anyways, I'll wait until Boris can tell us to go on shopping. Hey yo, uh, Doris, I am back, since that classic Kalu, and Kalu are at their schools, while Rosie is at her own school, could we go on shopping since we don't have enough stuff? Ack, I don't know what is Boris up to? Ugh, I hope he needs to learn his ways. Hello there Corys. Well, we are going on shopping. Okay, but what shopping place can we go? I can't just do nothing in this dirty house. We are going to the public shopping mall to buy products in there. The shopping malls have one of those grocery store. Oh right. The shopping mall has one of those grocery stores. I'm going there to see it. But for a second thought, where is Kalo, classic Kalo, and Rosie? I haven't seen them for a while. Oh, if you are wondering, well, classic Kalo and Kalo are at their schools, while Rosie is at her school as well. So that's why they are at their schools. Ah, I see. And they are on their way to their different classes. But whatever you do while we are at the grocery store, don't even think about messing up in public. 
because I'm getting sick and tired of your stupid behavior, now, will you behave at the grocery store and shopping mall, got that? Act, fine then. I'll just behave at the grocery store, not just become stupid by trying to mess up in public. Good, now let's get going. Quiz, close the front door when you are ready to be good at the grocery store. Well, can't they expect me to be good at the public store in the shopping mall? I doubt it. Heck, I'm so bored right now. I think there is nothing for me to do in this boring car, I could use the air horn to make loud sounds. Goodness sake, at least it wasn't bad for me to use the air horn. Excuse me, Corys? You don't ever use the air horn very loudly. Boris is just trying to drive the car. Yeah, I'm trying to concentrate. Now, Corys, please, shush, already. Gosh dang it, you stupid piece of crap. Heck, fine then. I will not do that because it will make you both getting distracted. Good. Now do me a favor and please keep the volume down already. Ack. Whatever, you stupid. Finally. Ack. Ack. Ah, Doris, may I please drive the car so I can crash every vehicle? Nope, Quays. Not another stupid idea. There is a grocery store right near the action store, now, let's just, oh, go there, and check, I've never seen this place before. Okay Chorus and Doris, I don't know where is the shopping cart. Seriously Boris? There are shopping carts right near the entrance, gosh dang it are you stupid or what? but I'll get it for you. Ah, I can't find these new products. Probably the new products is from the other shelf that I never bought. All right, now that I'm at the grocery store at the shopping mall. I think it's time for me to get Boris embarrassed by telling everyone that Boris likes to act childish. Hey, you stupid garbage who likes to eat dirty stuff from the garbage bin. Right. Looks like Corey's is at it again. I'm guessing he wants another revenge, huh? Oh, uh, Chorus, what do you need for? Boris. You know what I am going to do to you when I'm tired of you always grounding me and punishing me like a disgrace. Well, uh, I'm going to make you embarrassed, because I'm tired of dealing with you anyway. What the, Chorus? Are you kidding me right now? That's because I'm tired of you. Now, you know, it would be better if I should tell everyone that you are acting childish today. No, 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 no. Chorus, you idiot. Everybody is gonna make us look terrible if you tell everyone like that. Plus, there is no need to embarrass Boris. Now do us a favor and please stop fooling, you're the one that makes up too much crap. To be honest, why does Boris and Doris have to be so stupid for not letting me embarrass Boris at the shopping mall? Hey Doris, mind if you should look at the shopping cart? I'm looking for the new products from the other shelf section. Of course Boris, I can look out. Alright. Now it's time for me to start making everyone laughing at that piece of crap called Boris. Oh, uh, no, not the cleaning shelf section. I already have those cleaning tools, um, not this one. Oh, uh, let's see here. Hey everyone. Look. Look at this embarrassing guy, who is wearing a green hoodie with red lines. He is childish and he likes to act like a baby a lot ha 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 ha. <laughs> now 
everyone. Please laugh at this embarrassing man child who's wearing a green hoodie. He's childish as he's a two year old baby who likes to watch baby shows a lot. Ha 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 ha. Wait, what the actual heck? <laughs> I think something went awful. I'd better check and see what on earth is going on. Um, uh-oh. I'm starting to think that it will cause serious issues at the store. Oh my god, ha 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 lo 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 x d d d d d d d d d d d d My gosh, bonus, that's what you get. H a ha 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 Corey's you freaking bastard. Are you out of your mind right now? I cannot believe that you caused us to leave the place. What kind of degenerate are you? Seriously, I'm sick of this. Yeah, do you realize that I have a lot of problems all because of your dirty behavior? I seriously have had enough of you, Chorus. Chris, you will be so grounded for this when we get home. We already left the grocery store at the shopping mall all because of your dirty behavior. But Boris and Doris, you useless brats. That was your idea, and you made me tell everyone at the store to laugh and make fun of you while I was thinking that you're a two-year-old. Quiz, don't even think about putting the blame on us. It was your own idea, idiot. Now we are going home. Ah crap, looks like I'm going to be so grounded big time. No, 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 no. Quiz, you are grounded. You're grounded, 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 grounded for three weeks. Now get upstairs to your room already. Scram. Screw it. I'm going upstairs to my room, you piece of crap. What a nice day at the neighbor's street house. It doesn't have any trouble in there, which it's okay, but however. What a clumsy day, and I wonder what can I do in this dirty house. Means that it's almost summer. Uh, wait, hold on. What on earth is this? What on earth? How on earth did my room got into a huge mess? Aw oh, shoot, looks like I've made a huge mess. I guess I gotta clean it up myself. Corys, you piece of crap. What is all of the trashy and junk stuff all over in your room? Are you messing around? What? I was literally throwing and trashing papers and other type of notes. And then I came back to sleep so I have to lay down for 20 minutes, and I suddenly woke up and checked. Do me a favor and please clean it up already. I'm not gonna do it for you, you have to do it for yourself. Also, I'm going out on a picnic with Doris, so yeah, don't do something stupid in this house, or else you're gonna pay. Got that? Heck, why does Boris have to be stupid for so metting? Does he realize that messing around the house is a good idea? To be honest, why should I clean up my dirty room even if I keep playing around those junky papers? Maybe I'll go to Boris's room and see what can I do with his room. I might gonna take a look at Boris's stupid drawer under the table. Hey Boris. I'm happy that you and I get to go on a picnic. And what have you got inside the picnic box? I know honey, and others I have packed was lunch sandwich, some plastic fruits, etc. Thank you Boris. 
I was very appreciative of you for helping me to pack those foods to go on a picnic. Yeah, let's take a sip of an orange tea juice, and let's eat our picnic food. Ha 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 ha. Looks like it's time for me to buy something very expensive once I steal Boris's credit card. I think I would buy an expensive motorcycle. Yikes. They cost way too much. Looks like the average of the cost goes up, I think. It would be a perfect chance for me to make Boris being homeless by literally using up his credit card. So it tells me to fill in the blank spot so I can get the motorcycle for a lot of thousand dollars. It would be much better if Boris didn't notice that I was literally stealing his credit card to purchase the expensive motorcycle. Now time to fill Boris's name. There we go. Now all I have to do, is to submit, then close the tab, and wait until the delivery just arrived at my house and give the motorcycle package to me. There we go. It's now approved. Now I have to close it, and wait. <laughs> Holy crap. That was so funny. Boris was just being stupid by going out on a picnic, he should have just bring his credit card, not leaving his own credit card like that. MMMM, MMMM, such a tasty lunch sandwich. Ack, it's like 5 minutes, and the deliverer have not yet arrived at my house? How stupid and lame. Literally, it's the best for the driver to be here on time, not just acting lazy. Ah yes. Someone's at the door. Let's check and see who is it. Ah yes. There's the package. I think it's either a motorcycle that I submit, and I should thank a deliver. Huh? Where on earth did the deliver do? I'm guessing the deliver just ding dong but then left early. I'm thinking the deliver was going faster with lots of delivers that people purchases. Whatever, I'll just, uh, open the motorcycle package. Ah yes. Now that I finally set up for the motorcycle, it's time to test the motorcycle out. Time to get started driving the motorcycle in some streets. Hello there. Who is this? Hey Doris, I know that you had a day off at Oak, but hey, could you be here on tomorrow? Because two of the staff employees are on the vacation. Oh wait, so you're telling me that they had a vacation? Hey Boris, I got a call from the worker at the restaurant, and she told me that I have to go to work tomorrow because two of the staffs are going to vacation. Alright, I see. Now, can we walk all the way home with our picnic bag? Yes, why not? Let's pack out stuff and let's go. Ah yes. Such a high speed right here. I'm super glad that I got a motorcycle here. It's a good thing that I waste up Boris's money from his credit card. And by the way, after I stole Boris's credit card to buy the motorcycle, it's time to crash it right into my house, just like how I crashed the stupid bus right on the target. So Henny, after we get home, could we have a chance to clean up the house area since it's almost like summer now? Sure, why not? We can just clean up the areas once we get home. Hold on tight, trying to find my house. Hey! Look what I saw in the distance. Now, it's time for revenge. Oh yes, I'm trying to win, I'm trying to win right now, now, now.
wait, what the actual hell is going on? It looks like a crash. Hang on, I gotta check and see what was happening. Me too at the picnic. Of course yes. We already ate our tasty meals that we already bought, but in our picnic bag, it's empty. At least that you're having a good time at the picnic. Correct, sir. We just went to the park to eat, and that's why we enjoy and relax while we eat our picnic meals. Thanks. And what else can you go? We are just going home so we can just clean up the areas in our house. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Well, it was nice to meet you too. I haven't seen you too when I bought a new house. Yeah, we are going home right now, so have a good day. You too, and stay safe. Okay, Doris, let's head home quick before the weather goes bad. Ouch, ouch. That really hurt so bad. I think I literally crashed the motorcycle into this house. What the actual hell? Our front door is crashed and destroyed. What could possibly happen if someone just... Wait, hold on. Is that a motorcycle? Hey, something suspicious right here. I gotta have a talk about it. Chris, you son of a brat. Why is there a motorcycle right here? Kalo, what are you talking about? I said, why the heck is there a motorcycle right here when it crashed right into the front house? So Chris, have you stole the motorcycle from the place that took too far away? No 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 Kalo, don't even think trying. I did not steal the motorcycle, well, I just purchased it with my credit card. Okay, and have you checked your bank account and see how much money do you have? Well uh, I have no idea what to say. But I just used my credit card to What on earth just happened to our front door? It's destroyed And how on earth there was a motorcycle crash right into our front door? Well to be honest, Boris, that motorcycle belongs to you, I think Excuse me Corys? Do you think that this expensive motorcycle belongs to mine? Well it's not, because I never drive a motorcycle in my entire life Yeah Corys, when was the last time Boris bought the motorcycle? Have you paid that much money? Well uh, all I did, is to crash the motorcycle right into the front door, not just destroying something. Hang on a second, I better check my account and see if my bank account have the motorcycle purchase. Well Corys, I really hope that you didn't meant to steal his credit card to use up his bank account. Well, Doris, I was saying that already, and plus, I did not use up my cash, just the credit card that I was using. We already know that Chris, you do not have to tell us too much. No 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 no. My bank account. Looks like somebody just went to my bank account to use up the money to purchase the freaking expensive motorcycle. Well Corys, looks like you're gonna have to face serious problems right now. Corys. I seriously should have known that you stole my credit card to use up the expensive motorcycle. I know that I'm not happy after all. How? Are you kidding me boys? Are you extremely stupid or what? I'm not stupid. I seriously can't believe that you stole my credit card to purchase the motorcycle. You know, it would be better if you can just get out of the house already. You're extremely grounded for the rest of the summer, and we don't want you in the house ever again. Now go, already. But Boris, can I just pack all of my stuff? No need. Just go. We seriously have had enough. I really hate Boris a lot. I wish that I want my huge revenge, next time. <sighs> Ugh, what a lousy day, and right now. I better have to get up so I can get started. Hey Chorus, just to let you know that. Whoa, what the actual hell is this huge mess? Excuse me Chorus. What is the meaning of this? Why is there a mess all over in your room? Well it's because I've had those junky papers that look very old. And those junk papers look like a scrap. You better clean your room already, and, put all of the scrap paper books right into the recycle bin you junky fool. Now Chorus, I'll be going for a bit, and I want your room to be tidy, and clean. And don't trash everything or else it's punishment time. Why should I clean it up all by myself? Is Boris being lazy or is he so tired? Finally, now I can just head out for a little bit since I just got a day off from my workplace. 
And finally, what a nice and fresh air the weather had. Why do I have to clean it all up? Ugh, there's no way that I have to clean up because I'm a lazy man. Oh crap, I need to close the door so Boris wouldn't notice that I didn't clean up my room. I'm just gonna have to go out something, to the snack store. Oh wait. Maybe I should go to the snack store to buy more snacks like chips, or other snacks I want. Oh crap, I'd forget that if I bought too much snacks from the snack store, then the store would be closed down so they can find another way to buy the snacks from the market. But even if I bought a lot of snacks, the manager or employee doesn't care, they let them pay. Oh give me a break Corys, I just woke up a bit when I heard that you're planning to do stupid in this house. Well Gores, sorry if I have to disturb you, it's because I just want to trash everything in our house. Do you understand that I was planning to trash something? Oh so you want to trash everything in the house? Sounds like a cool idea. Okay, Goris, would you like to help me by telling me where is the snack store? I hate to say this Goris, but I can't. Every time we try to find cool ideas, we always run out, so no, you'll have to do it for yourself. To be honest Goris, it's better for me to take a break so I can just write the essay about the scrap news. But Goris, are you okay? Are you just gonna help me write? Sorry Corys, but I'm writing the essay about the scrap news. Oh come on, why do I have to do this all by myself? Ah yeah, such a breezy and nice air, aunt. There is no one here playing the playground, it's completely empty here, I better keep going. Oh come on, where is Boris's stupid car keys, he must be hiding his car keys so I can't do something stupid. I guess it's time for me to head out to the snack store, ugh. Hello Mr. Anderson, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, sir. Also Mr. Anderson, I just saw you at the restaurant called All You Can Eat. And it tastes yummy, and it's way much better than the other fast food restaurants. Yep, I've recognized you when you were at work. What place are you working at? Oh, I worked at my place, where me and my boss are planning to work the essay to build up the programming stuff. Oh so that's the workplace that you worked, sounds cool. But do you have other jobs to do rather than working at your workplace? Well to be honest, I don't have other jobs since I always work at the place to earn money. And what about your wife? Does your wife work as well? Yes. She is currently worked at the place called the Afternoon Restaurant. Wow, your wife was so good at it. Are you professional at cooking? Maybe yes, I bet. Well it was a nice day to meet you at the park. Mr. Anderson, thanks for meeting me since we never seen each other for a while. You too, that was a great pleasure. Hello sir, how's the summer doing? Meh, not very much since I don't have plans to do on summer. I have a question to ask, are you at school? Or are you finished school? Of course yeah, I graduate high school, and I'm finished my college. Now that you're done doing the college, and the school, is there a job that you're working at? Yes, I'm currently work at the pizza restaurant, but I've worked there for the past 8 years in my lifetime. Yum. Pizza is my favorite since I like eating those kind of food. But I may have to retire working at the pizza, and I would probably find a different job like working at the grocery market. Oh. You want to retire working at the pizza restaurant? Yes, that's in my case. Once I retired working at the pizza, I will be heading off to the grocery market for a new job. Oh, I understand. But anyways, that was a nice day to meet you sir. You too. And when are you gonna get off the bus? To go to the snack shack store to buy snacks for myself since I ran out of them. Okay, but please buy something healthier. And don't eat too much junk stuff. Okay, got it. Well, I've put a lot of effort in my writing essay about history, but I better read it all. Okay, so, I've wrote from the start, all the way to the end. Dang, I'm at in some new shops near the house streets, and the shops are new and renovated. I'll go to this door and see what's inside. 
Hello there and good afternoon. Hey there sir, are you going to buy something? Yes, but I'll have to take my time so I can purchase it. Okay sir, got it. Perfect. This is what I wanted to buy, but the employee wouldn't care if I bought too much of these junk snacks, he's still gonna earn more money, and he might gonna go to the storage to get more of these snacks. Well whatever, I think it's time for me to, oh wait, I don't have enough space to grab with my hands. I better find a plastic bag for myself. Wait hang on, are those plastic bags right here? K. I will have to use the plastic bags to purchase these items. Okay, I better get going right now cause I have no time. Maybe I'll have to start making things go faster. Okay, after Cory's grab a lot of junk snacks. Even if I paid a lot of junk snacks, then the employee wouldn't care about it. But my bag is full with a lot of junk crap. Sir, it seems that you have a lot of stuff in the plastic bag. I may have to check all of the prices to see how much can you pay that much. All right then, just take your time. Okay sir, the total amount of that price is about $49.55. Not bad for that price, though. Anyways, I'll pay it with cash. Never mind, I got it. Here's the $49.55. Okay, thanks for the amount of money. Alright, here's the amount of stuff that you purchased. And have a good day, but don't eat too much of those. Thanks, and I got it. Dang, just look at the products that some guy just purchased. Looks like mainly junk snacks were purchased by some guy who wants to throw a party. Anyways, I think it's time for me to grab the box from the storage to put the products here. There we go, it's a good thing that I didn't get in trouble. Well the employee didn't care, he didn't get me in serious trouble, but I have to ride on the bus again, and head to my home, what a lousy walk. Ugh finally, I'm back at my house after taking the bus. Ah yes, maybe I can throw some trashy stuff all over the kitchen before I can eat my junk snacks. I'm starving right now, maybe I'll finish it up trashing the entire house. I better head off to the living room to eat something. Alright, time to start watching some funny television like MR Bean Cartoon. Let's see if Mr. Bean Cartoons are new today. Later, after Cory's eats few of the junk snacks. MMMM, I do like trashing entire place like that. Ah yes, I did took a walk outside, what a good day, but summer season is going to be over because Kalu has to go back to school. That's why I always enjoy watching Mr. Bean cartoon a lot. The hell, what's with all of the mess? Okay. I bet Chorus was behind all of this nonsense crap. Bruh Boris, what the hell are you? Really Boris? Why on earth did you turn off the TV for? Well Chorus, can you explain this on the floor, right now? Look down the floor and see it for yourself, explain why is there a lot of messy stuff? 
Well technically, I bought a lot of junky snacks from the snack store, and the cost of total is $49.55. Wow Chorus, do you really have to eat up too much? It's too unhealthy, and you should know it. Now I'm gonna go upstairs and see if your room is cleaned or not. Ah crap, now Boris is gonna be pissed off even more. Well what the actual hell, did Chorus just? Chorus, get upstairs right now, looks like you're done a lot of trash crap. Ah crap, now I'm really screwed as Boris finds out. Could you explain it to me right now? Just look and see why is this place in our house so trashy. You better tell me the truth. I do not want you to fool me around cause I knew that you're behind of this. Okay okay, I hate to say this, but yes, I have trashed the entire place, especially your room cause you are mentally stupid, including the kitchen as well. There Boris, you happy now? I already said that I trash the entire house after I go out to buy junky snacks. Chorus, what the heck? You just got a nerve to go out to buy junk foods, and then you trash everywhere, especially when you throw those junk stuff after you ate it all. You want me to clean up the entire house after you trash the house again? What kind of a lazy and trashy person are you? I'm getting sick and tired of you always trashing the house and wanting me to clean the hell up like when I was in the bathroom cleaning up the dirty spots. All right fine Boris, I'll clean up the entire house already. You happy? Good. Now just for that, you're officially grounded for the next three weeks for trashing the entire house. Now if you excuse me, I'll check your room and see if your room is cleaned or not. Ah crap, looks like I'm even more screwed, right? My gosh, what's with all of the trash crap? But whatever, anyways. What the actual hell? You know, I'm getting sick and tired of this. I really want to move out so I can move to a new city. I really don't want to stay here. All I want to do is to leave the Vion city and moving to a new city called the United Kingdom, London. And I remember that I was just being selfish while causing so much terrible acts, mostly in my house. You sent them to the office for no reason. And that's why I got fired. Please don't rage at me like that. Earth, did you get here so fast? Like I didn't notice you before. Well... Excuse me sir. Are you unauthorized of this building? Oh crap. There's a degenerate worker. What the... Hey? Is somebody running while I'm trying to get my work done? Please, you gotta believe me, okay? No need to. Also, where did you get this helicopter before you crash it right into the top of our house? Please laugh at this embarrassing man-child who's wearing a green hoodie. He's childish as he's a two-year-old baby. What kind of degenerate are you? Seriously, I'm sick of this. Yeah, do you realize that I have a lot of problems all because of your dirty behavior? Man, I really want to move out. I can't take this grounding crap anymore all because of Boris. Once I left the city and moved to the United Kingdom, I have to change my life right now. You know, it's time for me to move out by putting all of my stuff, including my laptop as well. Also my phone as well since I need it for my future plans. But before I can move out, I would like to make sure that Boris will never exist. But where can it find a way? Um, crap, I don't have anything to end Goris since he is not in the Anderson family, neither me. Well, I gotta tell Goris that I have to move out, and he has to get out of the house so Goris can move to a new place. Time to grab my suitcase, including my luggage. Okay, all done. Now time to close the briefcase. I may have to tell Goris right now but I need to be quiet. Okay, now, time to knock the door quietly. Open the door, and I will know.
Goris, I just need you to get out of the house because I am moving out to a new place, and you have to move out on your own. Okay, now do I have to grab all of my stuff, or I have to get out? We gotta pack out stuff so we can get out of the house, and then I have to go to the taxi to take me to the airport. Wait, Coris, why? Why do you want to move out? Because for the reason, I'm not in the Anderson family. I was a fake Anderson member, and you, you're not part of the Anderson family either. So wait, if I have much time to get out and move to the airport, then... Holy crap Corys, you are right, I think I should head off to the bus station so I need to get in the bus quick before it's too late. Yeah, besides I'm already packed up, and I have to get to the taxi. Come on Goris, what are you waiting for? Let's get out of here without briefcase and our stuff. Oh crap, Corys was right. I gotta leave the house department immediately. I know that the rest of the Anderson family are in the backyard either cooking some tasty barbecue. God yes, what a yummy and tasty fresh barbecue. Alright, I gotta be careful, cause one of them are gonna come back inside the house. Alright, time to be careful cause I may be warned. Alright, now that I'm all packed up, time to get out of here as fast. So Corys, are you going to the taxi? I'm just going to the bus station and wait there. Yes, but however, I have to tell the taxi driver that I will be back with my briefcase. Oh okay then, anyways, I hope our family didn't notice that we move out to a new place. Goris, be sure to watch out on your way. Thanks Corys, I would like to say that I won't see you anymore because I'm moving to Panama. I know right? We are doing our best, but it's the time that I have to move out. I'll be moving to UK. Alright, I have to go. Please be safe. Sir, I'll be back to bring my briefcase here, but however, it won't be long. Okay, take your time, and then I'll drive you to the airport as fast. Thanks sir. Chris, what the hell are you doing? What are you up to? But I was just moving out cause I'm getting sick and tired of getting grounded and getting punished. What the hell Chris? I'm telling mom and dad about this. You're gonna pay for this. Oh hell no. I gotta grab my briefcase immediately before it's too late. Where do you think about going Cor is the brat? Oh you just want me to be stuck here for the rest of my life? Alright then, I've got a solution. Yeah I will just see about that, dumb fool. Quick, catch him and try to get him down before he escaped our house department. Quick, sir. Just drive me to the airport so I can just get out of here. Okay sir, right on it. What the hell? Looks like, Chorus has escaped, and, Doris did escape, too. No, way, he, just, moved, out, and, escaped. <coughs> Phew, at least that those idiots didn't catch me and didn't take me down, the idiots just give up, thank goodness. Sir, was it the airport that I'm taking you to? It would take long to get there, and I have to fill up the gas. Yes, but if you have time, just drive me to the airport as fast so I can't waste too much money. And, is there something happened once you get in the taxi car quick? Ah, uh, nothing sir, I was just in a quick. Ah, I see. Is someone calling you on the phone? 
Of course, yeah. Looks like someone just need me to call. Hello there? Who is this? And what do you want for? Yeah, I just got in the bus. And there's hardly people on the bus. Luckily, I managed to get here. But I have to change bus station intersection lines. Yes, I see. But did Boris, Doris, Kalo, Rosie, and Classic Kalo notice you? No, our family did not notice me. At least our family are at the backyard, eating fresh barbecue until Kalo noticed you trying to move out. Yeah, but I will miss you because I am moving to the United Kingdom. Goris, are you moving to Panama? Yes, and I will buy myself a hotel when I visit to Panama. This is the last day we are featured in this video. Alright Goris, I would like to say goodbye to you, and goodbye to the grounding memories that we got. Yup. We don't have to deal with grounded time anymore because I am moving out to Panama, while you move out to UK. Yeah, I don't have to deal with Boris anymore because I am moving out. Anyways, I have to leave the call, and I will not see you Goris. Yeah, I have to leave the call, goodbye Coris, and goodbye to the Vyond city. Yep, it's the end of our road, as we are leaving the city. Man. Screw Boris anyways, why is he always keep acting sensitive? Uh, sir, is there a gas station that near the airport? Are you gonna fill up the gas quick? Uh, yes, don't worry, I have to fill up the gas quick, and then I'll drive you to the airport fast. Okay sir, you'll have to wait in the car, while I'm filling up the gas fuel. Okay, just take your time, okay? It won't be long. Alright, all good to go, and I already paid the money to a cashier. Finally yes, I'm hoping that I can get to the airport as fast. Okay sir, you're now at the airport. And the cost will be $45.15. Not bad though, at least you made it in time. Okay sir, here's the cash, keep the change. Thank you so much sir. Take all of your stuff, and have a good day on your airport trip. No problem, sir. Time to get going. Hello and welcome to the Metro International Airport. How many tickets, and what place can you go? I would like one airplane ticket to the United Kingdom, London. Okay, that would be $105. Here you go. Thank you. Now here's the one flight ticket. Okay sir, thanks, and, have a nice day on your trip to the United Kingdom. Thanks, madam. I finally made it, now time to wait. Flight gate 13, British Airways BAW. Boeing 747, Airbus A380, will be open, and it will departures in 10 minutes. Gate door number 13 is open so you can head off there. Alright, time to head off to the airplane. Finally, yes, I'm happy that I moved out, now time to move to United Kingdom. Finally yes, I'm now at Panama after I moved there, now I can easily buy the hotel for myself. But right now, just look at the nice and view of the city. Hello from the announcement, British Airways BAW, Boeing 747, Airbus A380, the airplane will take off and arrive to the United Kingdom, London. Well say goodbye to all of my grounding time since I'm looking forward to change my life in UK. I can see the UK's popular clock tower, and the rolling coaster cause I want to see those famous places. When I get to London, I will see the clock tower. Greetings, from the British Airways BAW, Boeing 747, Airbus A380, our plane will arrive at London, United Kingdom. 
Stay in your seat belts, the plane will arrive very soon. Yes, now I can see the Big Ben clock tower. Okay passengers, the British Airways BAW, Boeing 747, Airbus A380 has arrived at London, United Kingdom. Thank you for choosing to ride on the British Airways. Yay, I'm now in the United Kingdom. The plane has stopped, you may now go, but don't leave any of your belongings, and wait for the people to leave and then you can get off the plane. Well time to grab my stuff and my belongings. Well yay, I have moved here. Now time to look at the nice and famous places in the United Kingdom. Ah, Big Ben, my favorite British place. Now I can live while I am happy that I escaped from my grounding time.